you say goodbye to yesterday? Or would you live each moment like your last? Leave on pictures in the past. Donate every dime you had. And what you call on friends you never see. Reminisce on memories. Would you forgive your enemies? And would you find that one? I woke up the other day with, uh, I woke up and there's fucking blood everywhere. Okay. You'll probably see it on my pillow. So the Naruto one is three results down. Yeah. The first one is the, uh, do you remember the one about, like, the mage girl who summoned a guy, uh, to her, like, Harry Potter school and she was, like, flat chest and pink hair? Because that's the first one. Second one is Full Metal Alchemist. Fourth one right. is One Piece. All right. Under that's Fairy Tale. Uh huh. Uh, one after that, I don't recognize that one. Mm. There was a Halo Reach one, another One Piece, Ruby. Ruby. The actual music video for if today was your last day. Oh God! Imagine being Chad Kroger and watching uh, several anime AMVs beat out your own fucking yeah. music video. Zero, uh, no Sukaima. Yeah, it was that one. Yeah. Okay, Mark ninety nine for two bucks. What's up, nigger? Uh, first day of work on the new year. Once President Will, thanks for the streams, Lolly. Remember, drink some water. Yee. We currently have Chinese food. Ah. Uh, Alchemist 999 for three bucks. I don't say I want to watch Razor for his political takes because his politics are actually halfway decent. Uh, he's definitely contrarian, but who knows that's your character messing around. I think I read that one last night. It was 2 2.43 a.m. Okay. Fucking faggot ass simps. Uh, Juan Wick for two bucks. Uh, what do you do to make you that mad? What do you do to make a nigga that mad? What are you talking about? Do you guys not like Nickelback? What the fuck's wrong with you? Where are you, fucking gay? What? You never hung out with a guy outside of a Texas roadhouse near his truck where he's blasting Nickelback? And and he has, like, a fishing hat and, and like, kind of a scruffy beard. And he has a wife that's, like, you know, five years younger than him. And they have a bunch of kids. You never you never did that? I don't think they have dads. They never lived. They never lived. Mm -mm. Mm. Remember Ska? Yeah. <sighs> We already did the Scar stream. Yeah. Neil Spunk for two bucks. Yay, showed us back. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. I'll, I will keep the, the stream on the straight and narrow. Oh. Uh, those, fucking, those, those fucking fake Asian motherfuckers don't know how to make shrimp. <laughs> oh, my stomach's killing me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't do egg rolls either. Uh, Kate Canada for two fake ones. Check the Discord for the Skyrim Dragon Girls. <laughs> Fucking Dragon Girl. <laughs> uh, show equal good stream. Yeah. This fucking just tastes like <laughs> fake Asian food. <laughs> just in time at the gym, listen to the stream. Motivate me, you goons. Fuck you. Show is dying of food uh. poisoning. Food poisoning uh. that seemed to kick in like immediately after he ate it. Fast acting food poison. I think it's just actual poison. <laughs> I'm not a gringo, though. I'm Mexican, so the people doing that were listening to the uh, Los Tigres de Morte and, uh, Norte instead of Nickelback. Wow. Those came out after Nickelback. Mm-hmm. Idiot. So which are you, straight or narrow? <laughs> On the straight and narrow, baby. I am a soldier of God, chat. I, I, I am I am God's strongest Oshi. <laughs> so gonna be dead by midnight. <laughs> <laughs> God's gonna have one more, one more fallen angel to fucking fight if he keeps acting up. <laughs> Food poisoning is supposed to work like a status effect, bro. <laughs> it's Asian food made by made by a, a, a perfectly fifty-fifty black and white staff chat. There's no Asians involved. That's not even a joke. Uh, this is, this is, uh, that is absolutely a fucking status effect, dog. I got torpor, chat. I'm fucking moving slow as fuck now. You know it's bad when the General Sal's chicken smells like buffalo. 
Is this fucking cotton candy? I don't know. This is berry. Oh god, they fucked up my taste buds. <laughs> Dead by dawn. Dead by dawn. Dead by dawn. <laughs> don't don't die, Dota. Don't die. Okay, so there's some I recognized about the Saints Row Day holiday DLC, Christmas DLC, costs money, and uh, Hanukkah crap is free. Makes you think. <laughs> makes you, really makes you think. Ow. Less people give a shit about Hanukkah. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you buy the Chinese fruit uh, from? IHOP? <laughs> Maybe shut up. <laughs> from a local place. Shut the fuck up. Ah. Uh, Zim Desk Pouch for 10 bucks. People talking about Nickelback uh, back reminds me of some of my thoughts on modern day country. Uh, TLDR Southern Rock became the standard for country music and no studio markets anything else. Oh, yeah. Ugh. I did a Mexican restaurant one time and they only said had Asians. Oh, chat, cover your ears. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Steamboat Willie's been public domain for one day and there's already memes and art pieces flooded the net. January's going to be a fun month, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, yep. Remember, chat, it's it's uh, the first two versions of Mickey, Steamboat Willie and the one that came before him. You cannot use Mickey Mouse's gloves yet. Yeah. Oh. I, I, rate, I rate that grip a 5 out of 10. It was my fucking stomach regurgitating, chat. Well, we get more subjects. Six Chan, best girl. Mm. Maybe. As day, the, the campaigns in England vs. Pride aren't that long. I think Pride is like the longest. Uh... No, I think Marines is the longest. I was going to say, I think the Marines is the longest, but you have like the, you have the once you complete all of them campaign too. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was late for, I was late for Kubrick Mudvayne song, but early for Nickelback. Didn't even play Photograph. Uh, truly, I live in a society. At least Dusk has good music. <laughs> uh, we already did Photograph on a previous stream. Oh, God. What did you eat? He had hibachi shrimp. Uh... I, I keep forgetting we're in America and the Asian the a- Asians here can't fucking make seafood to save their fucking life. Oh. Also, wasn't fucking hibachi, by the way. <laughs> it was just they put that shit on a charcoal grill. I could taste the charcoal. Uh, what were y'all talking about when you started the stream? There was a guy in chat during the music who was like, man, this song sounds like something that'd be at the end of an anime ED. And so me and Shota were like, there's no way on God's green earth there's not in a fucking AMV of Nickelback, isn't there? So I looked up if today was your last day, and like, yeah, first five results were fucking animes. Today was your last day. Shota, don't shit your pants. Oh, it's not coming out that in chat. It's coming out the other one. Asian food from Kentucky. Can't imagine what would go wrong. You'd be amazed. <laughs> we have some good Asian places. There's a lot of Koreans here. Just none of them are staffed by exactly 50% black, 50% white staff. Yeah. How is Steamboat Willie public domain, but Mickey Mouse isn't worth they both create at the same time? No. There, there's a contract bullshit involved, because you have to use that specific version of Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it, it can't be any subsequent redesign of Mickey Mouse. So you're not, you're not able to use Red Mickey yet, chat. Yeah. That'll be another fucking 50 years. Which EFAP member would you fist fight? All of them, chat. Even with your current state? Oh, absolutely. I'd, I'd fucking win in my current state. I have I have food poisoning. I have I have torpor, right? Okay? But the trade-off for torpor is increased strength from anger. <laughs> I got I got like a fucking 50-point strength buff. And I <sighs> fucked up my rice, too. It's supposed to be fried rice, and it's just white rice. <laughs> That's sticky white rice. Yeah. Uh, ate the superior Cajun food. We don't really have that many Cajun places around us. Nah. None of them that are open at night, at least. Yeah. Most of them close, like, two hours after lunch. Uh, Mexican place staffed entirely by a Korean family in my town's Australia. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty funny. Ina got Musashi. Uh, my wife. My beautiful wife. My two wives getting along. I love to see it. Shit your pants on stream. Chat, how much money to shit my pants? Wait, why am I asking chat $1,000 to shit my pants? <laughs> Dump some soy sauce all over your, your food. It'll be the best shit ever. In, in classic Kentucky uh, fake Asian food uh, fashion, all of our sauces were broken open in the bag, and now I have a fucking, uh, in, uh, a fucking stain on my bed. 
Yeah. Also, Japanese people are picking up on Western localizer bullshit. Fire spraying to the Japanese normies. Yeah. Uh, they ironed out the ancient Magnus Pride one. And so the translation looks pretty good now. And JP people have flat out said, yeah, that's what they're saying. Like, that is a literal translation. And you look at the translation, it looks good. So, AI is getting to that point. And then you had Jamie Markey make herself look like a massive fucking retard on, on, on uh, Twitter. They all make themselves look like retards. Her especially. <sighs> she, she went on like a, a bad rant. She's like, we do know that a lot of localizers don't even know Japanese, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh boy, oh boy. A <laughs> million dollars, but you can never call people gay online again. Would you take it? Well, that's fine. I don't use gay as much as I use faggot. Uh, yeah. Easy. Easy money. Easy money. Where's my money? I'll pay you $150 million to shit yourself on stream. <laughs> I want the money up front. <laughs> Half of it. I'll take half of it. I'll shit myself right here, chat. I'll videotape it for you. Yeah, at this point, this is all just white rice. Mm hmm. Yeah. Put this over there. I'll take it back home. My sister will eat it. Right. Yeah. Ah! And I will peck at the, the egg roll in due time. It's not good. Yeah. That's kind of why I was like. It's not good. Oh. <clears throat> There we go. Well, a quick look up Gohan versus Cell AMV and tell me how many how many are Lincoln Park. None of them are Lincoln Park. It's all everything else. Yeah. Ugh. Lincoln Park gets you banned. They should pay you not to shit yourself. I'll do my best, Kai. I'll do my best. You don't understand, though. He, he's fucking dying. Ugh. Open mouth, insert, insert foot, Twitter moment. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, boy. Ugh. Remember, Jamie Markey is the chick who fucked over Vic. Yeah, explicitly. Mm -hmm. So, if you, don't know, if you don't know Japanese, why the fuck are they translating Japanese? Yeah, exactly. That's what a lot of people are asking. Now, fares for two bucks, two American dollars for Shota to shit the pants. <laughs> that wasn't the 1.5 million we agreed on. You're, you're one one millionth of the way through. <laughs> Back here. Here. Yeah. You know what? I'll do it later. I was going to make a, a new a new donation bracket. <laughs> For $1.5 million. $1.5 million Shota will shit himself on stream. I don't remember making this a cumulative goal. <laughs> You'll see the new Caltech sub uh, 2000 Gen 3. They changed to where you can keep the site uh, rights attached. I assume you mean sights. Yeah. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Mm. Caltech's always had weird designs for their guns. There's weird, but I always kind of liked them. How many bottles did you down on New Year's? None, but I woke up. I woke up covered in blood, literally. <laughs> my fucking my nose was just gushing blood, fucking everywhere. I, I was taking fistfuls of, of uh, tissue over here, fucking just stuff stuffed them in my oh nostrils, God. trying trying to get rid of them. I fucking I ruined one of my wool work shirts, fucking completely covered in blood. I was like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> what, who the fuck was I fighting? Yeah, uh... I got hands. Me, me and Irishman, we, we finished off the uh, the bottle of champagne, and I got him set up on Final Fantasy XIV. Mm -hmm. uh, finally, he he decided to go with Lancer, so mm. he'll he'll regret his decision soon. More than likely, he wants a DPS class, but Lan he needs uh, he he wants to go Dragoon, maybe. Dragoon's what everybody goes with. Yeah, Dragoon's fucking nuke people. Yeah, they got they keep getting rebalanced to be worse. Dragoon gang, woo! Are you gonna be all right, big guy? No. Whoever the fuck I'm, whoever the fuck I'm fighting in my sleep chat, they got fucking hands. It's storming real hard where I live. I stopped chatting for a while. It's probably because power. E. Weather do be sucking this time of year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one of these egg rolls. I'm gonna try it. Mm. This is ice cold. What the fuck? Oh. My bed. No, that's not too bad. Mm. I've had worse. Yeah. Love this game as a kid plays, but uh, Matthias Nelson, yeah. Everyone played Matthias. Yeah, they didn't perfect. They didn't perfect the Asian girl yet. She didn't look Asian. Yeah. <laughs> They're selling a dachi ties. My God, they, is that just a red tie? Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's just a red tie, and then the inside, the fucking inside of it. It just says Atlas. She this can't die to beat eat anyway. food. I, I beat them in the ideals department, chat. Stuck at work on accident day with nothing to do and ended up watching Dragon Ball Resurrection of all things. Didn't hate as much as uh, when I saw it in cinemas. <laughs> the Asian chick had a, had a cat suit too, yeah? Yeah, she did. Yeah. 
sure to end the debate. End the debate now. What's the definition of jailbait? Something you probably shouldn't be looking up, chat. Yeah. Why are you looking up jailbait, chat? Your life showed it. He died by eating gas station shrimp. Shame that oh. his best milf loved to come. Uh, his best milf loves to come to pay respects. <laughs> Does Jamie Markey think that admitting that uh, she doesn't speak Japanese is some sort of gotcha or something because I hate to be the bearer of bad news? No. Yeah. Well, a lot of people think is that she was trying to basically be, if I'm going to get fucked over, I'm going to fuck over everybody else. So it's, oh, I'm not the only one that does this. The entire industry does this. So now the entire industry looks like a bunch of dumbass racist idiots. Mm. Legitimate racism. Like, actual. <laughs> Selling black tie. I sleep. Selling Kobini's black tie. Shut up and take my money. Ugh. A red tie that costs 50 bucks. She also did the stupid gotcha of, I have a vagina. Yeah. Chat, that's what all women do. Quite literally. <clears throat> uh, one time I woke up in the middle of the night and I had nothing to eat except a hamburger patty and some two-day-old rice. Add barbecue sauce was not that bad. Barbecue sauce with anything can make a better chat. Yeah. <sighs> ah. Oh, God. Uh, watch Pluto because he kept mentioning the other day. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Chat, what what have you been doing lately, chat? What what what, what stuff have you been doing, chat? Tell me. I want to know. Oh, uh, Ferris for five bucks. Uh, when you start the game, make a poll for which character to play. I usually prefer the black guy personally since he was DCAU John Stewart's voice. Yeah, Phil Lamar. Mm -hmm. No, we're we're playing we're playing Matthias because it's it's better when he gets shot in the ass. That's two. God damn it! I told you I don't remember shit from the first game. <laughs> Uh, review Boondocks. Here's a good one. Uh, uh Zoomer Anime fan shitting on Berserk again. Saw someone use Chainsaw Man of all things as an example of how to do edgy well, and women in Chainsaw Man are written better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's dumbass rage bait. Yeah. It is dumbass kids doing dumbass rage bait shit, and everyone keeps falling for it. Like, I, I kept getting linked to the, the one chick's video. I guess she did another video essay shitting on Berserk. Oh, I was going to say, it's like, all... dude, you need to debate her. It's like, she, it's fucking rage bait. I was going to say, all, all of her videos are on Berserk because it's the only thing that's given her her channel any traction. Yeah. Because you can literally do any video on Berserk and, not going to lie, these are pretty bad. <laughs> They're pretty bad. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where to fucking put it. I, I ran out of room. I only got one, one nightstand. Uh, Trying to beat last boss of Liza P. Yeah. Last P's good. Mm -hmm. You real coin sky at Dark showed it? Yes. A uh, comic came out about this game. Takes place just before the second game. I have a copy. Yeet. Uh, been watched Zom 100. Uh, Shota, which side are you on? Shizuka or Beatrix? Beatrix. Uh. Oh, dear Lord. Dear Lord Almighty. Uh, I watched season one of uh, Reacher. Fucking Metal is good. Very good show. Very good show. Fad, fad is the Chad chat. <laughs> he calls himself Shota Ray Nix. Didn't they play with Fleetwood Mac? No, that's Stevie Ray Nix. Shota Ray Nix just gets on stream and shits his britches like it's going out of style. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do love the, the tween episode so much. Uh, those are good. Mm -hmm. uh, Juan Rickford R. Uh, she steamboat my willy to I Mickey Mouse. Uh, I look forward to using that version of Mickey in the future. It's not much, but I do love some old uh, cartoon characters. Happy Mickey Mousing, gentlemen. Yee. Yeah. I uh, see the winners of the Steam Awards. I did not pay attention. Yeah, not, uh, most of them don't make sense. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, Starfield got most innovative gameplay, even though it is literally the least yeah. deserving game that came out this year for that. Um, some games that didn't even come out this year were, were on there. Yeah. Like, uh, did Sifu come out this year? Well, last year, I guess. It came out last year. Yeah. So 2022 or 2023? <laughs> uh, that's on Fire Punch. It's good. It, it is good. Eh. Eventually, we're going to get an adaptation of that. I think they talked about it. Not as not as good as what came after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Red Dead Online was on there. It wasn't Red Dead Online. It was Red Dead 2. It was, and, uh... Uh, Rockstar, Rockstar got a reward for it was like uh, a work of passion or something, yeah. and it was like, my brother in Christ, Red Dead Online hasn't been updated in two years. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Jack Black's gonna star in the Minecraft movie. That's not even surprising. He does a lot of this shit for his kids. 
Which, I mean, honestly, fairness. Uh, see if it was released in 2021. Oh. Yeah. Red Dead 2 all the way, uh, yeah, Red Dead 2 was all the way back in 2020, uh, I'm sorry, 2018. Yeah, like, it doesn't make any sense. Check Discord for the winner. I don't really care. No, not at all. Like I said, I don't pay attention to Game Awards shit. It's all just who paid that month. Yeah. Especially for the Steam Awards? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, don't associate with Knickers for a dollar. Uh, Christian Biopic needs to have Alan Richardson as Christian, and he needs to do the Chris voice at all. Uh, and he just needs to be Reacher pretending to be Chris. Sonic's arms are not blue. They're mm -hmm. flesh-colored. Details matter. Okay. Uh, Samurai Bear for a dollar. Will we get Brutal Legend stream? That'd be fun. We get asked fuck copyright-wise, but that'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, Respirator for two bucks. Hey, boys. Hope you guys are doing well. Currently bedridden with the flu. This game was my jam as a kid, and Matthias is always my to-go. Yeah. Yeah. Are you into sounding? I got a plastic fork right here. You need to stop projecting, chat. Uh, they do literally nothing except make limited, uh, different limited uh, clothing av uh, available every month. All they have to do is uh, Lake Isabella Gold Glitch. You don't have to grind again. Wait, hold up. Is there a fucking money make glitch in online mode, chat? Sounds like it. Damn, they don't give a fuck about that game. Watch both the American and Japanese version of Godzilla vs. King Kong, uh, and the latter blows out of the water. Also picked up Fate Samurai Remnant. Can't wait to play it. Yeah. Yeah, Samurai Remnant's super fun. It just got, uh, right after our stream, they got ported over, or they brought a saber over into Fate Grand Order on JP. Do you and show to dock each other? No, but we do have a <sighs> funny story about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, when we were hanging out with the Army Bros, uh, had to do some docking, because they didn't know how to light their cigars. Yeah. So they had to <laughs> press their cigar tips together to get them to light, and it didn't work. No. Oh. Fun, funny little docking story, you know? That's what docking means, right? You, like, light a cigarette by putting it against another cigarette? Mm-hmm. What does docking mean? Mm-hmm. Oy vey. Oy vey. 100, uh, 100 gold bars and 10 grand in 30 minutes. How long has that been? How long has that been live, Chad? I just I, I want to know because keep in mind, like Red Dead Two Online does not bring in uh, like nearly as much as Grand Theft Auto Online because there's less content. Yeah. But at the same time, it is still money being taken away from Rockstar. So I want to know how long that's been live. That will show you exactly how much they give a shit. Sounds gay. It was. And oh me, my god. And me and other Army Bro, where we're kind of <laughs> no, me and Army Bro, because it wasn't other, other other Army Bro. He also had trouble. We were the only ones that were able to, like, sit there with our, our fucking cigars lit, and we're like, the fuck's wrong with you guys? What, what I having trouble for this. Uh, those cigars were fucking dog shit. They're... It was the novelty <clears throat> of having them, because, yeah, they looked like shit. No, they uh, they, they were Italian cigars, and uh, other army bro got them specifically because they had high nicotine content, and he's yeah. like, I just, I just want to smoke a cigar that is like smoking a cigarette, and I was yeah. like, okay. Okay. Uh, just watched Thunder Road, really good movie, first time I cried in months. It is a very good movie. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Dad, Lolly and Shoto will come out of the closet. <laughs> Indirect cigarette kiss? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Reddit 2's been around since like 2020 or something when, uh, when it fully launched. Uh, the online, I mean. Yeah, the, the online came out like a year or two after. Yeah. Uh, Are you sure they weren't Navy bros? No, they were Army. Yeah, they're both Army. Scar kissing is now a thing. Lolly invented it is now very gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Glitch has been live, been live and Red Dead Online for over a year. I've seen Holy people playing shit. with over five thousand gold bars. Oh my god! Oh my god, chat! That's uh, fucking insane. Yeah, they don't give a shit. They do not give a fuck. Are you a Morgan or Lilith kind of guy from Dark Stalkers? I like Lilith. Uh, I'm a Morgan. You cried a Thunder Road, not the Mad Max movie. You might be confusing it. Thunder Road is a legitimately really sad movie. He, he did a he did a fucking video on it. Yeah. Wait, I think I was on that one too. We did a video on that. <laughs> did you see Tamamo can't reach her sword? Very small and cute. I did. E. I did see cute Tamamo Aria shit. Guy who invented cigars while smoking a cigarette. How do I make this look even gayer? How do I make this look gayer? True, chat. So true. Uh, chat. How many of you have watched uh, uh, Midnight Gospel, chat? I want to see a show of hands. <laughs> Felicia's best Darkstalkers girl? Yes, but they didn't, uh, that wasn't an option that I was given, chat. Yeah. Holy shit, I've just seen the video of SK's opposition leader against Sabnek. Yeah, the Korean one? Yeah. 
Reminder that there are active feminist death cults in Korea. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have. <laughs> Only clips. Never heard of it. It's good. It's... Hang on. The Cherry Fox woman is aware of you. Oh, Kirsch? Wait, me? Yeah. Mm-mm. Ugh. Tell her I can do terrible things to an apple with my bare hand, chat. Singular hand. Her gynecologist said the same thing about her vagina. Well, then it looks like we have something in common. <laughs> Sounds like there's an impasse. <laughs> Sounds like we're at an impasse. <laughs> an immovable object. Morgan's the best succubus ever. Imagine she could, if she can get pregnant. Every woman comes with the ability to get pregnant. It comes with your fucking breeding instinct, retard. Uh, Lolly, daily reminder that most videos you two recorded you have not posted. Some of them I did and they got taken down because it was early, early into this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ow. The the midnight the the midnight WhatsApp. No no no, chat. It's the midnight gospel. It was actually pretty good. Eight episode thing on Netflix, or you can pirate it like a good man. Uh, wasn't South Korean Prime Minister stabbed recently? What happened there? Yeah, that's what the guy was talking about. Mm -hmm. It yep. wasn't the Prime Minister. It was a guy a guy trying to get himself into the elections for Prime Minister. Korean death cults, chat. Woo! You must tell her about the animal rape facts. Chat, chat, I, I can't wait to show her uh, what my fucking left hand can do to a, uh, a human-sized river otter. Yeah. Video coming soon. They brought up the animal facts to her, and all she wanted to talk about was donkey fucking. She was drunk, so I imagine so. All women can think of, all women can think of is fucking animals. Yeah, she wasn't drunk. She was drunk. No. And Pippa was in New York City getting stalked. No, I'm talking about today. Oh, okay. I don't give a fuck about today. It's a new year, all right. VTubers exist for one brief moment when the clock strikes midnight, right before 12:01 on New Year's Day. Okay. <laughs> I don't care what happened to Pippa as soon as that camera turned off. You understand me? Uh, also notice how selectively Jamie Markey picks on who she, uh, argues with, mainly people that have lower follower counts. Yeah. Yeah. Pippa was avoiding Elmo, exactly. That's how the Minotaur was born. Mmm. True chat. Bring back Darkstalkers, Capcom, you cowards. Unironically. You can, you can go on there, you can go online right now and get a, a collection of all the Darkstalkers games, and you should. Uh... She also did that to Aruka too. I don't care about the bear chat. What is this? The dark eye from Persona 3? Yes. <laughs> yes. Eh. Bring back Lost Planet, man. Fuck Lost Planet, chat. And fuck you. Uh, Korean politician did get out to be extremely corrupt. Hmm. Well, at that point, that's a thing of like, uh, we will debate the ethics later if they survive. <laughs> Because, I mean, if they're corrupt, they're corrupt. Fuck them. Uh, how does Kirsch know about Shoda and Lolly also pronounce her name right? It's uh, fucking Kirsch because it's Cherry, you stupid fuck. Yeah. There's audience overlap. People who watch me go to her. Unfortunately. It. Eh. Try and plug my phone in. Devil Crisis remake never. Yeah, you're right. You're right, chat. <laughs> Head to Boston. The bear needs sex. Is, is Aruka in fucking Boston? Yeah. I mean, I have one to fuck a Boston chick. I mean, I mean, I, ever since I saw that one video like ten years ago from that one chick with the like screaming shit in the Boston accent. That sounds awful. Yeah, <laughs> awful and arousing. Uh, you guys know Flamenco, right? Ask him if he has a VTuber wife. I don't fucking know. Probably. Chat, uh, chat, chat. How many times we got to say it on stream? We don't go outside of our bubble. No, I don't give a fuck about VTubers. <laughs> uh. Kirsten knows how much you fumble. Oh, she wishes. I'm signing up for Getter. Have you guys tried it? Is that that gay app that dudes use to find guys to suck dicks of? You guys on fucking Grinder? Fucking loser. Not gonna lie, the Boston accent's kind of hot. How? <laughs> that doesn't even make any fucking sense to me. It's like that is the most white trash accent in fucking like America. Why do you know so much, Dingus? I don't know. I don't know anything, chat. You're dangus. Also made Irishman watch him uh, check it out with Steve Brule. That was fun. Oh yeah, that was fun. Good show. No, oh, hang on. I just watched the Joey Diaz bit of him being a, a of him fucking a one legged woman. Yeah. Lolly, where's where's the remote? Uh, I don't know. Where is it? Where's the remote, Lolly? Where is it? <laughs> the poor 
white trash, Valley Girl or Boston? Valley Girl's insufferable. Boston's actual white trash. Well, it, it's it's not their fault. It's the runoff from New Jersey. That is true. All right. We're going ahead. We're we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know. Not not tease everybody. Going straight to video. Boston, the BLM city, yet they throw hard R's around all the time at assault games. Oof. Yeah. All right. Boondock Saints is key, no? They were Irish. Like, actual <laughs> Irish. <laughs> the, this game went through, like, three fucking uh, publishers. Yeah. yeah the, I'm sorry, not this game, but this series. There's a different publisher for this one, the second one, and there was a third one that was in, yeah. in the process of being made, and all of them were separate, separate fucking people. Uh, with Marquis' tweet about not speaking Japanese, does that mean the localizers are going to start to eat her alive, or are they going to try to defend her? It's been mixed oh, so gonna far. I was going to say, they're trying to defend her, Chet. Yeah, they're trying to defend her right now. It doesn't matter. Their jobs are gone. Shota hates VTubers if they carry his children. Curious. <laughs> Chat, it's called hate fucking, and I'm sorry you don't know the fucking glory of it. But that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then a whiskey tango VTuber besides Kirsch. I mean, there's Pippa. Ah, uh, there's that one Sleepy, Sleepy. I think she white trash. I wouldn't think she is. Her entire gimmick is guns. Of course, she's white trash. And a Fed, most likely. Star Wars Studio made this. Yeah, Lucas Arts and Pandemic. <laughs> yep, they did a lot of shit together. Both, yeah. both good, both good. I know this game is too old for it. Oh no, there we go. Lucas Lucas Arts was ahead of its fucking time. <laughs> the game was like 2005 or something, because the second one came out in 2008. Yeah, because it was a PS3 uh, 360 era. Yeah, it did also have PS2 ports. All right, so you have Black Guy. Yeah, Chris Jacobs. Asian chick. Yep. And Viking. Yeah. Somehow the guy that looks the oldest is the youngest. I don't know how it works. I know, right? Make it make sense. So there you go. Whiskey Tango or Noir Julius. I don't know. Those terms actually mean a thing. Uh, any games we're looking forward to this year apart from Persona 3 Make Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, I can't wait for Dragon's Dogma 2. March, chat. Coming March. We're also, like, exactly one month out from Persona uh, 3 Remake. Yeah. And Infinite Wealth. Which I'm Stop. working my way through Man With No Name. I'm doing a lot of the side stuff right now in the, yeah. the Akame Network. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great. You had some fun stuff. Check this out, let's go, yeah! Don't they have special abilities? Can't recall what they are, though. It's, like, subtle-ass, you know, differences. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's like aim better or some shit. Yeah. It's not even really aimed better. It's like uh, they can yeah, speak different languages. Yeah, this guy has higher languages. defense. Yeah. Higher defense. She can speak Chinese. He can speak Russian. And he runs faster. Stuff like that. It's like very subtle. If Getter is a gay sounding name, there's a website called Miwi. Miwi? And yeah, the idea of this is that North Korea did militarize and they want to conquer South Korea, so it's a new Korean War. Yeah, it's the second Korean War. <sighs> and they straight up have nukes. Yeah. What's your opinion on breastfeeding fetishes? Why did you need to ask that in public? In I approve, of, chat. In I front approve. of the Chinese food? I uh, shit ain't Chinese. That shit mixed at best. And I don't think either of his parents were Chinese. <laughs> they have working nukes this time? Yes. The second game straight up lets you fire nukes. Could we have Stock footage might off, be copyright. Please? Doesn't that blow your piss? Off, yeah. Thank you. Just gotta wait long enough, chat. All right, Fiona, what have you got for us? Thanks. And the mafia's okay, involved well, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, Russian mafia. Initiative. This is an unparalleled financial opportunity for Exxon. Did you just pick the Asian cheek? I mean, I understand of a, a man of North taste Korea for his Asian, uh, Asian content, but Peter Stormare. Yes, we've been discussing this. Couldn't this force He picked the Viking a, chat. I don't know, a moral position. The Viking, yeah. I mean, that, that is a problem. The subtitles are kind of covering everything because you. The media <laughs> are all over. It, it gives a debrief on who they are. Maybe, but we're proposing oh, that's fine. We can see his face now. Yeah. Low profile. And remember. Her British accent is clearly fake, but check talking now because she's not British, she's Australian. On the ground, sure. 
but our agent could level half the country. Yeah, so for British. Actually, I think that's more New Zealand. There's more. Apart from the hundred million for Sung, there's a significant bounty for every member. And yeah, you have a, a side content, yeah. especially if they're taken alive. Is there even really uh, side content? You kind of have to do this. I don't think they're all required. Yeah, there, there's a lot of them that are extras. Yeah, but like higher rank guys, you need to get. To sum up. Fiona Taylor, I love her. Yeah, she, she was in the second game, too. We can do something the Allies can't. Work directly with factions on the Aussie ground. girl, so Asian. That's not how that works. 52. Oh, come on, Fiona. The AM Never mind, they're all fucking ugly. Dealing Bring the subtitles back. Market, Wall of text. Wall of text. Uh, fucking New Zealand Listen, bunch of cuck cunts. By with the hey. factions, we can take Sung's power base apart from the bottom up. Sung's gone into hiding, but if anyone knows where he is... It's his lieutenants. Got it. Got it. Remember the terrorist yeah, cards? Yeah, yeah, this is a direct no, reference to that. Like, this is just the Iraq war, question. but in we're Korea, and you're, on a you as a mercenary affect a lot of it. Because uh, there's yes, multiple endings in the game due to the fact that you work with different factions. Uh, you can straight up have what's left of North Korea controlled by the fucking Russian mob. It's fucking great. And the Russian mob will straight up be like, hey, yeah, blow up these army bases so we can take them and sell their guns. And then you do. She st you can steal her car in the second game. She bitched at you if you do. Yeah. Yeah. The second game has problems. The second game has a lot of problems, but it is it is more memorable than this game. But this game plays better. Yeah. I don't I don't know how they managed it, but they fucking did. Yeah. Second game has a lot of good moments to it. I love upgrading the mansion. You know, just because yeah. I like stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Scarface the Scarface the world is yours is fucking peak just for that. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, shit like that. The idea of the revenge mission and the fact they address how ridiculous it is. Like, you didn't get your money and you got shot in the ass. Mm -hmm. And that that means you must burn the world. It's like, that's fun. Yeah. Um, you also work with the guy the guy that shoot, uh, that gets your, you, that gets you shot in the ass. You work with him in this game. Yeah. Uh, I'll spam two bucks, but this is a prototype to Republic Commando. Oof. No. Aside from them being uh, shooters... Nothing how, in common, honestly. How great is this game? Interested in checking out. This game was fucking awesome. Yeah, this game is fun. It is fun. This was one of those sandbox games uh, akin to, like, uh, fuck it, what's it called? Just Cause. Only it was more fun to play because it had a, at least something going on in the story department. That <laughs> Peter Stormare's PC 0 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, if you played the Viking, you play as uh, Peter, Peter Stormare. Stormare. Yeah. He's a good fucking voice. M4A1 carbine. Chad, is Peter Stormare still alive? Yeah. Okay, holy shit. It just mirrors this weird instruction, instinctual thing white people have to bang Asian chicks sometimes. <laughs> Zone is hot. How breedable his face connects Dizzy? I never saw her. Oh, no. Every question you ask in some manner of, is this fetish okay? Would you fuck this? I'm starting, I'm starting to think it reflects on your character. Coomer. Gooner. How are you gonna be a gooner but get no bitches, chat? Goon clown. Who's stroking your dick, chat? Huh? You know me. How come your dick ain't getting no action? Yeah, bitch. Asians are our ancestors. Mercenaries was just cause before just cause. Yeah, that's actually a good way to look at it. Yeah. It's kind of exactly what it was in a way. Just cause but better. Yeah. Specifically the first one. Yeah. Just cause but better because like it was more open with story stuff to where if you just wanted to cause chaos and fuck over everybody, you could. Yeah. And you can get nukes. You can straight up get nukes. Yeah, and the, and the second one you can get nukes. I don't think you can in this one. You can get bunker busters, which are, they're totally not nukes. Yeah. Because, like, I think bunker busters are the most, yeah, it's the most expensive and the most dangerous explosive. Your primary objective is to get to the you are disguised as allies. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you say. Peter Stormer is standing at the foot of your bed reciting the Ahsoka Tano copy pasta while holding an AK. <laughs> I can't believe it has a million views already, chat. Oh, fuck, North Koreans. I'm tired of being persecuted for my yellow fever. <laughs> Get a better fever, idiot. I love this game so much. It's fun. It is fun. I'm trying to remember how to play the game. <laughs> All right. Shit, uh... Yeah? Access denied! Run! Uh, let's see, four. I think you get a mini nuke in Just Cause 3. Chat, past Just Cause 2, I don't even pay attention to anything in the game. It just exists. Just Cause 4, you can control the weather. 
I can make tornadoes and shit. I think that was the DLC. No, it's four. No, I mean, I, yeah, it's four, but I think it was the DLC for four that they put that in. No, it's main story stuff. Oh, okay. There's a, they have like a fucking, a, an oil tanker base as one of the DLCs, which yeah. I thought, I thought had something to do with controlling the weather. Chat, we, we need a game that's just, uh, just cause, but it's a 100% just full sins on, uh, a weird government conspiracies. Yeah. That should be great. Let me, let me fucking, let me have a mission where I, I, I raid a CIA or a fucking government bunker and uh, help an alien out so I can call down an alien airstrike on some motherfuckers. They have a heart machine? Don't worry about that, chat. This ain't about the heart machine right now. So yeah, we're in the middle of an active war zone. The Jagged Alliance? That is not Jagged Alliance, motherfucker! Yeah, that's not really Jagged Alliance. Just because just cause 3 gives you a mini nuke and it is actually fun to use. It's hard Left to fucking Left trigger's grenade. Okay. Oh my god, I completely forgot. There were di there were times before uh, Resident L Evil L1 4. aim, R1 shoot, left trigger uh, grenade. Yeah. What does R2 do? R2 shoot. Oh, R2 shoot? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. This, would be, this, this, this is before the R2 times. This is before the R2 times. Put your paint on animals as leaders? What do you mean? As leaders? Sir. Area 51 on Xbox? Nah, you just fight aliens. That's and become aliens. That's on Mexican Asian mixes. There's a lot there in my bloodline. Spicy They're called rice? Filipino. They're called Filipino, chat. Why is left trigger grenade? Because this was before the time of you actually aimed with the fucking left trigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, chat. She's sitting the cool way. R2 repair ship and hack doors, always saving loot. No! You enter building by abusing four guard. I accidentally hit him. I didn't mean to. Alright. So this is literally what you do over and over again. You just get jobs. Yep. Area 51's a wild game. Area 51 was great. It was fun as fuck. Alright. Just started Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, it'll be fun. So yeah, now we gotta hunt down the two of clubs. Yeah. You will enjoy it, chat. Yeah. What do you think made game companies switch to firing with trigger? It was quite literally, it feels more like a gun trigger. Yeah. So, like, why not? Animals as leaders, the metal band. Oh, I never heard of them. Uh, yeah, neither have I. Okay. Uh... Wingsuit and JC3 is fucking great. It was a natural extension. So this game encourages you to try to take all of them alive. You you go in, you capture them, and uh, you take them to be interrogated. Because you can kill them, and sometimes it's just quicker and faster to kill mm -hmm. them. Any In any base that has anti-air, it's easier to just kill them. Yeah. Like, straight up. Unless you want to spend a whole bunch of time breaking the anti-air. Yep. Uh, remember getting this for free on Xbox Gold. It's a very good fucking game. Very good fucking game. Yeah. The car the Mr. President, I need 57 nukes. What do you mean I'm fired? That's exactly how it happened too, chat. Yeah. God, I would kill for a fucking Freedom Fighters uh, remaster. <laughs> is this Jagged Alliance? Chat, this doesn't... This, what about this is Jagged Alliance, chat? He's one of the VTubers from Kauai. Got banned off for joking that she was 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah. What the, the fuck thing. is Kawaii? Uh, it's one of the indie companies. Oh, it would be. Yeah, she was joking on Twitch that she was like 12. So Twitch banned her. Gameplay <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of the better U.S. Navy SEALs from the PSP. I still have that. Chad, didn't you... Uh, Chad, are you telling me none of you guys played SOCOM for the PS2? None of those 30 bajillion SOCOM yeah, right. games? Those games that totally weren't actual propaganda from the military. It was good propaganda, though. It was cool. Switching to the AK. So when Freedom Fighters stream, yeah, right? Twitch says it all. I bet it does. All right. I played SOCOM and I loved it. Remember when SOCOM didn't suck? Remember when SOCOM existed? Uh. I use Field Scope. Mercenaries 2 is better. Mercenaries 2 improves in exactly uh, two departments. That's destruction and being able to uh, upgrade your mansion. Yeah. 
and variety of cars, but I'm, I'm going to tie that with the mansion. Everything else is a downgrade. <laughs> Everything else had serious problems. And yeah, this is our this is our fucking uh, our shop. This is why you get in bed with the Russian mafia mafia because it, it gives you a fucking gun shop. <laughs> yeah. May Steam version of Freedom Fighters came out a few years ago. That sounds awesome. Yeah. All right. And here's the deck of fifty two. You have the different faces. Yeah. And obviously you want to go for the aces. Uh, right now I think we're going after the clubs. Aces high, motherfucker. Which one is it? Uh, yeah, it's a club and it's. Two of clubs. Yes. So. Two. Yeah, two of clubs is this guy. He is worth $25,000. Jin Ho Young. Yeah. Uh, that's on PSP. I never really played much with it. Uh, I played a, a handful of games. There are some good PSP games out there. Uh, Just Cause was a good franchise. Four was the weakest. Felt too much like a DLC for three. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people put a lot of hours into them. I think, I think Just Cause 1 was the weakest. Though, to be fair, it was the only one that had an actual story. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it that. And these are your side objectives. You can look for for blueprints, which obviously unlock different stuff in the shops. Uh, you can blow up national monuments. <laughs> yeah. Just to say fuck you to Korea. Uh, challenges, but obviously that's, you know. What do you mean the game aged better? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And we've killed 12 people so far. Yeah. Yeah, that's the two of clubs. Wow. Military psyops back then. Cool military shooters, current day military psyops. Bunker Bunnies, E Thoughts, we had a good pack then, we just didn't know it. Uh, Adrian from Two Bucks, after Bin Laden's death, Socom should have come back. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Simon Scott from Two Bucks is a, this is like a modern Ubisoft game before Ubisoft. Yeah, but it's not grindy, it actually is genuinely fun. Yeah, it's pretty fucking straightforward. It's extremely straightforward. If we're gonna do a Just Cause 3 stream, I'm gonna be honest, chat. Just Cause 3 is kind of boring. I, I I said it. I will not take it back. He has an RPK, yes. And now he has a chuck. He has a chokehold, chat. Why? Yeah. Just, just punch one, then why? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Get that giant flag in the DMZ. Let's hit shoulder of fortune bounty uh, for a piece of it, IRL. <laughs> I remember Just Cause 2 being really revolution back in the day, but then they made 3 and 4. Oh yeah, Just Cause 2 is great. Yeah. And we have our, our totally not... Oh, our totally not Metal Gear fucking... Uh, yeah. Throw your throw your fucking smoke grenade and kill this man! Make his children beg. Right. Be there we go, he's dead. Now pick him up. It's an RPD, not an RPK. I Shut up! Uh, let's pay him two bucks. Are you going to play Ready or Not? I played Ready or Not more than once. Uh, Sexist game has been ported or remastered modern platform. You can buy it on Xbox. Yeah, you can buy it on Xbox. It's that's, backwards compatible. That's how we're playing it. All right, get this motherfucker out. Take Land, the, motherfucker! Take the chopsticks to his balls. Chop suey. Are you sure Saints Row reused some of the gowns sound effects? Makes sense. First Saints Row was very cheap. Oh, yeah. And this might have just been standardized fucking sound effects for guns. Probably. Yeah, there you go. He is in jail, and we got $25,000. Are you going to play Destroy Humans? You already did. Take care of already did, chat. Yeah. Now we get to blow up their artillery. Mm -hmm. It only should have played State of Emergency. That's what it was called, chat. That's what it was called. State of Emergency. Oh, this part's awesome. Yes. Anti-aircraft this asshole. This is what they sold the game on, and for good reason. Yeah, it's a it's a fun mechanic. Cause it's really cool. Yeah, calling down airstrikes was cool. Wait, are you part of the UN? Are you uh are you shilling HFCSN uh, game? No, you can work with anyone you want. Yeah. The allies in AKA the UN are just the default faction. Roger, yep. Uh, not the fairest five dollars. Just cause three only really becomes fun when you get the DLC that adds the jet wing suit with the missiles on it. So you just become a plane. Uh, someone's giving two bucks. Are you gonna play ready or not? I did. No. No. Expensive, but cool. Yeah. Well, that's why you want to go after the bounty, so you can get money to blow shit up. Yep. Yeah. Right. Ah! How about Ace Combat? You can even start with four, too. Look at them try. Look at them struggle. We did it. 
Heard there was a DSP documentary in the works. You think DSP will cancel on it? <laughs> DS DSP doesn't deserve any kickback at this point. Eh. I forgot how do I jump. I think it was yeah B. You ever play any Saints Row games on stream? We played two for sure. Maybe three? No, just two. Mm -hmm. Uh, seen you got fall. My country used a variant called the SLR during Vietnam. Good rifles. They're very good rifles. Vietnam. Very good shit. Not bad. It is so pretty. It's such a pretty gun. Just because 3 did also add a mech that could just use the for force. You work for one that's going to pay your retirement and your kid's tuition. Exactly. Exactly. You guys ever going to play Run Like Hell? Chat, what the fuck are these games? Wolcom looks different. Looks different. Uh, so I'm just coming two bucks to say, are you going to play ready or not? Most of them are open bounties, but the <laughs> Bam. You need special clearance from us to go after this. Mod Carl is a playable character right now. <laughs> So yeah, if you work for the Allies, they promise to get you uh, straight up military grade shit. Which honestly, anyone who knows anything about military grade shit knows that it means it's dog shit. Probably already knows where Song is. For double barrel or over under? Double barrel, absolutely. Why? Because it looks cooler. Is that Clancy Brown? He's black. So of course it's Clancy Brown. All right, where's my other contract? Well, this was back in the this was back in the day when it didn't matter what your skin color was, you could voice anything you wanted. That is true. Thanks a lot, Pro ZD. Fucking Jennifer Hale voices the Asian chick. Yeah, Jennifer Hale voices every female though. Especially in this time zone. Clancy Dark Brown. All right, I have a shop. You guys gonna stream Persona 3 R or Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth? Absolutely not on the Final Fantasy 7. I think you had to buy this one. It does have a dollar sign. Do this shit. Should have caught on that every black person is, is Clancy. Clancy is brown, chat. Hey, uh, look, it's another car you need to buy. Alright. You can join the Chinese or even North Korea here for the lulls. Oh, yeah. You can do a lot of shit. You got the mafia, China, the UN. It, it's what Far Cry 2 tried to do with their faction system. Where you could go around and uh, uh oh yeah yeah this is a fucking it's, it's a side quest yeah it's a challenge all right yeah you can it, it's what Far Cry Two tried to do with their faction system to where the idea is you just kind of work for everybody and you are solely profiting off the conflict and you don't really care yes uh but Far Cry Two obviously like streamlined little streamlined it a little bit. And, and forced you down roads of like, no, but you, you do kind of care, though. You did get shot in the ass. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Far Cry. Uh, <laughs> you did get shot in the ass. Yeah. And tortured. Uh, mercenaries, it's literally you're just doing it for your own self-gain. Estate, you can, you can cause it to where uh, fucking the Russian mafia owns North Korea. You will not make it out of the hood. Yeah, kid. Are you Chinese or Japanese? Uh, motherfucker, I, I am in a friendly vehicle. I got a minute to blow this up. We. I miss Far Cry 2's fire mechanics. No, you don't, chat. No, you don't. I, uh... There you go. We, we've reached the point where uh, people are letting... Well, we're, we've been there forever, but... Uh, we're getting to the point where I'm seeing people let nostalgia cloud their views on things that I give a shit about now. Yeah. Uh, and I saw someone. I saw someone earlier ago. Uh, why? Why is Remedy remaking or why is Rockstar remaking the uh, Max Payne games? Max Payne One is perfect. It doesn't need to be remade. And I was like, um, excuse the fuck out of me. It doesn't need to be remade. Yes, it yeah. does. It has some problems. It has some problems. It has some pretty fucking glaring issues. Uh, like the the only objectively perfect thing in that game. Is Max's voice performance. Yeah. Since so 3 was a good game, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. So was 4. No. Get out of here. Since so 3 was a good game. Since so 3 was okay. I am tired of pretending it wasn't good. It was okay. Y'all motherfuckers making people up in your head right now. A class with a nostalgia critic being fate, a pretender. Alright, we got another email. 
I was thinking about getting Rebirth just for the Zack episode, but then uh, but then that means I have to play a shitty remake just for a one-hour segment. I think I should just watch the Zack cutscene on YouTube. Fuck that. I'm just going to avoid the remake in general. There, yeah, you, there go. you go. I fight servants so you don't have to. I, I hope they talk about Iori just so we can have uh, we can have Saber talk about the darkness inside that man. So Canada wants to pass action T4. Chat, you can't just throw legislation at me like that and act like I know what the fuck is going on in Canada. Oh, God. You <laughs> hostile act witnessed by the Allies. Forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, UN page is 70k to 90k for the job. Lolly airstrike. <laughs> <laughs> just remake Max Payne, but with Max Payne 3's engine. Yeah. Well, like, just m remake Max Payne 1. Like, a 1 to 1. Yeah. But give me the movement and the mechanics of Max Payne 3, and I'm fine. Yeah, there you go. Max Payne 2, get rid of that fucking mission where you defend the douchebag in the mascot costume. No, no. That, that, that mission will be fine with updated controls. Okay. That, that's why that's why people going, man, these games are perfect. Why are they remaking them? It's like, no the fuck they're not. There's so much room for improvement. Uh, Adrian, for two bucks, can you fight Nostalgia Critic? Uh, absolutely, chat. Give me Doug. Give me Doug. Bring him to me. Just because you're dry, uh, playing an Asian woman doesn't mean you get to drive like one. <laughs> but let me carry a ton of weapons. Yeah, okay, I, yeah, I, I, I take that back. Uh, it, it's just Max Payne 3's combat and movement system, but instead of being locked to two weapons, uh, or technically three, uh, let me let me pick up an infinite yeah. amount of weapons. So, yeah. It says, speaking a foreign language, I think if you play as the black guy, he speaks Korean. Possibly. Yeah. Central 4 is a fun game. I'm dying on this hill. Yeah, you die on a lot of shitty hills. Remake Dead Rising? It's coming, maybe. There are rumors. I think 3 was the GOAT, yes. Yes, it was. Can you fight the Lightbringer? Chat, if they have a YouTube review show, I can take them in a fight, I promise you. Doug Walker mod from Max Payne. Uh oh. I think I ran over one of my friends. RE5 is perfect. We don't need a remake. Oh, no. I want a remake with more black people, chat. You know exactly why. Get out of the way, douchebag. Get out of the way, asshole. You see that fucking Mickey Mouse game had to rename itself? Yeah. Yeah, there, there, was, a, there was a Mickey Mouse game coming out, uh, some indie horror game called Outbreak uh, 88. And they had, to, they had to rename the game because people saw 88 and fucking started twitching and said, yeah. <laughs> Hitler! <laughs> Hitler! Yeah, it's like the dumbass that are like, well, we're just never allowed to use 88 as yeah. like a numerical and thing. And they, they had to come out and specify and go, yeah, we called it 88 because the game takes place in 1980. Yeah. Specifically 1988, but, uh, whatever. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Fucking idiots. What are remake of MGS2? That, uh, that game is not perfect. I, I do not want a remake of MGS2. They'll fuck it up. Yeah. See, you can remake 3 as long as you just keep the story right. And just port over like five's gameplay, and it would still be it'd still be like the complete package. Two is is like locked to its yeah. its gameplay. If like if you ported over MGS 5's gameplay to MGS two, it would be an incomplete yeah, it experience. It would not work. They'd have to change a lot more. <laughs> and King of the Hill, everyone kept asking Japanese or Chinese have gotten new instantly new Cal uh, commas lay ocean. Yeah, because Laos fought against Japan in uh, World War Two. Yep. You should have seen what the Japs did to the little Laotians, man. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Dong dong. The bite of 88. Oh, no. Biggie Mickey Mouse, he's getting a shitty horror movie, too. We don't know if it's going to be shitty. Howdy. Howdy. Oh! <laughs> I'm saying one, two are, are, are only... Oh, the fuck, I broke the gun! ...are only the way they are right now because of limited technology. With modern technology, we could vastly improve on the great but outdated gameplay. And looks... Uh, I don't even care. I don't care much about the looks, but yeah, gameplay could be improved. And uh, Max, Max was the only one with a really good voice performance in the first game. Yeah. Two, it was Max and Mona. They were the only ones that, that gave like a genuinely good voice performance. And I, I'm pretty sure that's just because most of the, most of the fucking grunt, uh, yeah, grunts and whatnot were just fucking devs. Oh yeah. They're just fucking devs reading. Uh, how do you guys feel about Mark Wahlberg as Max Payne? Mark Wahlberg as Max Payne is a good pick. Mark Wahlberg Max Payne is a terrible fucking movie. 
Yeah, yeah. It, it's a terrible movie because it, it very, 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 very loosely follows the plot of the fucking game. Start including to, angels. To such an insane, to such an, a fucking insane degree that there's a moment where Max just straight up literally fucking dies. Yeah. Like, 100% dies, and he hops himself on the fucking, the, the drug from the first game, and literally comes back to life. Shit's wild. This is like the second mission of the game. Yeah. This is what it was made for. To kill a thousand people to lower enemy morale. It's fucking great. So yeah, Outbreak 88 changed its name, as you said. Uh, but it was weird that they changed it to Outbreak of the Jewish Swine 1488 White Power. Such a strange name. Honestly, bro, if I had a bunch of people like going, oh man, you're a fucking Nazi sympathizer because the name of my game, I would double down and just name it some fucking awful shit oh, yeah. like that. So, uh, today I watched a movie called, uh, Dream Scenario, mm -hmm. which is about, uh, Nick Cage, yeah. yeah, it's a Nick Cage movie, and the, the idea behind the movie is he, he's just this random college professor, uh, completely meek, unassuming dude, who wakes up one day to find out people are seeing him in his, dr uh, in their dreams. He's just always there, he has no idea who these people are, people from fucking France and, like, all these other countries are talking about him, he ends up becoming kind of a celebrity. Well, a big point in the movie is that he ends up going through, like, a cancel culture type thing, where the dreams turn to nightmares and he starts like killing and raping people in their dreams and they start going after him personally as if he's responsible yep and and it's it's one of those where if you ever watch the movie it very obviously is talking about like the internet and and uh how people rise and fall and become viral figures they outright name drop stuff like cancel culture and things like that but it is one of the more like scathing criticisms to to that shit because it's directly like he does literally nothing to any of these people. He's like, I don't even know who these fucking people are. And they start, like, sabotaging his car and, like, threatening his kids. Uh, one guy breaks into his house to fucking kill him. And his wife is like, well, maybe you need to make an apology. And it's like, <laughs> apology for fucking what? I don't know who these people are. Uh, and at the end of the movie, the best part is he does make the apology. He makes an apology video where it's like, Hey, I started having nightmares about myself too, and and it, it's fucked up, and and obviously he's a little bit self-serving about it, but he has he has the full right to because he has no idea what the hell he's even apologizing for, and his wife is like, that wasn't good enough. You embarrassed us all, Jesus Christ, and it's like what? <laughs> uh, Max White for five fake bunnies. Help me make a decision. I want to play Returnal, Final Fantasy VII, Crisis Core, Nier Automata, Xenoblade Chronicles Two, or Yakuza Zero. <laughs> uh, just flip a coin. It, yeah, flip a bunch of coins. Uh, it, it's so it's so fucking comedic how uh, how how stacked uh, the deck is against Returnal. Yeah, right. And so just you gotta pick you gotta pick depending on how long you want to spend in the game because uh, fucking three of those games are much longer than the other ones. Uh, I'm sorry you're obsessed with me and dreaming about me. My bad for being awesome. It wasn't that blatant because he, he he was legit. Like for love of God, leave me alone. Because they started doing shit, like, literally he wasn't allowed to go to his daughter's fucking play. Yep. Because the parents were, were too freaked out by him. And he's like, what did I even do? What did I even fucking do? Uh, people had to go to, like, therapy and, like, th there were support groups for you're a survivor of, of of Nick Cage. It wasn't Nick Cage playing himself. He played a guy named, like, Paul. Uh, and so it was like, you're, you're like a Paul survivor. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about, Paul survivor? I didn't do anything to you. Like it, it is actually a really good movie that 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 really kind of points out how stupid uh, a lot of the the hate mob people can get because mm -hmm. it literally gets to the point of one day he everyone thinks he's great the next day they're trying to like set his car on fire and it's like what the fuck like what what the fuck did I do exist idiot yeah and the end of the movie is like a real the the end of the movie is downright mean because it's just like ingrained now in history that he was a piece of shit <laughs> and, yeah. He didn't want to be on the ride no more. It, it, yeah, we're going a little bit too close to a North Korean base for his taste. Yeah. But like, the end of the movie is he's just now down in history as, like, a piece of shit that hurt people. Yeah. And he, he still never did anything wrong. Uh, but he has to, like, he has to, like, go to fucking France for, like, a book tour and some shit. Uh, and when he's there, when, he wrote a book about what happened. And obviously it's, like, this is what actually happened. And, uh... I want to get my side of the story. And his fucking publisher ripped apart 90% of it to the point it's like barely 20 pages long because they just want to emphasize the fact he was in people's nightmares. Yeah. She's Chinese, chat. 
history is written by the victors. Including you. What movie is this? Dream Scenario. It's yeah. actually really good. It's a Nick Cage movie. Yeah. Nick Cage making his comeback. A pretty damn funny scene is uh, there. there's a chick who like talks to him and is like, yeah, I started having like really sexual dreams about you. Like, and basically kind of like seduces him to go to her apartment uh, so they, sh they can like jump his play, ass. Yeah, role play the dream and all that. So they go there and they start like hitting it off. They're, they're flirting a little bit. He's kind of awkward, but it's like because he doesn't know what he's really supposed to do. Well, as soon as the chick sticks her hand down his pants, he jizzes himself and farts. And it's the thing where, like, oh, God, that is the worst fumble in the world. And it's like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, we, we can do this again. She tries it again, he does the exact same thing and farts again. <laughs> so it's this thing where he's just this absolutely fucking pathetic, like, dweeby guy. I think the movie's based on a psychological urban legend called This Man. No, that's just a straight-up creepypasta. Slash ARG. But mostly a creepypasta. Yeah. I don't know if Nick Cage has a worse than Bo, and Bo's not afraid. Bo's not afraid is at least explicitly a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, Dream Scenario does have a reality to it. And he gets fucked over pretty bad. Just written by the victors makes me way too fucking angry. Oh, uh, what? You yeah, little baby man getting psyoped, little fucking baby man? Sounds like a 4chan green text. <laughs> Sounds like some fetish shit. It's not. It is like 100% like... He fucked that up. Oh no, it's 100% a fetish. Someone, someone behind the scenes was fucking jerking it to that. This one arcs were rare and made for movies only. Uh, no, actually, the the earliest, uh, the earliest accepted. I we could break through that. <laughs> it's not the second game, Wally. Fucking idiot. Uh, the earliest uh, accepted arg, it was a book that a guy made. It was called like the Golden Hair or something. And it was essentially just a book that had a bunch of pictures and riddles and locations to find a buried golden hair. Oh my god, I can't believe I get to talk about this on stream. Uh, essentially it was, yeah, it was just a, a fucking golden hair that he buried out in, a, out in the woods. Uh, not the woods, but out in a, a random location. Uh, and it was found. It was found by some random dude who found it by quote-unquote luck. The story behind how this motherfucking dude found this thing is so insane and petty. Uh, so... Some other people, he followed around a group of people that had uh, found uh, where the guy had buried it. They had played it legitimately and, and uh, found where he buried it. Yeah. And they just happened to dig in the wrong location and couldn't find it. So they got fucked over. Uh, and this guy dug up the correct location, so he he's the one that got to win it. Uh, but it turns out that the guy went out of his way to seduce the guy who wrote the book's fucking wife... To, to, or I think it was girlfriend at the time, but, but seduce his wife to tell him where it was, find out where it was buried so he could go fucking dig this thing up. He proceeded to, to take the fame he got from digging it up, make a, a shitty computer game that was literally impossible to win. Uh, it was, if you won, if you won the computer game, you could send in like a, a letter or something. And he would give you the golden hair that he dug up, oh. right? It was literally impossible. He charged thirty dollars uh, for it. It was literally impossible. Then he came out with a sequel to it that essentially had answers to the riddles in the game, that was thirty dollars as well. So he sold people two games that could not be beaten. <laughs> fucking fuck this dude's wife specifically to find out where he buried this fucking treasure. Jesus Christ! It's so petty. So fucking petty. It's it's petty as fuck, but at the same time, all I can think is... He didn't know this guy, by the way. He didn't know this guy. Like, it, it's petty, but at the same time, all I can think is, well, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? It's... <laughs> it, 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 I don't think the golden hair was even worth anything, either. See, that, that'd be, yeah. If you go into it thinking, well, I'm going to get, like, a million dollars out of this, that's one thing. If you're doing it just to say you did it, you're a fucking asshole. I think he's just a fucking dick, dude. So pet, so petty that you should have been hired by Disney, yeah. Make more money than the treasure's worth. That's a good plan, yeah. See here, Larry Bundy viewer. Also, uh, I am not. Lazarus, five dollars. Don't you hate the fact uh, the model playing as Eve for Stellar Blade actually didn't make the character ugly, uh, but the Mary Jane game design looks bad? I can't wait for Stellar Blade to get absolutely fucking ruined over here. Yeah, it's know, gonna be right? great. That's gonna be fucking great. They're gonna do everything they can to be like, well, no, you you can't handle the fucking jiggle physics. Yeah. You, you can't. You can't handle it. What game are you talking about? That's not a game. That was an arg. Uh, it was a book called like the Golden Hair that a guy made. That was essentially a. Uh, uh, it was essentially a and well an arg, but a treasure hunt. Yeah. 
And that was the, the earliest accepted arc. And it already had some nightmarish consequences. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the first the first accepted arc that we have, and it already has a game jacker, bro. Like, come on. I'm begging you to pick up the RPG. I don't need it just yet. I got to get I'll this truck out of here. I will get the RPG when the RPG applies, but right now... Uh... <laughs> fun, New Year's, fun New Year's with family. Almost got blown up by a firework. Most people do. Yeah. Uh, can't forget that in dream scenario, uh, bread tubers can infiltrate your dreams and show socialism to you and Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they make it a plot point at the end of the movie that corporate... I looked away and now we're fucked. Idiot. I looked away. Idiot. I looked away while driving. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time. Damn it. I think this is how I died. So, this is a problem. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, in the movie, they find out the technology to actually allow people to willingly go into people's dreams and it's immediately used by corporations to sell like soda. Yeah. Yeah. I came here to listen to the show to talk about Netterar and question if I didn't click on a running shine stream. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the arg was just called the the golden hair or something like that because it, it was a book. Like it's a, it's yeah. a book. All right, let's try this again. First arg was the first Netterar arg and money fumbling scams. <laughs> Don't drink and drive, idiot. I wasn't drinking. I was looking away because I was reading chat. Many such cases. Let's try this shit again. <laughs> oh, fuck. Gunner bro's dead. Yeah, we all know the dream machine's real when the government starts saying that we don't have a dream machine. My god. My god, he's right. Yeah, that's just telling us to destroy the machine guns. Can't chat and drive, baby. Yeah. Did the dude ever find out? Yeah. I mean, the guy wrote a book about it. I said, we, uh... Yeah, like, I, at some point in time, everyone found out that the guy was just a fucking cheat. Because he, he, he made, uh... So the way that he sold the game was he literally made a company with the same name as the book. <laughs> so he's just an and, exceptional asshole. Yeah, and made the game, named it also the same thing as the book, and sold sold the fucking uh, the game, made the the sequel slash DLC to it that was just answers to the riddles, sold it for the same amount of money. And this was the seventies, I want to say, it was like seventy three or some shit. So he's just a dick. Oh, absolutely, a petty fucking asshole. He was the, you know, he wasn't even petty. He didn't even have no beef. He's just evil. <laughs> just a bad man. If you were a soldier and could, pick, right. and could pick your code name, what, what would it be? Mine would be Assassin Bug. Huh. You don't get to pick your code names. That is true. Other people have to give you your code names, otherwise it's not really cool. Cheated the system he did. He fucked the guy's wife. Yeah, cheated the system. Yeah, quest for the golden hair. Something like that. Is it real or show to trying to gaslight me again? Look it up! Uh, the ARG was a children's book called Masquerade, written by Kit Williams in 1979. No, Masquerade came after the Golden Hair one. Masquerade was a, a separate ARG that came out after and was likely inspired by the Golden Hair one. Uh, and I bet the that rules. one did not. That one did not get game jacked. And I and I guarantee there's probably a rule there of like if you fuck my wife, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> so the the interesting thing about the Masquerade one was um, everything went down fairly well from what I can remember. Uh, so everything was fine. Uh, but there was a guy that became hyper-obsessed with it to the point where it, like, ruined his life. Like, um, there was a couple of guys who, like, made a podcast about solving the puzzles and, yeah. uh, you know, essentially finding the treasure, which were friends of this, this guy that became obsessed with it. Yeah. And, uh, I think it was, I think he was the guy that did poorly drawn comics. I think that was what his website's name was. But essentially, he hyper-focused on it so much, he went batshit fucking insane and fucking killed himself. Args aren't args aren't good for people's mental health chat, especially no, especially fucking mentally ill people. Lolly, Lolly, don't wreck, don't wreck, don't wreck, Lolly. There we go, we got the truck. Arc history stream, boys, woo! And we got bonus. If I could shoot show this code name, it'd be flapping prolapse. You see, the great thing is, chat, I already have my code name, and it was a cool one. Cold personality for two dollars. How is Stellar Blade gonna get ruined in the West? They'll change something, chat. Oh, they're gonna try. They're gonna try. The the company was bought out by Sony. 
They'll find a way. Unless for some reason Koreans just get an exception to the rule. Mm -hmm. I hear they're selling Goku cereal. I'm going to go check it out. You should send right. it to us in the P.O. box, please. Please. All please. Right, so this is the, the Russian uh, mercenary website. Yeah. So you get Surgical Strike, Supplies, and Vehicles. Yeah. You get more the, the more you do shit. In particular, I think if you help out the Russians a lot... Was a dragon of Kentucky? No, it was. Uh, it was first. It was left hand of God, and then I was like, I'm not left handed though. And then they changed it to right hand of God, and I was like, okay. Favorite Decepticon car? I like Knockout. I was just about Megatron because he was a fucking tank. I like the. Uh, I like. Was it Hot Shot? I like the police car one. Uh, or you join the Discord? Uh, you donate a, like a dollar on the Streamlabs, and then you get sent the link. Or something like that. Or you join the Patreon or the Subscribe Star. Okay, those are the three. No, Russia, bad do. Bad do. I mean, they gave me money. They can't be all bad. Have you played as Freezer in Fortnite? Chat, it's $20. Like It's like $20 per, per skin, chat. Come on. Of course you played Frieza. <laughs> China will not get any more money from me. Until until Devil May Cry comes out. Once Devil May Cry comes, I'll, I'll chill. I literally just did this to be a dick. Yeah. Shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him while he's dead. Okay. Ah. Oh, damn it. You took too long, Lolly. All right. Uh. Shit. Taking pot shots at me. Not today, Kami. Imagine being a cuck left-handed. I know, chat. I know. Fucking lefties. All right, I actually need a car. I need to get to China. <laughs> Remember Red Supre? He turned into a gun. Oh, yeah, Megatron did turn into a gun in the original cartoon. Yet, it's Western propaganda. Russia, habitual line crosser. <laughs> exactly. Well, this isn't technically Russia. It's the Russian mafia. Mm -hmm. So they're slightly different. Slightly. Still run by the Russian government. Yeah. Showed a DMC China has uh, even more dumbed down combat compared to its earlier build. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I was telling people. I, I said uh, somewhere close to release, they changed the combat and overhauled it to be like way more dumbed down to be more accessible for people. And uh, it, it was fairly close to when they were supposed to push the initial release of the game, and people were complaining about it. So I'm I'm hoping the reason they pushed the release date back from December to January was explicitly because people were complaining and they were going to roll it back to the old one because from what i was hearing there's there's mechanics in the game that don't make any sense anymore like they they swap stuff over so that like now you have mechanics for bosses that used to like nero used to be able to use and now nero doesn't have the ability anymore because they dumbed his character down to make it easier for people to play oh god so, like, people were like, hey, like, there's no point to even have this in the game anymore. So I'm hoping they just revert it. That'd be a lot better. God, please revert it back to the old combat. <laughs> It'll be, uh, I'll be sad when Frank Welker goes. Yeah. Didn't he just win a, an award recently, chat? I think so. It was like a Lifetime Achievement Award or some shit? It's a mobile game. Who even wants it? It's a mobile Devil May Cry. Everybody wants it. How far away is China? Oh, okay, we're not too far away. They're at the airport. Ow. Ow! Oh, yeah, they would be at the fucking airport. Always ready to run away. You watching the Iron Man anime? Yeah, we watched it. It goes through Route A. Yeah. And I think there was a teaser that they are going to do B and C. Maybe? Well, technically they did B at the same time as A, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. You got to see A and B happen at the same time. Friendly, friendly, you assholes! China! China! Gotcha, DMC? Yeah. Uh, there's a Double May Cry gotcha coming out. Uh. Will Chinese DMC be on Steam or PS4? No, it'll just be a gotcha. I mean, maybe Steam, because a lot of these gotchas have been coming to Steam as well, but probably not. Can't they just make game journals difficulty mode for those types of people? Uh, no. You guys ever play Pokemon Go? A very little bit. Yeah, very little bit. They didn't they didn't have my favorite Pokemon at release, so I didn't care. 
Gotcha DMC, Jesus Christ. Yeah, let me look up, uh... Let me, it, it should be coming out on, on the... Yeah. It's, it's Devil May Cry Pinnacle of Combat. Coming soon, TM, yeah. Uh, release date is still January 10th, so... It should release everywhere in the world on January 10th. Ugh. Speaking of DMC, just had a very nice discussion with Ruben Langdon. Dude is crazy and kooky, but very perspective. Very perceptive and nice. Hope he gets an RVA role in the future. Yeah. yeah. You should you should check out uh, Ruben's, uh, not vlog, podcast. Yeah. For, Fortnite segregated Goku Black from the rest of the cast. My brother. Uh, tips for taking out Fagslin in Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, all right, knocked out the priest goblin that locks you up alone if you try to cure. You talking about the big demon dude? Because uh, stack barrels right outside his room. Yeah. Then bait him to come out. Barrels will solve 99% of your issues, chat. Like, unironically. Last time I streamed Baldur's Gate 3, I was literally chucking them at people like grenades, and they worked. Yeah. Uh, DM DMC gotcha showed it when he sees he can get Lady from playing gotcha. Uh, it's it's Dante, Virgil, Nero, and Lady. Those are your four playable characters. How does it feel to know that the second time we got to play Lady was in a fucking, uh, a, a fucking gotcha game? I know, right? And the version you're gonna play is gonna be an objectively worse version than the beta version. Also, that Golden Rabbit ARG was called Hair Razor. No, the yeah. fuck it was, you sure motherfucker. Right okay, so we have to go liberate the children's museum. No Trish, no Trish. You guys plan on ever creating a Rumble channel? Lolly has one. Yeah. There's just no reason to use Rumbles. <laughs> That's on Rumble. That's on Rumble. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The missile actually tracks. Oh, shit, yeah. All right. I see Lola made the correct choice when picking a character. I mean, do you want to look at uh, a Finnish man's ass, a black man's ass, or uh, a Chinese lady's ass? Neither. You're getting the tank. Ah! No Lucia? Chat, they don't. You ain't ever getting Lucia. What about DMC4 okay. Lady? What about her? It, 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 is, it is Nero from DMC4, Dante from DMC3, Virgil from DMC3, and Lady from DMC3. What's up, motherfuckers? Will the DMC mobile ca game have a campaign? I probably? Lucia who? Hey! Don't put disrespect on Lucia's name, chat. Get away from the children's museum, you damn dirty communists! Is that the story of David? Damn it, the tank's stuck! <laughs> yeah, Rumble needs a lot of quality of life stuff. Yes. Yes, they do. Get away, you bastards! Uh, every single one of these, like, YouTube wannabe startups, they always forget the single most important thing, and that's your mobile player has to be on par with YouTube or nobody gives a fuck. Yep. The, like, most of YouTube's viewership doesn't come from people putting fucking videos on in the background on their desktop. It comes from fucking people watching on their goddamn phones. Literally plopping their phone right next to them and doing errands around the house. Yeah. Are you going to play the gotcha on Friday? I'm going to finish DMC5, and then uh, I'm really, really, really torn on what to do next, because I, I want to... I wanna, uh, show people how to start Dragon's Dogma runs and, and have some fun, but I found the fucking the 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 greatest DMC two that we never got, and I want to show that off. I want to show it off so fucking bad. Not today, communism. At least she looks like Mr. Off from Metal Gear Rising. <laughs> yes. Funny enough, uh, real life Ryan was playing DMC three, saying it was his childhood, and was interested in finishing five, starting four, but finished off by saying "fuck DMC Devil May Cry." Yeah, if anyone defends DMC Devil May Cry outside of just like level variation, they're silly people. Yeah, uh, I saw people going uh, along with the discussion about like remaking Max Payne. People were like, uh, "Yeah, we don't need people. We don't need a remake of, of uh, Devil May Cry three. It, it plays just uh, uh, it plays just as good as it as it always did." And I was like, "Um, no." Like, there's a reason whenever whenever it got ported to the Switch, they added in fucking style switching. Yeah. It's because it's cause the game the game can always be improved. But style switching is baked into the fucking DNA of, of modern DMC games. Oh, fucking goddammit. <laughs> fucking it, artillery didn't work. Yeah. It just fucking is. It's just baked into the DNA of it, so it feels so much worse to play it without Whoa! style switching. Uh, uh, Lolly? <laughs> I think all the I think all the bad guys got out of the fucking building. Fuck you! Fuck you! 
But yeah, like, uh, D DMC3 remake, where you have style switching and they just poured over fucking combat uh, improvements from DMC5 or 4. 100%. Yeah. I fucking love that. I love it. Yeah. I think DMC3 needs better enemies and style switching. Style switching, like, does a lot of the legwork. Uh, I re I've been going through them, and uh, we played the Switch version that had style switching. It makes a big difference. I can't start on DMC uh, DMC with three only four. <laughs> I, I I can play I can play classic three just fine, but style switching is the way to go. Uh, thoughts on Infinite Warfare getting resurgence response? How uh, still MW three is? Everyone keeps uh, everyone always comes back to Mar uh, Infinite Warfare. Always goes back to Infinite Warfare. Chat. Pissed. What are they making these fucking barracks out of? <laughs> Clearly, your, alt your artillery sucks. DMC3 needs to fix the bosses. DMC3 has the best boss it, it could ever have, okay? Jester. Did DMC2 do anything right? DMC2 had movement. Like, the movement in DMC2 was fine. Fine, arguably better than any other movement in the series. And that's because Dante has fucking double jump built into his kit. I don't have to go to the store and buy double jump or be in a specific style to have double jump. I'm wasting all my money on the fucking I artillery. Know. <laughs> I know. What about the first DMC game? Is it worth it to play it? Chat, it's worth it to play all of them. It's worth it to play every single every single one of them, except for DMC Devil May Cry. Don't let people trick you. DMC 2 introduced Bloody Palace and Rebellion, yeah? Oh shit! <laughs> now, someone someone did bring up a, a very fair point. I I, I I argued with them a little bit. Uh, it's it's the the Japanese people that I talk about Simpho Gear with. Yeah. Uh, and we we got into an argument about Devil, about Devil May Cry, and it was essentially, uh, well, Devil May Cry Two isn't that bad. People just play the game wrong, and I was like. What the fuck you mean, homie? Yeah. And it was, well, like, everyone always complains about the bosses taking too long to kill, but you do a metric fuck ton of damage if you just hit the bosses with your swords. And I was like, okay, fair point. However, uh, most bosses are very easily murdered by just using the guns. Yeah. And you're completely safe by doing that. I mean, at some point, the, the, the instinct will kick in of, like, just use the gun. Just use gun. Yeah. Uh, the gun has no danger to it. Uh, Zodiac for a dollar. I'm choosing the one true path to improve my social credit score and helping the Chinese faction. <laughs> oh God! Uh, Mark nine nine for two bucks. Show. Did you tell Lolly about the furry marks and ready or not? L Lolly already knows. Yeah. <laughs> he plays ready or not. There we go. But DMC Double May Cry did have good combat. No, it didn't, motherfucker. No, it did. At, at release, at fucking release, when you pop DT, it launched every fucking enemy into the air airborne and gave them low gravity they just stayed in the air for the entire duration of your goddamn double trigger there are so many there's so many core core elements of that game that were dog shit that they had to patch out when they put they put out the definitive edition of the game the game ran at 30 fucking fps which is like fucking abysmal for a character action game i hate artillery so much look at that shit <laughs> i've gone through four of them You're a Simpho Fear you're a Simpho Gear fag? Bitchin'. Oh, I fucking love Simpho Gear. I, I can't talk about it with any fucking uh any any Western bros, so I, I literally ingratiated myself into the Japanese fan base. Why do people think color coded combat enemies is a good thing? Yeah, I mean that's something I'll I'll hundred percent argue with people on. It's like color coded enemies was fucking stupid. Yeah, color coded enemies are is stupid. The game ran at thirty FPS at release. Uh the fucking God damn it, my nose is fucking killing me. We're gonna have another gush chat. We're gonna have another fucking gush. The, the only thing DMC did well was a variety of gameplay locations. The the, the arena design was nice. Except for the Slurm Factory. Yeah. Slurm Factory looked like shit. My big thing is I, I just couldn't get over how obnoxious the game is. I hated the soundtrack. I did not like Dante. The, the soundtrack was bad. Uh, Dante was unlikable. Cat was a non-character. Virgil was just objectively not Virgil. Yeah. Artillery was made in China. That's why it's bad. Fair point. I don't know if I actually needed this guy or not. Let me let me look. Pippo's playing Project Toho. Oh no! Oh no, he's not. He's just some officer. Well, buddy, bad fucking day. You literally break the style meter in DMC reboot. Yeah, if you just hold down triangle, you can literally just get your style meter up to max. 
I'm sorry, if you just keep pressing and holding, so just doing the, the heavy triangle attack with, I think it was Rebellion. This probably made this a hell of a lot easier. Reddit, for, Reddit, Fedora, Virgil, Lel. Yeah, uh, in the in the original version of DMC Devil May Cry, when they released it, Virgil literally had a fedora, and they caught so much fucking flack for it that in the Definitive Edition, they patched his fucking fedora out. He doesn't have a fedora because it was so much of a fucking joke. Yeah. They, they were so disconnected from the fucking the franchise. It, it quite literally was... If what? I remember correctly, the game... The game didn't launch with the fucking uh, classic Devil May Cry co costume, the DMC3 costume. You have the one scene where, where uh, in the tutorial, where the wig the wig falls on Dante's head, and he, he looks like DMC3 Dante, and he goes, not in a million years, yeah. and throws it away. And they didn't have, they had the audacity to not give you the classic Dante look in the base game. I think you had to wait for Definitive Edition to get that. Yeah. Uh, on top of that... They had an entire Virgil campaign that they were going to make. No one liked the fucking game, so they didn't make it. They gave you, like, the, the table scraps of the Virgil campaign. Which ended up being in... in they ended up being in the game's favor, because the, the stylized cutscenes we got for Virgil were nice. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, the, the DMC3 classic costume was DLC. Yeah. Yeah. Ninja Theory seems like a belligerent developer, too. Sometimes. Sometimes. Didn't the creator of the remake of DMC, Devil May Cry, come out and say he did not even like Devil May Cry? Yeah. He, there was that famous uh, famous uh, PowerPoint he did where they basically said Dante is a gay cowboy. Yeah. And they did everything they could to not be that Dante. And then everyone made fun of them because their they're Dante fucking sucked. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, their Dante sucked. And, and like they're, they're, There's a bunch of shit that they did poorly. Uh, mainly, it was fighting with the fans. They were, they yeah. were actively belligerent towards fans. And, uh, like, he came out later and was like, yeah, well, like, most of the stuff we did was because Capcom wanted us to make a West... They didn't just want us to do Devil May Cry again. They wanted to do a Western version of Devil May Cry. They wanted us to put our own spin on it. And Which wouldn't I let us bullshit. do a lot of things. I I'm willing to believe it, because that, that was in the Capcom dip, where they were just doing dumb shit because fuck you. So I'm willing to believe it. The problem is, Capcom didn't tell you to be belligerent with your fans. To, yeah. to shout and call your fans fucking stupid. Yeah. That was something you opted to do because you couldn't just turn turn the fucking news off. Yeah. Well, that, that's what I mean. Like, uh, the reason I call bullshit is because they do this every fucking time where it's like they act like assholes. They make everybody hate them. They're, whatever they're working on comes out and it's dog shit. Then they go and say, well, we didn't actually want to do this. This is what we were told to do by corporate. And it's like, no, you fucking did it. You were bragging about fucking doing it. Yeah. You know? Mm -mm. One of the reasons I, I really don't like that fucking, uh, that Bill O'Reilly level is it's just a Bill O'Reilly oh, yeah, parody. It's, yeah, it's just, uh, like, it, it's it's blatant about the fact that that character is literally just Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. To, to which I'll say, like, all like right. Like, the, the level design of that level is, is really nice and it has a unique look to it. The boss fight is a nothing burger. Yeah. It, it's like, I, I don't play fucking Devil May Cry to hear somebody's douchebag opinions <laughs> yeah. about Bill O'Reilly. I don't care about your fucking political opinions, asshole. I'm playing Devil May Cry. Yeah, the the exact thing that people play Devil May Cry for. Some douchebags Twitter politics. Yeah. Uh, Grim King nine seven five for two dollars. Thoughts on Subhuman from DMC? It's it, it's it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I, I will never forgive the fact that people went so ape shit over Subhuman when it was first announced that they literally levied a shit ton of false allegations against the creator of Subhuman. Yeah. That, that he was never found guilty of, by the way. So, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, 100% fucking false allegations. Yeah, it just vanished. So, it, it's a thing of like, hey, uh, was this real or was this not? Nobody actually had an answer. Which means it's not. DMC is <laughs> DMC still better than DMC2. I am saying that. You know what, chat? I'll take DMC2 over DMC any day. I will. They killed my tank. There's a, there's a, reason, I, there's a reason I played through D, uh, DMC2 on stream, and I'm not fucking touching DMC Double May Cry. Kill... DMC was just Green Day Punk. They tried to be. Yeah. Dead Rising was Japanese? Yep. Yes, it was. And guess what, guys? Guess what we have now? Bird. 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 <laughs> I'm yeeking. <laughs> Y2K. Uh, Y2K. Y2K, sorry. Version 1.5 coming soon. Yeah. Uh, I, I will respect the, the Y2K dev, because, like, they worked their ass off to... To genuinely fix that game, because it had some fucking problems. Yeah. DMC's more tolerable with the Spanish dub. Yeah, because you can't hear all the fucking terrible dialogue. 
Whenever, whenever Dante's fucking talking to the, uh, uh, the spider birth girl yeah. in the in the slurm factory, and it's just fuck you, fuck yeah. you, fuck, fuck you. you. Yeah, it's like riveting, thought? riveting dialogue. It's like who thought this was cool? Yeah, who thought this was cool? Like literally, even DMC two, like the 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 worst one in the mainline of my cries, has better fucking dialogue than that. Yeah. At least now, fix later is a terrible mindset. Yeah. No, Yeek update made it worse. No. I will not. El Dante. El Dante is cool. El Dante was in a fucking... Well, not Dante, but Dante... Uh, DMC Devil May Cry did so poorly that Capcom sold the assets off to companies uh, to make their money back. Yeah. Uh, one of which was like a Venezuelan toothpaste commercial. So somewhere out there, I was unable to actually find it. Uh, but there's a there's a video of a uh, of a of a female I'm sorry there's a video from a female YouTuber who did a video on Night Cry. Uh, one of the models, the model of the main chick's boyfriend at the beginning of the game, is Dante from DMC Devil May Cry, and she found a commercial from Venezuela, a a, a, a toothpaste commercial from Venezuela. That had Dante in it. Yeah. It was Dante brushing his teeth. I was unable to find that video, but you can watch her video as reference, and, and she shows proof. Uh, Archive Star Control, five bucks. Hi, Philippines. Claim my soul. Here's the U.S. equivalent to 278.43 fake monies. Why are you in the Philippines? Why do people keep going to the Philippines? Yeah, Vietnam. It was like Vietnamese toothpaste. Uh, when you fight Virgil, Dante somebody says, You beat me? Not in a million years. It's true. What's Shota's channel called? Uh, Shota. Vietnam IRC, yeah. There we go. How do I buy Capcom models? I don't know. Send an email to, to Capcom and ask them how much it costs to, to rent out their Dante model. Make sure make sure you specify DMC, Devil May Cry. Uh, I've seen people on Twitter claiming that conservatives didn't know Green Day and Rage Against the Machine were woke. They fucking knew it was woke and it's named Rage for the Machine. Yeah. That's the thing, is people going like, man, isn't it great how Green Day sold out uh, so fucking hard that they became the exact thing they were making fun of? Yes. Also, you may have noticed that uh, we just did a job for the Chinese, and now yes. we're going to kill the fucking Chinese. Yeah. Uh, DMC Don't Make Cry is Dante's design, makes him look like, looks like he stinks like shit. Yeah, he, he literally is just like a fucking a stoner burnout guy. Yeah. Uh, Once again, who thought that was cool? The, the worst thing is... The, there, there is a foundation for a lot of good moments in DMC Devil May Cry. Like, the, the one that always stuck out to me as, was a, as a missed opportunity was there's a scene where Dante needs to get into a, a uh, club, and the bouncer stops him and says, your name's on, not on the list. So he knocks him out and grabs the clipboard uh, and writes, fuck you on it. Yeah. And that is such a missed opportunity because the, the fuck you... Makes it go too far. It yeah. makes it go not funny. Yeah, it's again, haha -ha vulgarity. If he grabbed it out of the air... And wrote down Dante on it, and then like threw it back down. Yeah. There you go. That's an easy joke. Yeah. Like that. That that is fine. The the fuck you being the like the fuck you is the is the is the joke. It is yeah, yeah. the joke. It's not that he wrote wrote anything on the clipboard. It's not that he punched him out or anything. It's just he said fuck you. That's a joke. You need to make an actual joke. That that's what makes it a good scene is having an actual fucking end point to your joke. Yeah. Once again, it's a case of like. Uh, Trying to get the, trying to get the. We're boxer. pissing off every faction. You're goddamn right. Pay me what you fucking owe, motherfuckers. <laughs> what do you mean you got gypped by the Chinese? Come on. We gotta fight with the winch here. Damn physics. OG Dante would have written his name on the list. Yeah, he would have. Like 100. percent Yeah. Like a, a a great moment for it would have been, you know. Everyone's like, I thought of that exact same joke. Yeah, like, it's not a hard joke to make. I, I no, can it's imagine. Basic. I, I imagine that everybody in the room came to, to the conclusion to make the same joke, and that's yeah. what made them go, well, we can't do that because that's what they'd be expecting. It's like, because it's a fucking funny joke. Because it works. It's in character. People people would giggle, yeah. and that's all you need. Writing fuck you on the clipboard isn't funny. It just makes you roll my eyes and go, no, you're not cool. Yeah. Like, you know, a great, great moment with Ben. He knocks the guy out, clipboard flies through the air, catches it, writes down Dante, and leaves a little devil may cry card right there under the clipboard as, as like a reference thing you know just a, a cute little like oh that was fun you know kind of show who dante is kind of show his character and he's still shilling devil may cry even as he's I was gonna, doing things yeah i was gonna say unfortunately the devil may cry business uh yeah. doesn't exist yeah the entire name devil may cry doesn't make any sense in the reboot yeah 
Dante swore and I clapped. He cl I clapped. Dante said fuck and I jizzed my pants. You lost respect with the Chinese. They will get over it. Minus 10 social credit. I'm willing to work with the Russians because the Russians give me guns. Actually, you're a woman, so it's minus 20 social credit. Yeah. Dental may cry. Ch if anyone does find that fucking Vietnamese uh, Dante toothpaste commercial, I beg you, put it in the Discord. I'd love to see that shit. I am so mature. Yeah. He swore, guys. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. The only boys play, uh, only plays boys literally said the exact same thing about how shit the DMC dialogue is. Love those guys. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it, there's nothing, there's nothing good there. Uh. Alright. So we have information on four of the cards. Yes. There's five of clubs. He is in a installation Financial north of Pyongyang. So where are we? We're in Pyongyang. Yeah. So. It literally just crossed the bridge. Somewhere across the bridge and probably up there on probably 70. that box, yeah. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go get us a bounty target. Yeah. Don't they please. He okay. said pig bitch and I came. I imagine doing a remake so bad your version of the main character gets sold to toothpaste commercials. Yeah. Right. And the whole time you were like, oh, we're the better one. That, that dumbass weird fucking Japanese one. That one fucking sucks. We're the real shit. Yeah. I mean, Dante writing fuck you makes sense for the reboot because Dante's uh, character is just that he's angry. He's not even angry. Like, he's literally not even fucking angry. And here's the he's thing. He's just apathetic. And here's the thing. I don't care if it makes sense for reboot Dante mm -hmm. because reboot Dante is a fucking do. He's a fucking dweeb. <laughs> he's, he is a fucking dweeb, too. It's like it doesn't he's make lusting sense. over a fucking hipster girl that uses squirrel semen and piss to do her fucking tags, dog. It won't let me in the helicopter. I'm mad. We're too poor to afford C4. Fuck. Which Discord? Uh, you gotta, you gotta go to the stream labs. You gotta go to the stream labs. You better that to how satisfying Nero's fuck you was in DMC5. Yeah. Yeah. Which I guarantee was made as direct made retaliation. Money? We made money. Yeah, because it was technically a North Korean one. Ah. Uh, we get money if we blow up North Korean vehicles. The mop joke was dumb and rude. Yeah, they didn't even have the common decency to, to release DMC3 Dante outfit in the base game. It was DLC. All right. Should if you play uh, Hi-Fi Rush, who's your pick? Peppermint, uh, Corsica, yeah, or both? 100% okay. right. both. So now we got to get to the Chinese HQ. It's a way to get some extra money. And then we'll steal one of their tanks and go and, and get the uh, the one motherfucker. Nero right. Nero would write fuck you on the list. Nero would come up with a better one-liner. Yeah. He honestly, he probably wouldn't write anything on the list. Uh, no, Nero would probably make a joke like, well, the drinks are too expensive anyway, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just like a, a, a quick little quip. Wouldn't even write anything. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he, yeah, he'd, he'd make a he'd make a, a quip at the bouncer's expense, and then he'd just yeah. walk through anyways. Yeah. Korska, I like Scottish dom, you mommy. She's nice. Uh, mature language does fit DMC5 better anyways. Well, it's only Nero. Yeah. Hey, like, it's just Nero. And the moment he uses it is a good moment. Yeah. Nero's not dropping F-bombs the entire game. It's It's a singular moment. And he's not even like trying to be cocky when he does it. He's legitimately angry. Yeah, and it's a it's a it, it is a scene that is also wrapped up in a callback to DMC four. Yeah. Because uh, in 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 that same scene, or a little bit after that same scene, I think, or before, I believe it's before. I'm sorry, uh, a little bit before that same scene, you have a callback to DMC four where uh, it's 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 whenever. I was trying to do a cool drift into it. Yeah. It's so whenever Dante essentially uses the his skirmish with Virgil, uh, and he's he's talking to to Nero, and he's like, yeah, well, you can go ahead and handle it, kid. I'll, I'll set this one out. Yeah. Uh, which is a callback to whenever Nero uh, got his shit fucking pushed in and was talking to Dante yeah. uh, in DMC4, and he's like, all right, you can handle it, but don't, don't make this a habit. Yeah. It's nice. Love me, daddy. No! So Netflix is doing DMC, which character is going to get race swapped? Uh, lady. Yeah, probably lady. <laughs> probably lady. We, we we saw like proto designs for what looked like lady, and it I wasn't liking it. No, nothing about it looked good. Mm -hmm. I say the teaser trailer was 
A.D. Shankar walks into A.D. Shankar's office where A.D. Shankar's consoles are right there. Yeah. And A.D. Shankar sits at his nerd table and talks about how much A.D. Shankar loves Devil May Cry. Yes. Oh, wrong one. If <laughs> Virgil's the asshole dad, Dante's the coolest fuck uncle, yeah. Nero, Virgil, Dante. Nero is pretty cool. It's Virgil, Dante, then Nero. But Dante and Nero are real close. I ain't gonna lie, chat. Trish, God forbid we get a light-skinned blonde. Yeah. <laughs> Trish isn't going to be in, in that show, chat. It's just a shitty way to pr promote a show. Yeah. Yeah. It's because it, it's, it's just narcissism on full display. It, it is just, look, I'm in charge of Devil May Cry. It's like, who fucking asked? Yeah, with unopened DMC games on the desk. Yeah, it wasn't unopened DMC games. It was unopened volumes of Berserk on the desk, yeah. which was a fucking threat if I've ever seen one. Yeah, because he's been trying for years to get his hands on Berserk. Yeah. He literally said, like, uh, four or five years ago that he really wanted to do a, a Berserk anime. Yeah. And Which, when, at, at first, at first, when, uh, whenever we were just, like, two seasons into Castlevania, it was like, okay, well, that's not too terrible. And then after that, Castlevania took a dip and everything else he's ever touched has been dog shit anyway. Yeah. So it's like, oh. Especially after Captain Laserhawk. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after Captain Laserhawk. That was like, oh, my God, fuck you. Uh... My male list composer should you uh, should win a fistfight, Phil Glass or Steve Reich? I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. It was before season two. Yeah, because people liked season one. Because as it turns out, season one was adapted from an unfinished Castlevania three script. Yeah. And at the time, everyone blamed Warren Ellis. Then fucking season three and season four came out. Uh, I keep hitting start when I keep me in the hit pack. <laughs> uh, Warren Ellis was not involved in season three, as far as I'm aware, and he was not involved in season four. And those were exactly as bad for the exact same reasons. And it's like, oh, so this had barely anything to do with Warren Ellis. Yeah. Right Castlevania was, was over as soon as Alucard got pegged. Very fair, chat. Very fair. Why does A. Shankar keep trying to insert himself in the franchise and just fuck them up? Because petty narcissism. Yeah. He, he, he's just like a very narcissistic type of person. Okay. Do some scouting. What's Captain Laserhawk? It was the totally, like... They wanted to sell it as the Blood Dragon anime, <laughs> then they just had to admit, yeah, it has nothing to do with Blood Dragon. Yeah. And the word of Smiling Friends, dude, I just looked at that Dante Toothpaste Nightcry thing, and it's true. Like, like that's all true. It is. I, I'm not fucking with you, chat. So the Five of Clubs is in the tower up there. Mm -hmm. Also, chat, did you know uh, that it is very likely that the 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 depictions of, of Christ in medieval art uh, were based off of uh, Helios from Greek sculptures? I find that incredibly interesting. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, because there was a not Troy, Rhodes. Yeah, uh, there is where the like the 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 lighthouse in Rhodes is is where the um, is where the Colossus of Rhodes was likely to stand. But right now it's a church, and underneath there they found like old art. It's nice. I I, I like it. It's cool. It's almost like Jesus was a Jew. It's Greek, you fuck. There we go. It is really close. It, it is really close to that area, though, chat. You, you, you got me there. You know, people complain about Berserk being edgy, but will advocate AD making Berserk adaptation. The guy would actually make Berserk edgy garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, with people bitching about Berserk being edgy, it's just Rage Baiters. Mm -hmm. It is just Rage Baiters getting clicks. Because Berserk, you, if you literally put Berserk anywhere near your fucking title for a video, you jump up in views. Yeah. You just do. Um. Because, <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Because all the Berserk people are so starved for content. <laughs> Homies, are you good? Y'all good? I saw my life flash before my eyes. I guess they're good. Okay. Remember the 80 Shinko's the reason Apu was erased from The Simpsons? Yep. He was one of them, yeah. He made a fucking call-out video on his on his shitty YouTube channel where he's like, um, this is super racist and offensive. Yeah. Captain Lazarus is a bizarre parody of Ubisoft games from people who seem to have uh, not played any of them they're using characters from. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. It's like, guys, yeah. don't you think it's funny? Like, Rayman has yeah. guns and he's shooting people. Yeah. Well, like, uh, yeah, it was literally just uh, a bunch of parodies of all the characters. Yeah. Uh, but like the the only thing that it, like I, I was like fine with the, the with Rayman having the gun thing because it, it honestly it just feels like an extension of the the platformer crisis that every yeah. platformer goes through where it's not, it's just identity crisis shit. Uh, the thing that got me was watching Sam Fisher in an elevator shoot a guy yeah. with with knee pad guns and I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? 
fuck is that? Berserk is an edgy, in my opinion, because it always has a point. Yes, it does. Yeah. I mean, shocker, it's an action also, horror series. The, 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 worst, horror. the worst thing is watching people uh, in, in Berserk discourse go like, well, uh, Miura admitted blank thing, and it's like, no, no, he didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't. No, like, you're literally just making shit up, and the one article I've seen anyone ever cite was a mistranslated article, article anyways. And it was a chick freaking him out. Yeah. It, it was a chick fucking, like, uh, almost climaxing to the idea of being raped by Griffith, and he's like, yeah, get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. There weren't good parodies, though. Yeah. Rayman and Mario and Rabbids was so much fucking better. All right, chat, you're you're asking me to play fucking a Mario Rabbids game. I want you to take a step back right now, okay? I'm gonna take the tour bus. <laughs> Complete. I literally have to do fairs. That's pretty fucking good. Those are the last piece of Rayman content. Any of the Rayman fans are gonna get. Yep. Yeah, we got the five clubs. Yeah, I'll show you a five of clubs. All right. She what now? Yeah. Did you meet her in Japan? Yeah, she was the girl in the yellow sundress that ch jumped off the building. Did Casca enjoy it with guts? I assume so. Yeah, that was loving, chat. Lady, get in the fucking cab! You're getting shot at. They don't trust you. I'm scared of bus. <laughs> Hop out, strangle her, throw her in the bus. I, I canceled it. That guy was shooting at me. He's a dick. Yeah. Play more when Rabbit showed up. Please, no! I will not play. I will not play Baby's first strategy game. I will not. Baby's first the, XCOM. I was gonna say it's not even a strategy game. It's a fucking XCOM game. I just forgot the name of the genre. Uh, show wasn't even uh Rayman, but it was enjoyable if it wasn't Rayman. Eh. I think it, it was just like, like I said. It was just a, a giant parody of, of yeah. a bunch of a it, bunch of Ubisoft properties. It was just every Western adult animated series ever. Mm. It's like oh, tons of. Tons of drugs, sex, and violence jokes, and you're not allowed to have any other type of humor. It's like just tons of vulgarity. Like, can, can we do anything else? We're super best friends member. Be uh, super, I'm sorry. We're super best friends play member before and after the breakup. Super eye patch wolf. <laughs> he is a member. Him and Wooly just started a, a fucking podcast, and I was like, oh god. Yeah, the exact thing people want. Yeah. I, I want more of Super Eye Patch Wolf, of course. Okay. Yes. Seven of clubs. Now, I will say this. Uh, I, I'm, happy, I'm happy... I'm uh, happy Plague is doing good. Yeah. Because uh, he... Whenever he moved to Tennessee, I want to say, uh, he, he kind of like had like a even worse downward spiral. Yeah. That he just kept going on. And then either this year or last year, or he... Well, last year or the year before, uh, he went on vacation to Great Britain, and that seemed to have cheered him up a lot. All right. So K-Song's here where the Koreans are, mm -hmm. and south of that. So probably around Propaganda Village. Propaganda Village, village yes. Go kill people in Propaganda Village. They'll right. never know. We gotta make our way toward the Koreans. Shut up, what do you want to fuck the grill the grill rabbits in the Mario game? Chat? Chat? Oh, God. Plague the Seth, the self-loathing anti-white guy? Uh, I don't know about any of that shit, chat, but, uh, yes. Hey there. What was, the moment, uh, what was the moment where you started super ha uh, hating Super Eye Patch Wolf? Uh, the moment he was full of shit. Not gonna lie. So from uh, birth. I didn't watch a lot of his more infamous stuff, but the mm -hmm. fucking the fear and hunger thing, where he like freaked the fuck out about that. Yeah, that 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 kill that, that fucking killed me because like I rolled my eyes and I'm like, no, uh, a you're not a fucking authority on anything. Yeah. B I, I'm so fucking sick of watching. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Welcome to the war. <laughs> Welcome to the war, motherfucker. China's losing. I, I'm so fucking sick of watching like 99% white people. Uh, bitch about like representation, quote unquote representation yeah. of Native Americans and stuff, and then they don't even get their own shit right. Like the stuff they talk about is is stuff that is applicable to a singular fucking tribe that nobody yeah. knows about, and it's like, all right, so you're full of shit. Good yeah, to know. Keep your fucking mouth shut then. Speak when spoken to. Yeah. Well, it's because they they literally view natives as like the ultimate victim ever. Yeah. It's like you were victims of a a, a Lehecan genocide by Lehecan America. Ah! And it's like, dude, it, it fucking sucked, but everyone involved with that's dead. Yeah, every everyone's fucking dead. Get over it, asshole. Uh, allow people to do what they want. Uh, one of them that really got me was someone on someone on Twitter went after an artist that I liked and was like, oh, well, like the the native the face paint and the native headband and uh, the dress that they were using, uh, essentially like tore it apart. And the artist issued an apology, and I was like, none of this is correct except for the face paint. Yeah. Like the only thing they got right was the face paint. 
Like, they're like, oh, well, natives, the natives didn't actually wear headbands. It's like, there was a ceremonial thing, but they did fucking wear headbands. Yeah. Like, you're objectively fucking wrong. They're like, oh, they didn't have tomahawks. It's like, it was for, it was a fucking tool. It wasn't for combat, but they did. Yeah, they did. It was a cut wood. Yeah. Like, you're, you're fucking completely full of shit. Plague Moth, guy who made to watch the CP? No, Plague. Plague of Gripes. Plague of Gripes. Guy. I, 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 I watched, uh, I watched Play of, Play of Gripes two most recent videos. Uh, one was an art video, and on his art gripes, he kind of just talks about life stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it was it was nice to watch that and hear him like, kind of, vocalize some things that's going on in his life. Yeah. Uh, and and kind of talk about, like, here are some personal problems I have. Here are ways that I'm tackling it. And I was like, yeah. okay, well, it's, it's good to know he's doing good. And then he did a video. Well, it was essentially a vlog from where he went to uh, uh, England, and he was like, I am doing fucking fantastic i am loving my life right now and i was like well that's much better than when you were like basically contemplating suicide yeah it's like about to fucking put the gun in your mouth yeah body gates 3 is such a good game but i fucking hate the fans true just ignore the fan base true the the big thing that that uh modern hullabaloo's are teaching everybody is why in god's name do we allow like kids on twitter to dictate anything yeah if if uh, the internet needs to have a blanket-wide ban on minors. No yeah. one under the age of fucking 18 should be able to access the goddamn internet. Yeah. Because they're they're responsible for a lot of the shit going on. They are. A hundred percent. Is in play of grapes a furry? Uh, not a furry. Because artists you were talking about, Shoda? Uh, it's the chick that draws Cammy a lot. She did a, she did a, uh, a picture... A, a picture is technically correct. Uh, she did an art piece where she drew Lily uh, in, like, a really, really fucking awesome, uh, like, more stereotypical Native American uh, outfit. And I was like, oh, that's fucking amazing. Uh, and then she, like, right underneath it, she uh, released, like, an apology. Where she's like, oh, I didn't know how offensive it was. I've been talking with somebody, and I appreciate them, yeah. uh, you know, correcting me and blah, blah, blah. And they were really nice about it. Uh, and then, like, I sat there and I, I, like, looked at everything that they said. I was like... Everything here is incorrect except for the face paint. Uh, they were technically correct on the face paint, but I don't give a shit. Went to that person's page. It was a fucking white chick. Uh, like, a fucking 100% white, but she she's like one of those people that uh, looks incredibly white, but probably passed the DNA test to get into the uh, into the tribe and, like, be able to sign up for scholarships for, like, a singular percentage. Yeah, that's so shit. She, so she makes it her, her entire life. It had that in her bio and everything, and I was like, I was like, you know nothing. You know nothing about your fucking people. You, you wave it around like a fucking beat stick. Disgusting. Full on insertion into Sonic Gal? Uh, 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 what? What? <laughs> Jet? Sir? I'll, 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 let me, give me a second. I'll try and find her. Alright. I'll try and find the artist. I'm not finding the fucking white bitch. North Korea insulted me personally. True. That happens a lot, you know. Ah, I got cocky. <laughs> oh, wait. Bomb spray. <laughs> Magic pixel, motherfucker. Yeah. Damn it, I gotta rearm. Also, chat, holy shit, that fucking, uh, that, that earthquake that Japan just got hit with. Yeah. It burned down the fucking Gona Guy Museum. Aw. Uh, it also completely leveled, like, two villages. Yeah. Upside, it doesn't seem like the tsunami's gonna be too bad. So yeah. So, at from, least it won't be that problem. Yeah, from what I heard, there, there's not gonna be any tsunamis. Shit, I thought that would work. How many people do I need to kill? How many of you need to die before you learn? Uh, allowing kids on the internet caused untold damage to everyone. Yes, yeah. very much so. Well, there, there was a, uh, there was somebody that laid it out really well, but basically... It was Octavius DP. Yeah. Back in the day, uh, when the internet was starting off, everyone had their own websites they can go to. Now, because the the internet's so centralized, everyone is in, like, maybe a handful of websites. And because of that, certain websites have way more power than they ever should be allowed to have. Mm -hmm. uh, meaning they can mobilize and fuck with people in, in ways that really should not be normal. Yeah. And because of that, you know, the, the centralization only gets worse and worse and worse and worse of all. Uh, you have people who really, really would never be friends beyond maybe one tangentially similar interest. Like, both of them like anime or something like that. Well, oh, like, 
We, we used to have specific websites for everything. You used to go to specific boards and forums for specific yeah. things. Now it's just fucking social media where it's like, yeah. it, it's the goddamn schoolyard uh, or the playground at school. And it's like, we'll go interact with other people. It's like, man, fuck you. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to interact with none of these motherfuckers. I, I want to talk about a specific thing. I want my life to be fucking car compartmentalized. That's yeah. the way it should be. Burb for f <laughs> burb for $5. Uh, hello, Lolly and Shitta. Uh, have either of you read the manga Aijin, Demi Human? Yes. Uh, it's fucking awesome, and the main villain is a gamer. Also, chat beat the shit out of that motherfucker. It's his, it's his, it's his first fucking... Yeah. It's his first dono. Beat his ass. Vintage weed for a dollar. Hello. 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 Alright. Oh, yeah, look. These are the uh, these are the fake villages that uh, North Korea sets up. Yeah. They're hollow buildings. Yep. It's fucking great. Alright. Yeah, I love how we care more about the Monkey Museum than some villages. I think Shota was the first one to bring up the villages. Yeah. The, the, the problem with the village is that they're really rural, uh, yeah. so it's going to be harder to rebuild them, but I... Woo! Uh, I believe I believe in the power of the Japanese people to rebuild chat. They do it all the time. I'm trying to see if... <laughs> Which percent is uh, native of Shota? Enough to, get a, enough to get a scholarship application, chat. Boom! This. Ooh, eat shit, loser! <laughs> oh, the journal wasn't there to watch that. That was so cool. This whole thing about generational trauma claiming grievances from shit that happened hundreds of years ago where both perpetrators uh, and victims are all dust is just the infinitely more pathetic version of stolen valor. Yes. Oh, yeah, 100%. Sato went to the uh, went to the gaming scene. He's great. Or went to Japan because of the gaming scene. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Japan's not starting this year. Good. To be fair chat to be fair earthquake happened last year yeah <laughs> i just took down the journal i don't care yeah uh, yeah honestly pissing me off honestly uh blind journeyman for two bucks uh just small thanks for for my uh scraps for the good times yeah mm. pretty good shit how much percent native is showed i don't fucking know how old were you when you saw your first gore video? I was 13. Imagine how young Twitter kids are seeing uh, their first gore videos. This shit ruins lives. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I never cared about it. What happens on the screen isn't happening to you, chat. How does it affect you personally, chat? Jers <laughs> uh, talked about the internet centralization thing on the stream he did with Benjamin Boyce. Don't know if you saw it. I did not know that he talked about it on that stream, but he has talked about it before. Yeah. Damn it. I'm going to need this. As a white guy that lived in Oklahoma, I always love it when other people act like there's only one tribe. Oh yeah, yeah. There, there's a there's a shit ton of tribes here in America, uh, or were a shit ton of tribes here in America. They all fought each other constantly. Only thing I can think of is it would be past propaganda village, but you would think it would say that. Maybe to the right and like up that tiny little thing. Yeah, here, here. Uh, southeast of Kaesong. Okay, so he's southeast. Ah, uh, okay. So he's probably around here. Yeah. Probably, like, right there, actually. That little, that two little uh, gray boxes. Yeah. That's the thing I told you, Lolly. Also, also, chat, also, uh, so, you know how Mormon, uh, Mormonism, blah, 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 exists? Uh, f fuck, what's the, what's the guy that invented Mormonism? What's his name? J uh, Joseph Smith? Yeah, Joseph Smith. So, uh, Joseph Smith claims that he, he was on a hill, he dug, he found some golden plates, uh, or some angels brought him to some golden plates and gave him, like, his, his new religion, right? Yeah. Uh, it's very, very... He, I think he claimed that they were uh, plates from, like, a, a sh offshoot of Christianity. Like, some, some Christians from f some fuck-off tribe. Yeah, something like uh, that. Or made it their way over. Uh, obviously, that's not the case. Literally impossible. However, it's very likely what he had were some plates from some Native Americans... Uh, some tribes over there. That's likely what he found. Yeah, it's possible. If it was a tribe that got into uh, mining gold. Mm -hmm. uh, well, like, they, they, they would make a ornate disc. I, I forget yeah. what the name of the tribe is that was up that way, but yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, every culture, for some reason, we all just gravitate around gold. Yeah. Everyone well, fucking in the in the middle, fucking in the Middle Ages, wealthy family, well, I, maybe Middle Ages is wrong, uh, 
But in the in the past, what wealthy families would do was they, they would drill holes in their fucking teeth. Yeah. And they would take jewels and put them in their fucking teeth. Just to prove they could do it. While they were alive! Hmm. Joseph Smith died trying to break out of jail. Holy shit. Should are you Cherokee? Oh, oh you'd like you'd like that, wouldn't you, chat? You fucking disgust me. Well, I guess the guy's up here. Are you taking damage every time you cross the tracks because it's train tracks? Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't understand. Where's your boss? I need to capture him for money. <laughs> Parents raising iPad baby shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have had them in the first place. All they're doing is disconnecting from them from and exposing them to the world's worst babysitters. Coco melon chat. Coco melon. <laughs> Two gay dads and their son in a dress. True. Should have LARPs as a Comanche. Oh, God, chat. Uh, it was Egyptian plate smith was into each uh, Egyptology. People have them. There's records. They're, uh... I don't know if they, I don't know if they are. I don't know if they were Egyptian plates. Um, he, he wasn't into e Egyptology. I mean, maybe he was. He was into archaeology. Yeah. Hence why he was fucking digging. I think you can blow these up, but you specifically need, like, bunker busters. Shoot, are you a Waka Waka Zulu native? Absolutely, Chet. Uh, if you actually watch uh, in the background of the, uh... uh oh, God damn it. Uh, who played young Frankenstein? Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde? Gene Wilder. Yeah, Gene Wilder. Yeah, Gene... <laughs> uh, it, if you watch the Gene Wilder Zulu movie, you can actually see me in the tribe. Yeah. So Nightwolf's the best representation your people have. Uh, you have Thunder, you have Nightwolf. Uh, good representation might not be uh, the the perfect word, but uh, in terms of cool characters, fuck yeah, Nightwolf's like the best. Uh, you got T-Hawk. I really like T-Hawk. Uh, uh, Lily isn't terrible, but she's more like the Mexican tribes, yeah. South American tribes, I should say, which I never really gave much of a fuck about for obvious reasons. Turok, hey, yo. Shoda, you are a you are a cave dweller from Bone Tomahawk. Yeah, you're right. Uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, the fucking uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf called me a dirty fucking cave dweller. Yeah, cannibal cave person. Yeah, it's a funny story about Smith where he claims to have found two Egyptian documents telling a story about Abraham that he translated. When actually uh, Egyptologists translated them, uh, it turns out he had literally made it all up, and it was some weird story about Horus. Okay, maybe that's what the other guy was talking about. Uh. Egyptian documents and not uh, not actual fucking yeah. plates. Uh, Emperor Christmas for five dollars. Did he claim that it was uh, a tribe of Israel? Because there seems to be a lot of theory about Jewish tribes coming to America somehow. Um, I don't know if it was a tribe of Israel. That's what I was trying to was trying to remember exactly what he claimed. All I all I know is it was an offshoot of Christianity. Should have tribal date confirmed. True. An Irish an, an, an Irish introvert told me that I was a <laughs> I was a fucking cave troll chat. Once again, I just want to find these assholes, boss. Beat his ass. Knock him out. Oh. I just killed him. Oh. I want the tank. So, Red Hedge Wolf's most unintentionally racist take. Chat, these people believe this shit. Oh, yeah. They, they, they believe it. They say it without any, any fucking, any irony in their heart. And then they only, they only uh, want to get up in arms about it whenever they get pushed back. Listen, as a European, I can tell you that Mormons are just American Muslims. They got their own weird superstitions and beliefs which have no ground in them reality. Absolutely, Chet. All right, I, I, I cannot find this motherfucker. I also found out recently that the Colossus of Rhodes... So most depictions we have of the Colossus Rhodes have him uh, straddling a harbor like his... Like, there's, there's a harbor for boats to go in. Yeah. Uh, one leg is on one side, one leg is on the right side, and, and boats would pass underneath him. And he's, like, uh, doing some gesture with his arms. Uh, that's very likely not what he looked like. That is just what people depicted it as from like some flowery flowery language that people described it as. Okay. Uh, which I found very very interesting because there's like two poems. Uh, one of them is talking about the the road the I'm gonna say Rhodesians. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what the people of Ro of Rhodes were called. Uh, but the the Rhodesians. Um, uh, that's just what they like uh, gaining their freedom back and stuff like that. Uh, they just had a flowery way of saying that, and that's what people base their description on. But it's very likely that's not what he looked like. Okay. 
But we have coins. We have coins that uh, they had minted, quote unquote, minted uh, from back in the day that had a face on them that was very likely Helios's, aka the Colossus of Rhodes face. So we know what his face looks like. I also, also found out it was the fucking Muslims that got rid of the goddamn statue because whenever they conquered the area, uh, the statue of, of Rhodes or the Colossus had already crumbled because it, uh, Rhodes got hit with a Rhodes got hit with a fucking uh, earthquake which toppled the statue about fifty some odd years after it was built. Um, so it, it was completely crumbled, and they were going to rebuild it, but a, a uh, quote unquote prophet had said that the reason it had toppled over was because Helios sent the earthquake because he was angry at it. Yeah. So they just left it on the ground. Uh, the Muslims came, conquered them, uh, and they proceeded to. Uh, scalp essentially what was left of the statue and they sold it to a fucking I, I believe it was a Jew they sold it to a Jewish man who hauled it away back to his home with 80 camels <laughs> I'm not fucking joking and when I heard that I started like I started salivating I, that like that like angry angry do dog chomping at the bit salivation I was like ooh oy vey uh, Cult Force 9 5 bucks. The only thing I know about Native Americans is that 80s metal bands like writing songs about them. Maidens, Run to the Hills, Anthrax, Indians, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone should. I heard it was Alexander the Great that destroyed the statue, huh? It wasn't Alexander the Great. Uh, the statue was very, 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 very likely based on Alexander the Great. The, the face of it was likely based on Alexander's face. Because he was... He was like the fucking guy at the time. Yeah. Like the entire, like most of the, sorry, most of the, the, at the time, civilized world knew who he was and revered him. He used to, he just, he used to dress up as gods. He used to dress up as, as gods, uh, both male and female. He would dress up as, uh, I think it was Aphrodite. I mean, not Aphrodite. Um, no, Aphrodite. Venus. He would dress up as fucking Venus. And he, like, he didn't care. I found it. The Vietnamese Dante video. It's poor quality. It has no audio yeah. apologies, but you can clearly see El Dante. Okay, you're right. It doesn't have any. It doesn't have any audio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's fucking Dante. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Dante's plaque buildup. <laughs> this is fucking great. I love it. Fantastic. I think I just hit one of them with my car. Hmm? <laughs> pin the video. I, I will I will pin Dante, chat. I will pin Dante. Oh no, I already there's already fifty pins. Alright, who's getting who's whose pin is getting fucked in general, chat? Let's find out. Hey North Korea. Not today. Yes. Oh my god, I blew up one of my friends. Uh, not fair, it's five bucks. Alexander the Great was super uh, pious. He wouldn't have destroyed the statue. I'm sorry. I, I completely did not listen to that. What was that? Alexander the Great was super pious. He would not have destroyed the statue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, like I said, I, I know for a fact it wasn't Alexander the Great that destroyed it. Because he was already... He was already dead when it was built, I believe. Post in chat. No, can oh well. Hang on, hang on. I can do that, chat. No, I cannot. I cannot do that. Actually, it's not a YouTube link. It's just a fucking post in Discord. There we go. I thought a Greek warrior destroyed the statue. I thought Kratos destroyed that statue. We got to blow up. Go boom boom. Go boom 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, Steven Yoon, uh, Yoon Glenn is no longer playing S uh, Sentry in Marvel. That's for the best, chat. Yeah. <laughs> That's for the best. All right, do I have any RPG? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Um, they, okay, they, they had said that they, um, damn it, I'm trying to remember their exact wording. Uh, they were going to do something for, for Spider-Man, for the What If series that they just yeah. put out. Uh, I can't remember exactly what. Oh, it was gonna be okay. They were gonna do Children of Men, but with Spider-Man. Okay. And the, and the and the Marvel the Marvel What If, but they said that they canceled it and went with uh, another idea because it was too dark. And I was like, 
That's like the one interesting thing you guys yeah. have ever said with this new series, and you fucking cancel it, bro? Yeah, they, they fucking wuss out. They did Marvel Zombies. Yeah. How hard can Kratos throw it back? He's a fucking, he's aggression, chat. He can throw it back hard as fuck. All right. Um, also, chat, uh, Caligula had two gigantic uh, orgy boats built for him, right? Yeah. And they, they both got sunk. Um, whenever Mussolini took over, he had the uh, he had them recovered from. I think he actually had the the lake pond, whatever the fuck that they were that they were in, completely drained to recover the the boats. Yeah. Um, but Mussolini recovered the recovered them or had them recovered, I should, I should say, and they're put in a museum. Uh, then during World War II, uh, they got hit uh, or they didn't get hit, but uh, fire from a place that got bombed uh, lit it on fire, and the the, the boats were were blow, uh, essentially destroyed. Uh, flash forward like 40 years later, and uh, a New York DA uh, busted a guy and commandeered a piece of the boats that were thought like no longer available uh, or no longer around. They recovered it because the guy uh, just got busted for some unrelated charge, I want to say. But he had it and was using it as a fucking coffee table. Yeah. I heard about that story, yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker literally had, like, this ancient-ass artifact, and he had no yeah. idea what it was. <laughs> fucking imagine, dude. Legally was insane, though, right? Uh, crazy orgy orgies. Yeah. He was the guy that famously fucked his horse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't even think it's allegedly. I think he just actually fucks it. fucked it. And some asshole just shot me with a rocket. I'm trying to figure out who it is. It's not even. It's not even like a, a Catherine. The I think it was Catherine the Great thing where like, uh, people just made it up because they don't like they didn't like her. Yeah. I think Caligula actually fucked a horse. Where the hell is he? Yeah. Donate. Do I get a link to the Discord? Uh, Lolly will send it to you in an email, I believe. Mm-hmm. Nero was the first brony. Nero was a weeb. Land a uh, fucking helicopter. <laughs> uh, I, I forget what land... Was it Carthus? No. No. Maybe. Uh, Nero was a weeb for a specific, uh, a particular nation uh, and learned learned their language, learned their customs, was just super fucking down for their entire culture to the point he literally wrote a dictionary. <laughs> he wrote a dictionary to help other people learn the language and it was lost. Uh, and by lost, I mean it was ransacked, burned, gone, destroyed. So now we don't know much about the language at all because the one motherfucker that wrote the dictionary wasn't liked. <laughs> Bullshit. Gotta love history. Gotta yeah. Love history. You also know that El Dante was also in a shitty horror game called Nightcry, uh, where he got chomped down by a haunted vending machine. I do. I've actually played Nightcry completely. Obligatory fate reference. Nero was a massive Greek boo IRCE. Might have been uh, propaganda spread by Catherine's enemies. Yeah, I, I believe that Catherine the Great fucking a horse. I believe that's propaganda. Yeah. Because, like, it, it's so it's so comedic that it's like, oh, she died fucking a horse because uh, they had to lower a horse down on top of her. Uh, and then the, the the thing broke and she she was crushed. And it's like, that that is so comedically yeah, that, over that the top. Un, There's no yeah. way it's real. Caligula fucked a horse. <laughs> Uh, a couple percent have two bucks localized to burn Nero's translations. <laughs> yes. Okay, this guy. Um, God damn it. Uh, one of the kings of Jerusalem. I don't know which one. Ah, oh, God damn it. I can't remember the other king's name. Fuck. Okay. So this guy's going to be southwest of the demilitarized zone. So probably around there. So let me turn around. It's probably near that like off-center fucking uh, dollar sign. Probably. I can't remember it now. Um, Babylon. The king of Babylon? I think it was the Babylon. I think it was one of the Jerusalem kings sent a gift to the king of Babylon. And he sent it back. It, it was it was a pair of sandals. But he sent it back. There's writings showing that he sent it back. Uh, which is a big thing because sandals would have been like a, a super fucking big yeah. thing at the time. And he just sends it back. Fuck this other language and culture. I want this nigga dead. I want his fields burned. I want I want that shit salted. His books torn to shreds. His tongue ripped out. Yeah, man, what do you do to make these niggas that angry? Like, damn, homie. Lady boys, you see? Oh, hell, yeah. Kick his ass. All right. 
Catherine had a lot of concubines, which people thought was scandalous, uh, which were the rumors come, uh, which is where the rumors come, came from. Uh, keep in mind, this is a period where pretty much every noble had concubines. They were just being cunts. Yeah. Nero from Fate's better than IRL. Nero, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Eh. Get out of the way. Oy vey, these ain't the Jays I ordered. Send them back. Oh no. No, no, the, the Jews sent them, chat. The, the Jews sent them. All right. We are now in the demilitarized zone. Now we got to find out where our motherfucker is. Mm -hmm, mm hmm And I believe he's somewhere down here. Could be. Could also not be. Nero groomed one kid, and he did it the high that he stomped his pregnant wife to death. Yeah. Did you see that the president of Harvard, uh, Harvard president gay, resigned for plagiarism? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Vargas from Fate can dominate me anytime. I do like Vargas. She's nice. I like uh, Bargus, I liked Mel uh, Melusine. I liked a lot of the Lost Belt 6 people. Okay. We're hunting for North Koreans. Nero failed to kill his mom like four times before he sent some guard to stab her with a spear. Yep. I think Nero and Fate got poisoned by her mom like four times or some shit. Very clearly did not have a good relationship. Mm hmm. One might even say, not great, not great. Yeah. Alright. Didn't Caligula make a horse a senator? <laughs> Ain't no way, Chad. <laughs> Fucking a horse, that's one thing. Giving a horse a government position? Ain't no way, Chad. Caesar got stabbed for less, Chad, for the love of God. I mean, who's gonna stop him? <laughs> the 50 people prepared to stab his ass. Eh. Uh. Malusine mentioned. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe somewhere right here? It looks like he'd be here. He made a horse uh, a senator, and that day the Roman government became 50 times more competent. <laughs> Damn you right. Alright, I got an idea. I'm just gonna take this helicopter and fly around. Mm -mm. We'll be able to track down our, our bad boys there. <laughs> Lolly, would you rather get Sloppy Toppy from Catherine the Great or Cleopatra? 100% Cleopatra, chat. Uh, yeah, why not? I've never tapped an Egyptian girl. I want to, chat. Yeah, Ecaltus, either a horse or a donkey he made into a senator. Oh, God. Uh, in fate, Nero getting poisoned by her mom was exactly what gave her migraines. IRC, it was also implied she's short as fuck because of that as well. I believe it. Man, fuck you guys! <laughs> no! Lolly! Lolly! You gotta destroy them! Oh, I see. We fucked up. We oh, yeah. fucked up. I understand. Uh, sorry, I was for two fake mice. Sorry for delay, derailing convo. Do you miss me with Buddha sometimes? Dude, people come and go. Yeah. Nero cut her own mother down in front of a court because she said her mo own mother poisoned her. The reason she went crazy was because of poison, uh, and she took her antidote with her. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. We're all the way over here. That doesn't that doesn't make Nero uh, not an accomplice to what happened to Boudicca's family. Adley Doodly Champion, the Doodly Doodler, $5. Uh, you see Winnegan's podcast with Meat Cannon, an old creepypasta internet uh, horror series? I have not. Uh, I don't I don't dislike Meat Cannon, but I don't think I care what he has to say. Yeah. And I actively don't like Moist Critical, so I will not be watching the other one. Yeah. It kind of comes to a point of, like, not so much shill tube, but it definitely reeks of shill tube. I mean, I, I mean yeah, it is shill tube. Yeah. It's 100% shield tube. Yeah. I mean, good on them. They get to make their podcast to make their money. I just will not watch. Yeah. I have no interest. Yeah. Uh, something I something I found out rather recently uh, that I do find super interesting is that the image of the rake, like the uh, most likely the first image of the rake, where like it's a spindly creature out in the woods. Yeah. Uh, that image was made by um, Insomniac for Resistance. Okay. Yeah, it was it was a fucking ad campaign for Resistance. Uh, I think it was supposed to be like a gorilla a, a gorilla yeah. marketing type thing. Uh, but the fact that 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 fucking video still uh, or picture I think it was a video uh, still kicks around to this fucking day. That's some fucking shit, man. Yeah, seriously, pretty damn good marketing campaign. Yeah. 
I, I think it was a I think it was a website that was set up as like a deer trail cam. Yeah. For that shit. Uh, not nefarious for twenty uh, twenty dollars. Uh, I think my favorite Catherine the Great story is also a Voltaire story. Uh, he was such a uh, Roma boo that he sent a letter to Catherine suggesting she use chariots against the Turks. Uh, Turks chariots had been obsolete since antiquity. Jesus yeah. Christ. Nero found a boy who looked like his wife, so he married him, cut off his balls, and made him act like his wife. Yeah. Lady boys, chat. Lady boys. So the rake Spider Man. Garen Locker yes. is going to be re-aired in theaters this month. Will you, uh, will you be going to watch them? I don't know if they're going to be airing anywhere near us. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't know about that. Like the trail cam video was for a video game. Yeah, it was for Resistance. American ex-CIA burnout. Believe me, they have more than my Oh, hair. you got to sneak in. Sneaky breaky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, scout ahead. Yep. Uh, be riding a captured Chinese vehicle you can use to sneak into the airport. So once again, we're gonna be fucking over the Chinese. Yep. A very contrary to popular belief, the Romans and Greeks weren't gay. False. Playing DMC4 right now, so you guys are talking about how the shit Nero Claudius did is fucking with me. <laughs> is Kathach is on raid up right now. Is Kathach good, chat? Should I pull for? I mean, I'll, I guess. Juan uh, Rapatel is Caligula. If I need my horse, I'll fuck it. <laughs> No. Uh, what's the most melodramatic you heard a woman have? Fucking take a guess. Jesus Christ. In so many moments where a woman would just freak the fuck out over mild shit. It is. It is a woman specialty chat. Yep. Uh, the Dionysus card for a dollar twenty-six. Uh, yo, bitch, my sister is like, uh, that she's 100% white and tries to claim she's a casino American. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he did a sequel to that. Yo, show to my bitch sister is like that, she's 100% white and tries to claim she's a casino American. <laughs> I guess that was a repeat, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, if, if it's if it's on subs uh, subscribe star or whatever the fuck that is. It's uh, not, it's, a, it's Streamlabs. That, that's what I meant. Uh, if, it's on, if it's on Streamlabs, uh, I cannot personally read those, dude. So yeah, don't... I, I do, I refresh yeah. the page. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to double post those. They just take a little bit longer to get around to. Just so y'all know. Yeah, just in case. Because, uh, you know. Some people don't. I didn't get anything on my daily sing singles, so I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop quartz. <laughs> I'm going to drop so many quartz on, on Skathatch's tummy. All right. We live in an ass-fuck world, chat. One dead multi. Let's go for two, baby. Let's hit that twofer. Game looks fun. Is there somewhere I can buy it legitimately, or is there just abandoned? Uh, yeah, you can... I, I literally got it off of the Xbox uh, Game Store. Yeah. Somehow Xbox still has it on the Game Store, even though the, technically the rights to this are all over the fucking place. Yeah. Okay. I will not be chasing Skithatch chat, <laughs> but I did two multis and got nothing. So now we just go in sneaky. I'm too, I'm too poor for this shit chat. It quite literally does not matter someone shooting at us because it's a fucking North Korean. Yeah. They're just going to assume they, they're shooting at a Chinese vehicle. Yeah. Uh, whatever ancient Greek philosophers were tol uh, tolerant of or partial to homosexuality, to homosexuality uh, were such because they hated women. Also, they were, they were more concerned with an uh, esoteric concept of uh, ontological beauty. That's what, that's, what you, that's what hating women does to you, Chet. Fucks you up. All right. Gotta be sneaky. <laughs> Lahila's horse was so full of his semen, it's considered the first Roman warship. Hey, you, Jesus you. Christ, chat. Hey, Legit got the copy of Mercenaries 2 from Xbox 360 sitting next to me on my desk for no reason. Yeah. It is. Uh, Creep Creepcast is pretty good. Wish it wasn't bi-weekly, though. Uh, is Creepcast the, the one with Windigoon? In, in which case, like I said, I, I don't care. Glad you like it, though. Italians have the eggplant blood in them. It's true! They do! Where the fuck's he going? I was going back to the vehicle. Went on Friday to get Avenger Ushi. I, I am thankful I already have Avenger Ushi. Thank God. Hey, get in the car! Windigoon and Get the fuck in the car! What the fuck, asshole? You gonna get in the fucking car now? Uh, 
Uh, homie. The fuck? Fuck over here. Uh, there's a dude on YouTube named DJ Peach Cobbler who makes a bunch of good history videos on Rome and the Conquistador. Hmm. I'm sure that you believe that. <laughs> I'm sure you'd believe that, Chet. You stupid fucks. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Technically, we got seen, but I killed the guy who saw us, so it should, it should, uh, you know. Should would you support the idea of country from Kuro Inu if it was real? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And, yep. Just back to Kason. Back to Kason. You heard it, you heard it here, chat. Or Kaison, however you fucking pronounce that. You guys get big, do you think someone's gonna make a video similar to Mari's horse video? I don't fucking know. I think you mean Mori. Streamlabs, uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. What did you expect to happen? Uh, Spaz Bits for Valor. Wait, you motherfucker, you're not talking about history. You're talking about the events of Seth video. Sir? He's talking about the H game series. He's talking about Carino? the Crusader Kings thing Seth did, and no, uh, those are inspired by actual events. Crusader Kings, yes. Yeah, that's why you can do crazy shit like that because there were crazy ass leaders that could do that. Yeah. The pagan and godless human sacrifices will stop base conquistador, and then they did their own their own shitty fucking sacrifices. See, thank God that's we're on disgusting. neutral territory. <laughs> it almost became unneutral. Kason's here, I'll spam egg. There we go. We're almost there. Almost home free. Uh, you are now in hostile territory. Whee! Road trip for life. Whee! Oi. Oi. I'm not worried about them. You are now. I'm not worried about them. You are now. Fucking go. Bail! Bail! M Mewy, bail! Kill them and take the car. Hop in. Hop in. We're gonna get some fucking freedom. Woo! Damn it. <laughs> no, you don't understand. That one was on purpose. That was for the bit. It was funny. It was funny. God, jeez. Alright. Yep. I'm glad the UN and, and the... And the... Oh. Oh. I have to constantly remind them I'm not fucking North Korean. Flash your UN oh, armband. Oh, goddammit. You are now redisguised as North Korean. Alright, I will come back. I will come back for this guy later. Is he afraid? No, it's a number card. Oh, just card. ran out. Oh, okay. It's a number card and I can't get him. Yeah. I'm in a bad mood here at work. This is the perfect place, perfect place to tune into. Good. Yeah. Remember that Ushiwaki Maru is also best girl in, in Majikoi, but Majikoi is full of best girls. Mm. Ushiwaki Maru is always best. Always best. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but I started. Uh, what the fuck? You even tripped me up there. That's fucking weird. I understand. Did I bounce against the rail? I understand why they got rid of uh, train tracks in the second game. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I started watching Fargo Season 5. Yeah. So far, it is okay, but it has some serious problems to it. Um. Namely, that the, the theme it's going for is one of those where they didn't know how to write it in a way that didn't scream, a rich person wrote this. Yeah. Friendly. 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 Motherfuckers. So, you're, the, right. uh, you're in a North Korean car and ran up on a South Korean base. <laughs> you're lucky he hesitated. There we go. So, basically, the, you know, each season kind of has the thing it tackles, like, uh, Season one was like uh, about evil because Marlowe is supposed to represent like ultimate evil and, and he's horrible. Uh, you also had shit like um, season two is all about family. They they have that thing they're talking about. Uh, season five is explicitly about debt, and and it's all about you know paying what you owe, debts, and and you know stuff coming back to haunt you. Um, it has multiple different versions of it. Like the the main story is a lady's trying to escape an abusive husband, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously it turns into a whole other thing. And it's a thing where she would have been a lot more sympathetic if they didn't have her do shit that is blatantly like, what the fuck are you even thinking at this point? What? 
because the, the whole thing is it's uh, her husband is John Hamm who, who is he's the bad guy that season mm -hmm. uh, and he is like an ultra basically anarchist sheriff that refuses to enforce any laws he deems as unconstitutional yeah. uh, and of course they had to spin that into him being a bad guy so he sells guns to a militia a right wing militia of course mm -hmm. There's a scene where he is beating his wife to, to a Donald Trump speech. I'm not even kidding. I am not fucking kidding that happens. Uh, the wife even goes, how could they impeach such a great man? It's like, yeah, okay, I, I know what you're doing here. The the wife? The protagonist says it? No, other wife. He has okay, a second okay, wife. Okay, okay, He has a second wife. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, has a second wife. Um, the, you know, they, they go out of their way to make him like an over-the-top evil asshole, which, you know what, fair enough. Uh, that were established he, he fucks underage girls. It's like, yeah, I mean, I get it, he's bad, uh -huh. uh, but also I, I totally see what you're going for here with your political commentary. Uh -huh. um, and the thing is, it would all be fine, except they establish the wife really isn't much better. Uh -huh. Because she is, like, over-the-top obsessed with making sure people don't know why she's actually doing a bunch of stuff. Like, getting out of the house, like, literally kidnapped out of the house by two gunmen. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh who intend to take her back to her husband, uh, getting into a conflict with the fucking police, where where the police end up uh, in a gunfight and officers are killed, mm -hmm. uh, and she goes right back home and tells her husband, no, nothing happened, I just went out for a while. The fucking police have her on video going, no, like, you did this, you were here, <laughs> why are you lying? And it's like, well, you can't prove I was there. It's like, yes, we fucking can, you're right there. <laughs> uh, it gets to the point that she's like, uh, like, grooming her daughter into doing, like, basically at-home fucking home defense. Yeah. Like, setting up sledgehammer traps. Yeah. <laughs> not clear. What the fuck? Is there, like, anti-air in, the, in the area? LZ, not clear. Yeah. But, like, setting up, like, sledgehammer traps. They they put wiring all there around their fucking house, so if you try to, like, open a window, you get electrocuted. Shit like that. Like, it's very clear you are not... You are not operating off a good, healthy mentality here. Yeah. They're spending thousands of dollars on guns and ammo. Which, once again, if she just told her family, I have a psychotic ex-husband that wants to get me, would all be fine. Yeah. Uh, they make it a point that the feds and the police want to help her. It's not like a thing of, well, if, he, if she goes there, all she's doing is playing into their hands because he owns the cops. No. Everyone that's not in that county, which she left that entire fucking state, yeah. want to help her. And specifically, the FBI is investigating him and want her to speak up so they can arrest him. And she's like, well, no, I, I don't want to do that. It's like, why? Uh, so idiocy for the sake of keeping the season going. Yeah, idiocy for the sake of keeping the season going. It gets to the point, her fucking husband is almost killed by one of the traps. <laughs> uh, and the thing is, uh, the husband's mom, literally meant to be the, the fucking mom from Arrested Development, an over-the-top elitist rich girl asshole. Yeah, drunk, drunk mom. Drunk and ultra rich and spoiled. Yeah. That whole thing. Well, the, they make a point that the mom never likes the wife. Uh huh. Uh, specifically because, like, you show up one day out of nowhere and you're uh, sweet talking my son and you get married and then you get pregnant in less than a year. What the fuck's up with that? <laughs> uh, and the thing is, she is completely right. Great. She is vindicated because, as it turns out, the wife is hiding a bunch of shit, refuses to tell people what the fuck's going on. Right. And best of all, her son almost got killed. Right. So they forcibly have her institutionalized, basically out of a move of, if you're not going to fucking talk, we're going to send your ass to a fucking asylum because you're a danger to everybody around you. Yeah. And they make that as, like, a big point of why you should hate the mom and, like, the the cop of that season, who is also a massive fucking retard, uh -huh. uh, is like, well, how could you do that to her? And all I want was for the rich mom to go, she, she almost, almost killed, killed my, my fucking son. Yeah, she almost killed my son. Fuck her. Uh, she directly gets somebody killed where... Uh, the bad guys come to the hospital after the husband is, is almost killed. Uh -huh. Basically to kidnap him so they can use him as leverage against her. Yeah. So she swaps the nameplates on two separate patient rooms uh, from her husband to this other random guy. They kidnap the random guy, torture him, and then kill him. Mm -hmm. So it's a thing of like, alright, so she just directly got somebody killed. Yeah. Like, she, she directly got somebody fucking well, she, killed. She had a fucking... She caused the fucking police shootout, apparently. The, 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 yeah. The, got other people killed. Yeah, got caused the fucking police shootout. <laughs> Uh, which the police shootout was at least not really her fault in the sense of, like, that was just the bad guys being stupid and unsubtle. Yeah. Because they, they stole a car and someone reported it stolen. The problem is, as stated, she goes right back home and is like, oh, nothing happens. Like, why? Why are you saying nothing happened? Right. It's to the point that I started having, like, this, this headcanon in my mind of, like, all right, 
she is nowhere near as innocent as they're trying to make it seem like. She's gonna be the she's gonna be the bad guy at the end of the season. Yeah, there, there's gonna be some reveal that you find out she has made up sob stories and like a. Uh, they they did confirm this, the this abuse. Her, this is her eighth or eighth family. Yeah, they they confirmed the abuse was real, but as I say, it's a thing of like, all right, the the pieces here are way too over the top for it to be that simple. There's yeah. something else here, uh, and that's my hope. But at the same time, I'm like, I, they're not gonna be that brave. Yeah. They're not gonna be that fucking brave. Yeah. Well, uh, well, the first four seasons of Fargo are, are good. Four yeah. four wavers a little bit, but I, I still mixed. The the first four I, I consider uh, yeah. good television. Um, from what I understand, this season the, the all of the writing staff was shaken up, so and you we can have feel new, it. we have new writers. Yeah, uh, which is why I was like not chomping at the bit to immediately like yeah. go like oh yeah I want to fucking watch this. I was like ah, I'll, you know, I'll give it a yeah. little bit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I didn't know about that, so when I came in, uh, I was like oh shit, I'm all excited just for it to be like yeah, it has problems. Um, yeah. Like, uh, the big thing is, I say it's all about debt, so obviously the, the main cop chick is in massive amounts of debt. Uh-huh. She is in, like, $200,000 worth of debt. Um, Pay your shit, bitch. Yeah, quite literally. Uh, because you find out how she's in debt. Uh-huh. And it was one of the most frustrating, are you kidding me moments. Because there's a scene where she, she does the, the girl boss speech to the rich mom, and it's like, you look down on us all, and then you you, you think the, the poor are just your, your servants, they, you know, you, they're dumber than you, and you get to do everything you want. And all I wanted was the rich mom to say, I am smarter than you. You want to know why? Because <laughs> you want to know why you're in debt? Because uh, you find out why. Uh, cops, uh, cop lady's husband is a fucking retard. <laughs> a fucking retard. Gambling debts. Not even gambling debts. He hops from from hobby to hobby every other fucking month. <laughs> she, to the she, point of like she just can't say no. Literally, it's she it's just can't point say of, no. It's to a point of like, are you gonna fucking tell this guy no? Because <laughs> uh, you you find out that at first the husband wanted to be a metal drummer, so they spent a bunch of money on music equipment. Yeah. Then he wanted to be a, an actor, so he spent a bunch of money on acting classes, shit like that. Uh, has a personal trainer that they heavily imply he's just sleeping with, so spending money on that. He has a guru that he's spending money on. Uh, he quit his job. He quit radiology school halfway through, so that's a bunch of money spent on yeah. something he's never even going to fucking have. Um, refused to get a job and said wants to be a pro golfer, so they spent $20,000 on a golf simulator in their garage. <laughs> and this is on top of her student loans, which he just ended up becoming a beat cop. So what the okay. fuck is the point of student okay. loans? So, so I, here's the thing. I, I, I can feel them I can feel them trying to, to like... Do the the like Fargo absurdity with this, yeah. right? Like, uh, it's one of those things where it's like the absurdity is no, literally no one would ever let it get this far. The problem is, it has become an, an integral plot point. This is no, this is yeah. not UFOs showing up in the sky yeah. and and people, you know, and that's just a fucking thing yeah. that happens because it's absurd. This is something that is a, a, like integral to the plot. And is a driving force for for a character. Yeah, quite literally. So so this stuff just becomes annoying to people as opposed to anything else. Yeah, because uh, as stated, it's it's a thing where, uh, okay, evade mafia detection, eliminate three officers, and so the Chinese. sick of evading detection. Yeah, but it's it's a thing where as stated, she gets that girl boss speech of like, you know, oh well, the rich look down on the poor and make it seem like their fault. The the fucking director of the season. Uh, came out and did an interview where it's like, oh yeah, the we want to talk about how the rich make it seem like it's the poor's fault that they're poor. And it you, is! It is her fault! Then like, you listen to it, and it's like, how is it not her fucking fault? Yeah. Divorce the fucking husband, if anything. Yeah. Like, fuck. The, the husband is like an over-the-top asshole. <laughs> like, in, like uh, there's, a, there's a part where, for some reason, the cop lady decides to help the, the, the wife evade uh-huh. all this law enforcement. Despite the fact that everything she's seen is she puts people at risk, refuses to say a goddamn thing about what's going on. Ah! Yeah. Well, it, like at, the, at this point, it, it literally just sounds like uh, if if the if the wife just said, "Well, I, I, I'm poor and I have debts," it sounds like the fucking cop lady would just be like, "It's okay, sister. We're in this together." Quite literally, she shields her fucking kid, even though the kid was reported as kidnapped. Oh God. Yeah, uh, and the husband literally goes to her and says. I want a wife. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, I want a wife. You never support me. Why don't you clean up around the house and cook me dinner? <laughs> it's this over-the-top moment of like, okay, I get it. Okay, chauvinism, sexism. You know, haven't railed that into the fucking ground a million times. He's such a dick 
why were you even married to him? Yeah, yeah, there, there's no, like, there's... <laughs> he dragged you into debt that's in, tri like, six fucking figures. Your comedy card doesn't make any sense anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, six figures worth of debt. It's treated as a serious plot point. It's the driving force behind why she's sympathetic to the wife in the first place. Mm -hmm. uh, why she hates the rich mom and all that. And it's like, okay, but this is literally your fault. Yeah. Th this is not anybody else's fucking, ex like... This is not rich lady's fault because the the rich lady owns a, a debt collection company. Yeah. So so it's like oh yeah we help people pay their debt off and they pay it they play it off as she's predatory and fucks people over which, as stated when you look at the cop lady it's like all she's doing is just reacting to the situation. Yeah. You are fucking retarded and you do this stupid shit where where you spend all this money and you want to blame everybody else but you. Yeah. And that's my hope is like by the end of the season they'll be clever about it and go hey you can't get rid of this shit you signed the fucking contract. Yeah. <laughs> You know? He must have had a massive W stroke game. One could only wish. Yeah, right. But fucking uh, the the supernatural thing that they include in the season because mm -hmm. every season has their supernatural bent. Yeah, is a sin eater. Uh, uh, they have like an Anton Chigurh style hitman who's implied to be a, a sin eater. Yeah, sure, but we already had that. <laughs> no, but this one's like directly. Like, okay. They actually make reference to him being a sin eater. Okay. Uh, and three, he was more of just. I think the implication was more he was like Beelzebub. So t technically different, but still like kind of similar. But uh, yeah, the, the whole idea is he's a sin eater, so he's all about debts. Yeah. Uh, his main motivation is uh, he's hired and fucked out of money, so he goes on a war path trying to get his money back. Mm -hmm. um, I'm all about equality. Yeah. Uh, and it's a thing where him as a character is such an interesting X factor that I, I hope he's that clever subversion. Uh, because I really like season two specifically because it included a bunch of the, the ha girl power stuff just for them to go, this is retarded. Yeah. Sounds like melodrama for the 2010s hard pass on Fargo. Well, that's the thing. The the Fargo movie is is good. Yeah. Uh, and all of the TV show, uh, it's an anthology series. Yeah, so it's every, an anthology. Every season is self-contained. Um, you want to watch them in order because while they're self-contained, they feed into each other. Yeah, they feed into each other and they, they'll include characters from previous seasons. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if season five does that yet. But, uh, uh, I haven't noticed any yet, but I might have just missed one or two. Yeah, uh, but yeah, first four seasons, like I said, they're 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 good. They don't they don't have any of that okay. that dumbass shit. First season, yeah. genuinely fantastic. Yeah. Like uh, second fucking season, amazing, even fucking better. Yeah, second season even better. Third Amen. one, you're gonna have to sleep on, but I've grown to appreciate it more and more. Yeah, uh, I, I like season three. I do I do like season three. Yeah. I say it's one of those where the the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, you know what, that was just good. Yeah. They're called road. They're called Rodians, yeah. like from Star Wars. Uh, you're talking about the the people from Rhodes. Yeah, it, it's it's fucking Rodians. Uh, but like, let's be real. Rhodesian sounds way better, and I, I I'm sick and tired of of the fucking Rhodesians. They've had it too good for too long. We're taking their name from them. We're yeah. giving it back to the to the people of Rhodes. Uh, first season. Yeah, first season's really good. Yeah, first, first is fantastic. First That's the one with Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah. And Billy Bob Thornton is fucking fantastic in literally everything he does. Oh, yeah. In particular, that role, he was he was like a son of a bitch. Yeah. Well, yeah his role was, was be dick. And he's like, oh, I got this. You remember that time I put fucking glass in my shoe to get a, a gate yeah. down for, uh, for Sling Blade? Yeah, well, I killed 35 children in my backyard for this role. Jesus Christ, Billy. Why are they shooting at me? Yeah. Why? I'm just a small Chinese girl. Uh, I'm just I'm just a funny little guy. I'm just a happy little birthday boy. I'm a small, small Chinese girl. Kill. Yeah. Only one more to go. He was great eating out Halle Berry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's right. Monster's Ball was pretty good. God. Uh, Billy Bob shows up for five minutes in 1883, lol. <laughs> Billy Bob's great in everything he's in, chat. Ever see Goliath? I keep hearing that's good. I haven't watched it yet. I don't think I have. Shit. Screw Rhodesia. All my homies want Rhodes back. Hell yeah. Give me my fucking Hellenistic stat. Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, Colossus, chat. Hell yeah. All right. What was the subjective for this one? Report to the Chinese oh, officer. Okay, so we're not we're oh, not gonna okay. get the bonus because we 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 got detected pretty yeah. early. Bad Santa was a good movie. Billy Bob was good in that movie. Yeah, even in the sequel, even though it was very clear he just needed that health card. Yeah. 
Oh wait, Billy Bob, uh, Billy Bob's in it? Uh, I mean, I'm watching Bad News Bears because of him. Also, kind of underrated. I feel, uh, I feel in Tombstone. To be fair, Tombstone's like really, really, really stacked full of good people. Oh yeah. Uh, see, Fargo season four is not very well received. Uh, it's definitely one of the weaker seasons. Yeah, but it's still it's still good television. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the one Lolly's talking about is season five. So. Yeah, and and season four's problem is it has way too many characters. Mm -hmm. uh, it has great ideas for characters. The the nurse is awesome. Every scene with the nurse is great. Chick who plays her is fantastic. Yee. Uh, rebuild roads, but put a Gundam in place of, of the Colossus. Well, uh, where they think the Colossus once stood, uh, there's a lighthouse where, there now that is about the same fucking height as what the Colossus would have been. So, like, we have our own Colossus, chat. Yeah. There we go. Oh, also, uh, something I figured out was um, Alex the Great's, like, city planner, the guy who planned his, his cities at the time. Yeah. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, he wanted to build a fucking humongous uh, statue literally into the side of a mountain. It would have been the entire mountain, and it would have looked like, uh, I think it was supposed to be uh, a god of some sort. It might have been Alexander himself, but it was supposed to be a guy sitting like on a throne, and he would have had an entire city in his palm. Like, he literally, he wanted to carve an entire mountain into a fucking city of, a, of like, into the palm of a, a guy's hand, oh which god. sounds fucking incredible. I heard that, and I was like, oh my god, that's so fucking cool. Uh, obviously, monumental task. And uh, he was turned down because he literally didn't even think, like, not even because, oh, that's too fantastical. He literally just didn't even think about how to feed the fucking people in the city because <laughs> you were building a city into the side of a mountain. Yeah, what the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. Which response is, farm, dumbass. <laughs> that was, so, like, so fucking badass, dude. I was like, no, that guy, he gets a raise. He builds more statues. Final Fantasy-ass yeah, Final Fantasy -ass city ideal. Yeah. You would love the Final Fantasy city. I would, yeah. That guy was going to build, like, super ultra mega Mountain Rushmore, dog. That would have been great. That would have been the type of shit that you dig up one day and you find out, like, oh my god. They have all these all these gears and mechanisms in the, in the back of the mountain. My god, they were making a mech! <laughs> Who gives a shit, cool city? Honestly? If I was Alexander the Great, you know goddamn well I would I would have greenlit that fucking city. Alright. Got another bad boy. I thought this was just because one at first. They do look very similar. Alright, so that's our target. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, AI in this game is not particularly amazing. Yee. Yeah. But who cares? It's fun. It is fun. It was called Rain the Conqueror. Let me let me pull it up. If, if that's what it was, if that's what this, uh, the plan was actually called. I can show up the lolly. Because, like, it, it was... Oh, no. <laughs> you lying bitch. Oh, it's an anime about Caligula. No, Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great. I saw a horse and my brain jumped. Uh, is there any place I can watch Deadwood that isn't a streaming service? I mean, you can pirate it. Yeah, just, just pirate shit. It's fine to do, chat. Let me... Uh, I'll, I'll type it. I'll find it. Damn it. Yeah, uh, Dinocrates. There we go. Dinocrates. Dino Dinocrates. That sounds better. I'm going with that. Motherfucker, let me open this fucking picture. I was messing with bad AI, never been fun. True. Ah, oh, you fucking goddamn. I, I hate this so much. Alright, here we go. Yeah, it would have been Alexander the Great. My God. He would have been carved into the entirety of the mountain, and the city would have been in the palm of his hand. <laughs> Holy shit. Unironically would have been the fucking biggest statue we've ever seen. He would just win at that point. Everyone go like, fuck it, he won. Yeah, bro! Oh, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Warrior of Christ? Yeah, I don't give a shit. Were you carved into the side of a fucking mountain? Job, no? Then fuck off! With your hand resting over a city just to say, <laughs> fuck you, I'm always here. I'm gonna pick up the machine gun. Yeah. 
If you were Alexander the Great, you wouldn't have been so great. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm still alive, and Alexander's dead, so fuck you, chat. <laughs> All right, so eight of clubs. Uh, yeah, he is in Pyongyang. Pyongyang. Here, I'll 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 uh, download a picture of it and post it in the Discord. To the APC we go. To the APC. Uh, favorite planet? I like this planet. It's full of green. Full of green. The Emperor movie looks like Ada Wong. I'm pretty sure that was intentional. I don't know. She's Asian. Whoa! I think chat's just racist chat. Extreme. We could have done that instead of having Mount Cuckmore, bro. If if we took if we took uh, any mountain in America, no, nah, you know what? Make it the entire Grand Canyon. We we carve the side of the Grand Canyon, and it's just uh, full figure statues of all the presidents yeah. in order down the Grand Canyon. That shit would have been fucking awesome. Would have been peak. Imagine thirty thousand years from now, America's America's no longer here, but they're exploring the Grand Canyon, and it, you just you're just walking down, and it's all all the presidents. And it's like the fucking, uh, that, that, uh, the Chinese, or the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers, or whatever it's called. Yeah. The, the Chinese one with all the, all the, the soldiers. Yeah. It's like that, but it's just all the presidents. That'd be fucking metal! That'd be terrifying. Fuck yeah, it'd be terrifying, but it'd be fucking metal! It'd be terrifying if they were still being updated. <laughs> like, you go in, it's like, wait a minute, how is Reagan here? The, the, the final president, the final president is unfinished. <laughs> it's being sculpted in real time. You can, see, you can see it slowly being etched. The they, they have an erosion system <laughs> being made. The water's doing the work for them. Alright. Yeah, they all get buried inside their own giant heads. Modern day pyramids, chat. The final president is Anon. Hmm? I, for one, think we shouldn't carve the Grand Canyon. It's great as it is. Fuck the Grand Canyon. Shit sucks, chat. I think we should carve the Grand Canyon. I think we should bomb the Grand Canyon, chat. First president is Anon. <laughs> Trump being there scares me. <laughs> you mean Naruto with the heads? No, no, I mean full body, not just face, full body. Because the, the Naruto thing is just the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. This is the be this is a better con con concept than Monument Mythos because there's nothing there's nothing spooky about it. the The spooky part of it is the is the thought that you know thirty thousand years from now when America's no more and it's just uh, people that were presumably blasted back to the Stone Age, uh, rediscovering it and it's just fucking humongous people. Yeah. Fuck the Grand Canyon, bro. It's just a giant fucking hole. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad Plague's doing well. Uh, I didn't know how bad it really was. Very sheltered and isolated in his youth. Uh, almost almost did suicide before YouTube uh, and during COVID with the loss of his dad and his friendships. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I, I was happy to see his his uh, his vlog video where he's like, no, I'm doing fantastic. I, I have a girlfriend. We went to we went to England. I'm doing much, 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 much better. And I was like, fuck it. Thank God. Yeah. Sadly, a lot of that shit was kind of self-inflicted because it's just like he he hold himself up and refused to go out. And it's like, yeah. dude, you can't do that shit. It ain't healthy. I was gonna say, well, like he he has a bunch of shit going on like mentally. Oh yeah, yeah. So that that stuff does get exacerbated. Oh yeah, with isolation. Oh, like 100%. in his in his recent um, art gripes, the one that I watched, uh, a majority of it was was essentially talking about like. Uh, when he does his streams uh, and whatnot, he uh, he he views the activity of chat as a, a measure of how good he's doing, and he's like, no, I know completely uh, reasonably that, yeah, that that's not that's not an actual measure of how good I'm uh, stream is doing. Yeah. Uh, in any way, shape, and or form, but if that, there's not activity in chat, I view it as I'm doing a bad job. Uh, Which and, fair and, enough, yeah. Yeah, and, and and he's like, and I'm telling myself, you know, obviously that's not the case, but that just just saying. No, this thing that obviously isn't the case isn't the case doesn't fix it whenever your brain's saying it. And I was like, yeah, that's fair. And he talked about like some ways that he copes with stuff. And I was like, yeah, this is this is good. Like this is good. It's nice to see a guy uh, bettering himself. Yeah. Kevin Fever's no joke. Staying inside your house for a while will make you go mad for sure. Yeah. Uh, the world's tallest statue is the statue of Unity in India. Uh, it's of some balding politician just standing there. Still pretty neat. Oh, also, the Colossus of Rhodes was made out of the same material as the Statue of Liberty. Oh, so like copper? Yeah. Um, so it likely would have went through the same process over those over the course of 50 years. Also would have likely been covered head to toe in seagull shit. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, I, I, 
I'm pretty sure we have people that try to clean the Statue of Liberty at least a little bit. Yeah, but there's not much they can do. It's really yeah. a big ass target. Yeah. Well, we we also we um uh, there's a meeting. I don't know how many years it was after the Statue of Liberty was was introduced, but we had a meeting where it's like, hey, should we like refurnish the Statue of Liberty yeah. and make it look like how it used to, or like what should we do? And we essentially came to the conclusion of. No, because it's a fucking money sink, and it's yeah. more likely that we do more damage to the statue than just leaving it be. Yeah, just leave it be. Yeah. Uh, Mark Cage, go to five bucks. Fun fact, Caligula literally ordered his fleet to stay in the lake of Bayi to cross it with his horse to prove it to a scientist that he crossed the lake. Did he prove it? <laughs> I think so. We need, the, we need our own version of the Rio de Janeiro's Christ. <laughs> I'm in a tank. I'm in a tank. Ow. Oh, that's a fat bitch. Nora, why are you looking at fat bitches? Uh, green Statue of Liberty is straight up iconic, too. That is true. More people know it was yes. green than it was copper. Well, it's a bit longer green than copper. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus wants a hug. <laughs> uh, there is a manga about the rivalry between Hannibal and uh, Scipio Africanus. The manga is called Ad Astra. I like that tries to dock me for killing civilians. It's so cute. I like the, that the ESRB said that I had to get docked points for this. That's nice. Kill! Fat or chubby? Oh, she fat, chat. She like... Oh, these are the, oh, these are the mafia. 500 I pounds, chat. I should not have shot these guys. Oh, unfortunate. They're my buds. Please don't, please don't restrict your store from me, Mr. Mafia Man. Okay, but why is it called the Grand Canyon? Because it's a big hole. I have been on fucking top messages. God damn it. I've been missing a shit ton of messages. Okay. Uh, Statue of Liberty is a re-gift to the USA. No, uh we're special, idiot. It's all for us. <laughs> uh. Listen, all I'm going to say is my country ain't going to be ripped by a brown bitch. Damn. So you're going to let the aliens take one, bro? Sit down. Hey, about those like five dudes I gunned down outside, uh, you're willing to forgive debts, right? Yeah. Right? Listen, man. Why does your statue say Caligula's horse? Listen, man. Uh, uh, the, <laughs> we can, we, you know, we, we can talk about this. Oh, thank God he thinks I'm cool. Hartis Tansal made some thick Rule 34 animation for the Statue of Liberty. Leave the statue alone, chat. Oh, also, uh, the Statue of Rhodes is depicted, like, uh, often depicted holding, like, a, a torch up, like the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Not the case. Influenced by Statue of Liberty, most likely. Oh. Uh, that's the newest day, uh, Aquatine Hunger Force season. It's pretty good so far. I like it. it, it it's still got that Plantasm animation where it's a little too smooth, and, and I'm more used to it looking clunky, yeah. but it, it works. It works. The Master Prince Statue of Liberty is in, in France, where we got ours after Saudi Arabia said, no, it's ugly. Yeah, but fuck the Saudis. Like, they, they only would have liked her if she was wearing a fucking hijab, chat. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking said it, chat. All right, give me the job. I don't respect them. He forgets things. Can I have that gun? Oh, okay. No, he's my gun. That's on Shisa statues? Cool. They're cool. Ooh. We go after the jacket clubs now. Hey, we're getting up there. Yeah, we are. Say, that truck looks familiar. At least they patched it up. Hey, I brought it back in one piece. All right. <laughs> Showed. I mean, the hard statues are are for sure uh, the in the Greek islands. I mean, Ares and chains. That shit's so cool as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Is there any statue that goes harder than Christ the Redeemer? All right, bros. Let's liberate Korea. I don't prefer management. I prefer the term under. All right, fuck. God damn it! <laughs> All right, everyone, if you stay in the truck, it's a suicide mission now. <laughs> Ain't no one making it out. You'll see in the leaks of Ren and Stimpy reboot, John K is a terrible subhuman, but he, he has some soul behind it. Yeah. Uh, Freddy1217 for two bucks and an antivirus you guys recommend? Uh, I use malware bytes. It works well enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Common sense is the best antivirus you could ever have. Quite literally, a lot of malware nowadays is strictly you click on a link. Yeah. You click on a link, you run an EXE, it's shit you know you're not supposed to be doing. That Gundam statue could kick the giant uh, the giant Christ statue's pacifist butt. Absolutely, Chad. 
I believe I believe in all of the all of the Gundam statues. All right, so let me see what the bonus recover our frog seven missile truck from the area. Uh, ever seen the Jin Genghis Khan statue in Mongolia? It's massive, made of metal, and finished in 2007. I have not. I did not even know they had one of Genghis Khan. All right, boys. Express road to hell. Uh, speaking of the Statue of Liberty, haven't kept up with the current Mr. Manicor vids, uh, but season three of the Monument Mythos was great. I'm taking the tank. Oh, no. That. <laughs> Can't believe you got to live. Where do we find the North Korean death camps? Uh, I mean, everything's everything's being killed right now, so... Yeah, it's, it's North Korea. Everywhere's a death camp. We believe in equality. Oh, that one's about to blow. A uh, supernatural thriller versus a sci-fi thriller. Which one appeals to you guys more? Probably sci-fi. It depends. If the sci-fi has like a really cool world, I like that. Uh, I also like supernatural stuff a lot. Here's the Khan statue. That looks fucking jank as shit. Come on, get close enough. That is jank as shit. Chat, I can see the Genghis Khan's polygons. Chat. <laughs> what the fuck? Ugh. Uh, did you know there's a 40-foot golden statue in Turkmenistan of, for, uh, of a former Soviet leader which always rotates towards the sun? Interesting. Bail! See, chat, we can't have anything cool in America because every fucking 50 years or so, people keep trying to tear them down. Yeah. And it's like, no, but it was made by a guy who likes slavery. It's like, who cares? Yes, and I wish we lived in a time where I was still allowed to kill you. What's your point? Nah, bro, it's great. I can see his polygons, bro! The Colossus of Rhodes didn't have polygons. You won't get me, motherfucker. So why'd you love the max in the beginning area of FGO, and how long did it take? Uh, I did just a personal challenge, and I didn't make it to max level. Uh, I made it to what was the max level when I started, I think. Uh, and, so, like, several months. Maybe, like, a full year, year and a half. <laughs> Score Adam for Joe is looping the third review win. That would be cool. Good content. Good titty chat. Poland's making a statue of Jesus, a uh, giant statue of Jesus with a crown. Is that the is that the crown that we found out was fake? Could be. Uh, there's a there's a crown that was said to have been made with the um, the iron of the the nails uh, that were that were used to nail Jesus to the cross. Uh, and then they, like, they actually looked at it, and it's Roger, not a single hint of iron is in that fucking crown, <laughs> so the whole thing's fake. Thorn crown? No, not a thorn crown. It's an actual, like, crown crown. Come on! Why isn't this game on Steam for crying out loud? Uh, it's probably on Windows. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, not this one. Windows games. World on Fire is on Windows. This one's not. Oh, yeah? And I don't think I'm going to get my bonus if I let this guy uh, get extracted. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just end the mission. I hope not. Oh, no, it did. Fuck. Update. It was fully made. Oh, so it's just the fucking Rio de Janeiro statue again. I meant to get that missile truck. I fucked up. It's, Rio, it's the Rio de Janeiro statue again, but this time he has a cool crown. Very, very weird that statue, like, right. doesn't have anything going on with it other eh. than the, the crown. Eh. All right. I got PS go. Ugh. Ugh. Fucking frag it. I gotta crack my bones, my back. Be careful. Everything. Crack everything. Be careful. Uh, it's a PS2 game. Yeah, it is. Some PS2 games are on PC. Yeah. Max Payne's on PC. Yeah. Yeah, you can just emulate it on, PS on PC, so. And I say, you can get the PC version of 2 if you want. Yeah. And that will give you access to mods that might fix some of the, the problems with it. Eh. Like, for one, I always thought it looked ugly as shit. Because it's one of those games that sadly suffered the, the Fable Bloom era. Yeah. Yeah, it does not look good with that bloom. It looks awful. Alright. Yeah. I... Entertain them with your, your weird history facts. Yeah. <laughs> On a Minecraft server, uh, I mean, some people build a statue of Jesus which reaches the clouds. Interesting. Interesting. Manhunt's on PC. It is! Uh, Manhunt 2 is also on PC, and it's maybe the best way to play the game. I mean, nah, it's objectively the best way. Yeah, you can get rid of the sensors. Yeah, I've been replaying the Arkham games, and after playing the shit out of them, I uh, kind of exposed the flaws of the Insomniac games. I mean, uh, they, they all have, have their flaws, mainly the fact that it 
ushered in an age of just the same. Look at this fucking shit. Yeah. Uh, the largest Ma uh, Ma Maui? No, the uh, largest uh, Easter Island statue, uh, the biggest one that there is, uh, will never get moved. Specifically because it would take too many resources. That, that's something I found out. If you have flashbangs, you can just throw those instead of having to chase down your HVTs uh, to pop them with your gun. Nuh uh. Uh, Shroud of Turin is real. Every time they've gone to debunk it, their uh, debunks have fallen through. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, if that's the thing that I'm thinking of, like the, the thing that Jesus was supposed to be wrapped in after he resurrected, uh, they, they looked at it and it's just a fucking... Uh, or, I'm sorry, it's most likely just a like fucking blanket from the time, like a, a counterfeit blanket in particular. Which game uh, protagonist would be most likely to have a foot fetish? Chat, I don't like your question. Ask a new one. Nice gameplay, by the way. Not me playing, but thank you. Uh, I'm back. Hey, Shota, sound like probably isn't your thing, but have you played Frontiers yet? Uh, I got it as a Christmas gift, and I've been having fun. Uh, I played a little bit of it, yeah. Sound Frontiers ain't bad. Yeah. Like, I like it. <laughs> Shroud of Mary isn't debunked. Uh... I don't know. The The thing that I read in particular said that they, they sat there and they uh, dated the fibers and it didn't come back as something that was uh, likely to be real. I'm trying to remember the exact thing they said. Oh no! Yeah, knocked the Maki over. It almost hit the thing. Almost yeah, hit let's the, actually see what... Almost hit the... the well, that one was you. I almost hit the uh, Windows button, man. I know, right? They say they found the body of Christ. Christ. Now that, I absolutely don't believe. At all, right, we're still good. Want to be sure? Uh, are you reading Trojan X? I think that'll be the next uh, Chainsaw Man. Uh, no, no, I'm not. Mm. Uh, you know the Khan statue? Uh, I've been there. Inside the statue, they let you dress as a Mongolian warrior, and you get a nice view up top on the horse. Uh, to get there, you literally go through his crotch. That's pretty cool. Mm. Uh, Buddha, mortal possessions, and materialism isn't worth anything. Don't ever over such things. Cheeks and street shitters. Got it. Well, that's for tourism. Uh, you do have flashbangs, you can just throw those without having to chase down your HPTs to poop them with your gun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, the part that Carmen tested is a piece of the edge, which had later repairs. Pretty much everything uh, else points to it being real. Interesting. Alright, making sure I'm caught up on everything for her. How could they find the body for he is risen? Uh-oh. Alright. Uh, thoughts on the Tell series recently bought Berseria. A lot of them are really good. Berseria in particular is a good one. How would they know it's his body? Does it float if they put it in the bathtub? I guess. <laughs> Chat, I think most uh, most mummies would float, yeah? Should. Alright. Alright, new question. What movie character do you think would have a foot fetish? Chat, I also don't like this one. Pick a new question. So, now we got the queen. Uh... I was thinking today of Red City Radio's song Purple Heart Paperweight and how it's a song that uh, gets better nowadays. God damn it. Uh, it's about a man whose veteran grandfather dies and he learns about his grandfather's problem, but it doesn't matter to him because he loves his grandfather and his grandfather loved it. So this guy I mean, I literally know. sells people on like a slave trade and he sells babies to rich people. Metal. Yeah. Oh, so he wasn't the one in Pyongyang. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, I doubt they found it. I believe more that Jesus and Buddha met in the Gobi Desert than the body thing. <laughs> yeah, that's East Pyongyang. North Pyongyang, downtown Pyongyang. Yeah, there's likely no physical remains or possessions of Christ in existence. That's just the nature of archaeology. Yeah. And it doesn't help that, like, hmm. early archaeologists were fucking batshit insane. Yeah. Uh, I forget his name, but there's that one guy that uh, was, like, hell-bent on, on finding the city of Troy. Like, fucking absolutely going balls to the walls to find the city of Troy. And uh, he did. He found, he found where the city of Troy would have been. And proceeded to use dynamite to blow yeah. up, like, the entire fucking area. And it turns out, the the area that he blew down to where he thought it would have been was far too old to have been Troy. And the dynamite literally completely obliterated, like, everything. Yeah. Uh, Salami Skeleton for $2. Uh, I just finished Jack Reacher. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, go after the ace. You can't right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you need to do all the, all the, all the babies. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta do all the people leading up to him in order to find his location. 
We just found a mummy floating in sewers. Yeah. To be fair, it wasn't floating in sewers. It was in its coffin, and all the, the runoff, all the sewage was just being pumped in the poor guy's coffin. <laughs> That's where the that's where the picture of the red the red coffin juice comes from. Yeah. Anybody that Quentin Tarantino plays as oh so Quentin Tarantino. He managed to do what the Greeks didn't manage. He destroyed Troy. Yeah, I think it was the uh, not the Mongolians, the fucking um, Ottomans that the, the, the destroyed him. All right. No point. You used to be, uh, no joke. You used to be able to buy paint made of crushed up gummies. It, it wasn't paint. It was like a fucking seasoning. Like uh, rich people used to buy ground up mummies and use it as like a fucking seasoning. My God. Yeah. It was. It was like mummy. It, it was literally called like mum something or like like mummy some shit. But yeah, they would literally just eat mummy powder. <laughs> that would piss me off to no end. <laughs> Imagine you're wealthy enough to get to, to get you like an actual proper like uh, nice mummy mum, uh, mummy burial, right? Yeah, no, right. And then fucking uh, three thousand years down the line, some British cunt is fucking eating you. The only cope I can have is that they lie to them, and it's just like dehydrated jerky. I, I wish. The man found Troy. He may have destroyed the area, but he won. Hey. Here's the thing, the guy might have been batshit insane and blown up uh, an archaeological find for the centuries. However, he believed hard enough that he found something that would have been, at the time, the equivalent of Atlantis. Yeah. Uh, that also being said, uh, the whatever fucking area it was found in, he gave his wife a shit ton of jewelry that he excavated. And, like, it was essentially just stealing cultural artifacts and yeah. worth a shit ton of money. And he would have gotten away with it, too. Except that him and his wife were so dumb that she literally wore the jewelry in public. And one of the, like, uh, one of the politicians for the country saw her with that and proceeded to go, Oh, hell no! Nah, and banned them both from the country? <laughs> I'm not taking my chances on eating some dude's fucking dong dust. Yeah. They were also used to make paint. I, I never heard about the paint thing, but I did know that people ate them. Uh, fake mummies was an actual. Fake mummies was an actual business. They used to make mummies to sell to rich people. Uh, raw head and bloody bones, part same part by that practice. <laughs> uh, for Oh, look a mummy. Dinner time. Also seasoning. Let me let me look up what it was. It's that called. joke from Futurama. It's like, damn you! I was gonna eat that money. Yeah. <laughs> I need more ammunition. Yeah, it was called mummia. That's literally what it was called. Uh, history uh, medicine from mineral pinch to powdered human mummies. It originated from an Arabic mummia, uh, a type of resinous bitumen uh, found in Western Asia and used curatively. In traditional Islamic medicine, oh, it would be those motherfuckers, uh, which translated as pisas, pisas fultus from pitch and asphalt. Uh, so it was used as medicine. That's what it was. It was medicine. But it was ingested. So it was medicine that you had to eat. There we go. But it, it, it was essentially a cure all. All right, so where's our next one? Everybody misses all the good streams, chat. Uh, Ten of Clubs. Uh, Somewhere southwest, southwest of the DMZ. Of the DMZ. DMZ is... Uh, I find it annoying some countries are bitching about the London Museum having artifacts when their own country didn't care for them for that long. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally just, oh, a Western country did that? We have to find a way to make that evil. Yeah. Uh, the Sorry, Western country... Yeah. Western country fucking saved it from you dipshits that were going to yeah. have it destroyed. Those sand jockey, jockeys really did eat mummies, didn't they? Yeah. Let's do this. You know that the South is stereotyped as uh, racist, yet the South is probably the most diverse region in the U.S.? Yes. Yeah. How, yeah. How, how, how's, the, how's the cyberpunk quote go? I don't fucking know. Hang on. I've got, I've got it somewhere. Diversity and unity. It's now accepted among historical scholars that in the decades before the collapse, America suffered from the sickness of racism and cultural identity. Everyone wanted to be seen as special. Every group had to be equal, or, uh, equal to or preferably better than its neighbors, uh, and fought to protect its special rights. If anyone had something that someone else wanted, they were painted as racist, sexist, elitist, or worse. This, device, this divisive me-first attitude eventually tore the fabric of American culture apart, caused it, caused it to, to self-destruct in a fireball of co uh, competing ideologies, none of which truly recognized each other's validity. Diversity led in, uh, inexorably to anarchy. 
Chuck Pondsmith is the fucking prophet, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, true mummy brown paint is no longer available. Modern versions don't use real mummy dust lame. I don't want mummy dust in my walls, motherfucker. How do you think you get a haunted house? Because that's exactly how you get a haunted house. Yeah. Sure, did you play the Cyberpunk tabletop? Yes. Uh, I played the the classic, classic original version of it. I haven't played any reiteration of it. This fox is going on an adventure. Oh, no. Uh, remember the Rosetta Stone? Oh, one of the biggest cultural finds was being used as a stone of the wall of some house when an archaeologist found it and preserved it? Yeah. Yeah. Some people legit just don't understand the importance of keeping that shit safe. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is Punch with the Time Traveler? Well, like, the, the be-all, end-all of it is that these are societal issues that are, like, like sewn into the fabric of America. Yeah. And 50 to 100 years from now, we're still going to be bitching about the same thing, just a different variation of it. Yeah. But it'll be the same base concept. Yeah, exact same assholes, just different flag. So, do you got the OG Cyberware books? Uh, yes. Don't let him get away. Yes, I do. Oh, no! Guys, friendly! 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 Wave gun! Oh, he's not friendly. He's not friendly at all. Fucking asshole! Uh, look up the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and what happened when ISIS took that area over. Yeah! Yeah, quite literally. Alright, now we gotta... Keep an eye out uh, southwest of the demilitarized, yeah. so somewhere around here. Chat, uh, does anyone know all seven of the ancient wonders of the world? I know the Colossus of Rhodes was one. Uh, I think the only one that's left standing is the Pyramid of Giza. So I know two of them, but I don't know the rest of them off the top of my head. I don't think we went over that in history class. I don't think so either. Pip is playing Toho. Yeah, well, is Pippa talking about fucking history? I didn't think so, chat. No, she's playing fucking Chinese bullshit. Korean bullshit. Japanese. It's not Japanese. Hanging Garden of Babylon, yes. Oh, what was the Hanging Garden of Babylon one? Okay, so hey, there we go. We got three, chat. Great Wall of China. Ancient wonders, chat. Ancient. Statue of Zeus at, Azusa at, at Olympia. Holy shit. Lighthouse of Alexandria. Okay, that's five. What are the seven wonders of the world? Uh, ancient wonders, not modern wonders. Ancient wonders. Library of Alexandria. Maybe up through here? Uh, yeah, Alexandria's got multiple? So long as we're in the area, it's going to pop up. Yeah, Colossus of, of Rhodes. Uh, Library of Alexander. Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. That sounds like I could believe that one. Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. I've never seen that one before. Pyramids are a side up. Hey, yo! Uh, Stonehenge? Uh, uh, the Great Pyramid of Giza, that's one. Uh, this isn't to just shit on the Middle East. Romans legit dismantled part of the Colosseum for building materials for a long time. Yeah. Ah! Uh, seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Uh, so, <laughs> see, I wanted chat to have fun, but someone just linked me to the Wikipedia article, so I'm gonna I'm fucking ruin it, motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, Great Pyramid of Giza, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Temple of Artemis, Statue of Zeus at Olympia, uh, Mausoleum, Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, uh, Colossus of Rhodes, and the Lighthouse of Alexandria. Uh, I have never seen the Zeus statue or the, uh, the, 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 the mausoleum. That mausoleum looks cool as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, here's a little model of what it might have looked like. Oh, that looks cool. And where's the Zeus statue? Statue of Zeus at Olympia. Oh, I've seen that in other things, though. Oh, yeah, it's pretty dope. I think that fucking statue of Zeus was in a fucking, uh, an FPS, a retro FPS. So that truck will automatically shoot down anything near it. Metal. Remember there was a, a quiz where we had to match images of the World Wonders, uh to their names in high school. Well, the modern wonders of the world and the ancient wonders of the world are different. Like, yeah. the the uh, Great Wall of China is a modern wonder, wonder of the world. Uh, Slime skeleton for dollars. Uh, mercury lead mummies. Bathwater. Rich people. Mm. Yeah. Sir? Sir? Come on. Do it. Do it. Uh, so somebody crashed in front of my lawn. Have a good night. Jesus, fuck. Are they okay? Presumably. Yeah, the Great Wall of China was one. Uh, I think 
some fucking temple in like Mexico was one. Machu Picchu, Machu Picchu was one. I flat out had to blow that up. It's about to attack me. Yeah, uh, Christ the Redeemer's one. Coliseum's one. Taj Mahal. What's the last one, chat? Time to bail out. Shit. Ain't on. I need you to update me and tell me if that guy's okay. Ah, I died. Damn, you died hard. Yeah. Turns out I broke my disguise for some reason. Because uh, I guess even though I was attacking an allied vehicle, do you think North Koreans would think it was cool? Yeah. They decided that was not cool, in fact. You, you can climb on the statue of Zeus's balls in Assassin's Creed. Oh, mate. Uh, that's one of them. I, I know... Fuck, what's the... Uh... Was it Dai Katana? Did Dai Katana have the statue of Zeus? I think so. There's a fucking boomer shooter where you, like, argue with fucking Athena. Murder waifu down. Yeah. Alright. So it demilitarized zone, but I'm trying to figure out exactly where. Do we have Kentucky Goblins Ramblings Part 2? Uh, I can... Oh, oh okay, God. okay. Oof. They gave us more hints. It's Blown Out Bridge and... Uh, okay. And Wreck Train. Okay. Uh, I, I I currently... It was Daikatana. Yeah, Daikatana, yeah. Yeah, Daikatana has the fucking Statue of Zeus. Um... I, I'm trying to think of cryptids chat, and like it, knowledge about cryptids, ain't shit coming to mind right now. So should be north, I think. Well, it can't be north. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Uh, I remember the Hercules in the Disney movie talked to us, Papa, through the Statue of Zeus. Oh yeah. Found out that I made Employee of the Month. Why? We motivate you to do better, chat. There you go. Uh, Chichen Itza was rediscovered in 1982 and is now one of the most well-known historical sites in Mexico. Seeing the image when they found it is cool as fuck. Yeah, okay. Uh, I I remember this one most of all because it was it was one of those things where someone was like, ugh, white people only know how to destroy. And it was literally a picture of this. And it's like, this was before white people? Yeah. This is after white people. Uh, I think, the, I think the, the modern wonder of the world that I was missing was some, like, statue gateway in, in, uh, in Egypt. All right. We will follow the train tracks all the way down to the demilitarized zone. Yeah. Game? Uh, this is Mercenaries. Yeah, Mercenaries uh, Playground of Destruction. Very, very good game. Yeah. We are currently hunting for, for different high-value targets. Talk about how the Detroit Lions are good this year. No, they're not. Fuck you. Kill yourself. Eat shit. Is there a skip? Probably when the fucking thing hit the goddamn laptop. Yeah, and ironically, that might have been it, because uh, I hit the mic by accident. Pita? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Alright. This should be it. Oh. Uh, it is taking us towards it. Yeah. Modern... Mo chat, there's there's the modern wonders of the world, and there's the, the wonders of the old world. The two different things. You're gonna fucking clip to the map, dog. So long as I get paid. Yeah. I uh, hate the new Assassin's Creed game, changing art and breaking lore for worse series. I'm pretty sure I already read that. There he is. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, what happened to the Gardens of Babylon? They're gone. Oh, oh stinky. Come on, communists. Make my day. I can't wait to put my kids through college by putting you in the ground. Old World Wonders are mostly lost, unfortunately. Uh, every single one of them are lost, except for the Pyramids of Giza. Yes, one. So we, we gave spent fuel rods to the Koreans, and otherwise buy a fucking sniper rifle. Ah. Hey, yo, ten of clubs, this motherfucker. Oh, while you're out there, someone said you have flashbangs that you can flashbang them with. No, so I know, yeah, do yeah. It. that was Coco. Alright. Get this motherfucker out of here! Yes. Roger, this is Expo 2. I am in the air. I found a dragon-headed staff. Yes. I remember last year Germany gave a bunch of Millennium Old Bronze tools to Nigeria, and not even a week later they were lost Molly? forever. More Molly? like Molly. Oh, yep. Uh, most likely melted down for scrap metal money. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, who's this new guy? The fabled showed it. Uh, yeah, I guess. 
Uh, Marquis of Scarade, five dollars. If you ignore the Reformation, most of the famous works of ancient items are preserved by the monks and church. Even the Aztecs' language was, uh, was saved. Uh, most of the old wonders are dead. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't the church that saved the, the the temple in Mexico. That was just some fucking white adventurers. I have a Travis Kelce jersey. Should I be dazzling sell for like five hundred bucks? <laughs> Pyramids were also the oldest during ancient times. Remember that Cleopatra was born closer to the moon landings than she was to the pyramids' construction. Those things are fucking ancient. Yeah. People are still convinced they were made by aliens. Uh, I think I think it was like there's a there's like a spiral system inside the pyramid. Yeah. So like you just push blocks up the up the spiral to get where you needed them. Yeah. So no, uh, sadly, not aliens. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, like, uh, all the people going, like, well, the block is that heavy, though. It's like, they had systems for that. Yeah. They're called slaves. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful slaves. Yeah, he's talking about famous works and uh, ancient items in general. Okay. Yeah, the, the church has saved some. Not all of them, by any means. Some of them they also destroyed. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to go work for the South Koreans again. Uh, you have to remember the Mayan sites like Chichen Itza and their civilization was beyond dead by the time the Aztec civilization was around. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, fuck. Well, this thing is about to blow. I think the Aztec language might have survived despite the RCC, not because of them. Yeah. Ew. Is that fucking Ellie from Last of Us? No, this is an Asian, Asian lady. Yeah. This game came out in like 2006. Mm -hmm. Uh, didn't Mussolini also dig up Dante Al uh, Al Alighieri's bones to heighten morale during World War II? Not that I know of. He d he dug up Caligula's fucking boats. Uh, Krispy Kreme for two bucks. I fell asleep. What game is this? Mercenaries, Playground Destruction. Fantastic video game. Uh, most likely theory is they flooded the area, then flooded the bo bo uh, blocks over. I mean, I I just think they used the spiral system inside yeah. the the pyramid. Yeah. Uh, Krispy Kreme for two dollars. I fell asleep. What game is this? Mer mer mercenaries. Mercenary. Uh, has anyone mentioned, uh, techno Techchin? Techchin? Oh, damn it. I dropped the phone. Uh, this one PS2 one? game I haven't played. I played the sequel, though. This game is fantastic. That's fun, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Do Mussolini killed Dante from the Devil May Cry series? Yes. Also, the uh, Hebrews weren't enslaved during the pyramid construct construction. By the time Exodus occurred, pyramids were already uh, 1,000 to 2,000 years old, IRC. Yeah. Yeah, but it could have uh, just been other slaves. Uh, yeah, I wasn't referring to the fucking Hebrews. I was just saying slaves in general. Yeah. No, the the slaves built uh, some of the other monuments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slaves probably built a lot of... Look at that. Don't step on me, snake, bro. Yeah, no, right? I mean, South Korea is a lot more, you know... Well, they got, the, they got the German flag, uh, yeah. fucking Don't Step On Me, Snick. Is that the fucking Commonwealth of Kentucky flag? It looks yeah, like it, it is. It looks like it. <laughs> you know what, based? This game speaks to us on, an, on a personal level, Jet. Playing the desert sounds less likely than aliens. <laughs> no, chat. Like, flooding the desert sounds super funny to me, though. All right. Oh, we got a stealth bomber. Ooh, the, oh, this shit. one's fun. Nice. This one's fun. Wait, that's the East German flag. Uh, shut up. All right. So we only have the nine of clubs left. Yeah. He, he is the last low guy. Then we have the king and the queen. Then we go after the ace. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, the coffin of Dante was taken out to help in battles. I shit you not. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. What benefit does having a dead man in your army serve? Uh, Italy fucking worships Dante. How'd that work out for him? They lost. Good job, Dante, dipshit. The tribe of Israel may have helped build treasure cities. Basically was being forced to work in a public work project. Uh, there was compensation, but people died. Some of you may get paid, and some of you may die. Those are sacrifices I'm not willing to make. So we go up here, and we can blow shit up. Motherfucker's name is Dung. What a fucking loser. Yeah. So, uh, each explosive kind of has a tier to it. Artillery is obviously the lowest because it's very uncertain and just kind of sprays everywhere. Mm -hmm. Good if you're surrounded by enemies and you don't really care what it hits. Yeah. Stealth bombers are, are a league above. Surgical strike is obviously okay, but not biggest boom. Uh, this is where we start getting into big booms. Yeah. 
Mussolini desecrated his corpse. Why? Don Quixote. Don Quixote is great, chat. She's amazing. What I do to have seen the city of uh, Tenochtitlan at its height, seeing the floating gardens would have been cool. Ain't no way that city looked like that, chat. Ain't no way. Your SNS signal's being jammed. No! <laughs> you Sig motherfuckers! Signal jammed, idiot. Hey, look, it's the prison camps. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the literal death camps. So that guy that was like, "Hey, where are the where are the concentration camps? Like right here." I guess hell's nowhere near as strong as America. Not at all, chat. America would stomp hell, all of it, completely and utterly. Uh, don't they worship him after like a lot of time after his novel and works? AKA he's dead now and is and is sacred. I fucking I don't know. I didn't know the I didn't know the Italians held him in any good regard. Oh yeah, very much so. Uh, I assume that kind of turned the uh, the other way immediately after they lost. I have a tank now. Ho ho ho. Oh god, they're firebombing you. Erm, actually die, idiot. It's shit. Mussolini. Remember this guy? He's cool, right? Look at me. Make a skeleton dance for your morale. It's so cool. Proceeds to get bombed out of out of Italy. I want my big booms, you motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> that isn't a tank. It's tank adjacent. Yeah. It really makes you think for all in the grand scheme of things, the USA has been around for basically no time at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's why people scream in death of the empire. It's like, motherfucker, we, we haven't even been there long enough to be one. Yeah. We're really good at our job. I'm sorry you guys didn't make good business deals back in the day. I'm sorry. What was your Louisiana purchase, huh? Losing a war dipshit? Mm-hmm. Bing, 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 bing. There we go. Bash crate harder forehead. What a show to think of native women. I mean, like most, uh, most women, some of them are hot. They mostly come out when welfare checks months come by. Mostly. Alright, here's the stealth bomber. Uh, stealth bomb the shit out of that. See? You know it's gonna be a big boom, because already... It does the Call of Duty top-down thing, of course. Yeah. I'm gonna do the middle one. Locking on the target. Target acquired. Do I say more of you when? I still need to see it. Like how you can barely fucking see it. I'm sorry. Yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. I was like, it's I'm a fucking sorry. carpet bomb. I was like, I'm sorry. Did it fucking whiff? It's a fucking carpet bomb. All right. I love using the uh, infinite money cheat in this game back in the day and just spamming air fuel bomb. That's right. It's a PS2 game. It has cheat codes. Yeah. Maybe we'll check those out before the stream ends. Should still work. I mean, it most definitely still works. Yeah. yeah. Big booms. Big boom. Oh no! I dare you use that against me, fucker. Are you guys even killing North Korea? We are a mercenary working for different factions that want to conquer North Korea, considering that uh, it is currently at war. And boom. Boom. Ugh. I wonder if Kim Jong-un has played mercenary. Probably not. Or probably. It depends. Mm -hmm. It's well known that they didn't really give a shit about people making fun of him. So I'm a skeleton for two dollars. Uh, how do you feel about a Gundam Battlefield game? Listen, uh, most of the most of the Gundam games we have that aren't just like how fighters. How did you survive that? Uh, God. Uh, most of the Gundam games we have that aren't like fighters are like not the best, chat. Yeah, they're like Dynasty Warriors clones. I'm sorry. What the fuck was that noise? I don't know. There's something in the woods, Lolly. It's not even a joke, there's something in the fucking woods. I think that's a jet. No, that's a plane. I'm stating as a fact there's something in the fucking woods. I mean, I assume so. I've heard shit, I, I've heard shit rattling around out there. 
I have to put the tank out of its misery. I know there is someone, there is a person uh, that has been walking around at night because I found the fucking uh, soda pop cans uh, up on the hill over there, mm. stabbed into a fucking tree. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, if I see you, I'm going to fucking shoot you. Why stabbed? Don't know. Don't care. All I know is I piss with one hand on my cock and one hand on the revolver now. Yeah. Why, though? Why take North Korea? Uh, it has terrible land for farming, almost no natural resources. Uh, 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 the economy's in shambles. Should I play the new God of War DLC? It's free, and if you like God of War, you'll probably like it, but no. Yeah. yeah, the whole reason you're doing it is because North Korea already declared war on, on South Korea, and they want to reunify and all that shit. Yeah, this is the... this In-universe, in it's the second Korean War. Yeah. So this is quite literally just the consequence of them losing. Yeah. Like, North Korea is going to cease to exist. It's, shocker, it's an allegory ah! for the Iraq War, because the entire idea is North Korea announced they had nukes. Jesus Christ, Lowell. Yeah. Center of mass. I did aim that way. That's the sad part. You aim shoulder mass. I flash banged it. <laughs> flash cock. Update, car crashed in my yard trying to sharp turn on the hill my house is on. Nobody was harmed except for the poor mailbox. Poor mailbox. Uh, there's a game over for two hours. Showed it. Did you just call it Soda Pop? You fucking Yankee? Soda Pop game. And I don't care. Are you sure this isn't some cryptid stalking you? I like to imagine it runs away at the sight of my fat cock when I whip it out. And maybe the revolver. Uh, any resources North Korea had were bombed into oblivion by the U.S. when they got uppity during the war. Okay, what is it telling at me about? What, what is that? Lieutenant Young Kim? I mean, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the yellow is. Is that like an extraction copter coming for Let's him? See. Maybe? I assume so. Too bad he's not going to be able to enjoy it. I was going to say, I don't know where the fuck this guy is. He's up there. Ah... Uh... Yeah, it's a it's a copter coming in to help him. Okay, so I gotta get up there. Let's see. The helicopter you left would be mighty helpful right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> soft drink, you fucking seppo. Soft drink? What the fuck's wrong with you? No one calls it fucking soft drink. Not even old people. They quite literally don't know. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna need that helicopter. Kind of lame, but okay. Be how it be. I mean, you'd be able to destroy it just fine if you didn't uh, use your carpet bomb. Yeah. Well, no, I, I want to take this guy alive. I'm trying to take him all alive. Yeah. Hey, asshole. Minutes from home. <laughs> Minutes from home. I was say, my man just sat there and looked at the helicopter, bro. And just for the extra fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's so mad. I, I'm, af I'm afraid that if you if you take this fucking helicopter down, it'll magically crash on top of this dude. <laughs> He's not had a very good day. <laughs> there we go. There's also a cheat for an Indiana Jones skin. Really? Millions must fumble. I, I am looking up cheat codes for the game because I want to be Indiana Jones. There you go. Yeah. Beginning of the Cinemassacre, James really seems to enjoy it, especially when showing off his collection. Oh, yeah. Tons of good stuff. Check out Board James if you haven't. It's a great one. You lied to me, chat. Do you hear about the mom who taught her baby consent because it touched her? Like, no sexual stuff, just light touch? What? It's a fucking baby. The fuck? Oh, no, he's he is correct. All right, Lolly, Han Solo or Indiana Jones? Mm, Indiana Jones. Indiana yeah, Jones, okay. He seems like the kind of guy that would fight North Korea. Oh. Uh, okay, open up your PDA. Uh, go to the factions tab. Does it matter that we're in the air or does it not? It shouldn't. Okay, it's on the factions tab, and enter. Doo -doo -doo. Which one did you say you wanted? Indiana Jones. Uh, left, left, right, right, up, up, down, down. Left, left, right, right, up, 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 
down. down. I don't say I don't, I didn't, it might have been might have taken too long, but you can see. Yeah, we we shall see. Uh, let me get out real quick. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Let me try that again. All right. Uh, so factions tab. E. Over to the factions so tab. It's left, left, right, right. Up, 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 up. down, down. E. Hmm. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me just be sure. Uh. Yeah, left, left, right, 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 up, up, down, down. How do I exit out? Why? Yeah, why? Who's in here, you bitch? Mm. It's been the D-pad, right? Uh, these have only been uh, tested on the PS2 version. Yeah, it should still be right. So. Oh, God, it's R2. Yeah, it's R2. It's weird. Yeah. There you go. Uh... Just remember that time CNN held the docs of a writer as blackmail because he made a meme about them? Yeah, it was the Trump wrestling one. I'm disgusted. Are you sure it's a factions one? Yeah, that's what it said. Hmm. Must be entered in the PDA factions tab. Might be gender specific. Shouldn't be. It is a cheat code, so it shouldn't be. Set up some of the cheat skins make the weapon models on your back look weird. It's up, down, up, up. That's not what it says. It's up, up, down, down, left, left. The Han right, Solo, right. the Han Solo one is up, down, up, up. Yeah, we're not trying to do Han Solo. Uh, let me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let me look. Let me look for specifically Xbox. Let me look for Xbox. I do like the loud ass horn on the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah, left, left, right, right, up, up, down, down. Yeah. Left, left, right, right, up, up, down, down. Oh, okay. Costume things don't work until you find a certain amount of blueprints. Okay. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. Maybe we can do it with all items in the shop unlocked. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, go to the PDA screen and then we'll try. Yeah, give me two seconds. Yeah. All right. So, and I assume it's factions. Yeah, it's four down. Here, let me. Uh, I'll just enter it. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck the shop menu is. Uh, go back to the PDA. Right, right. There you go. Should okay. be everything. Okay, everything's unlocked. So let's try it now. Man, fuck no. this game. Yeah, we might just have to find the blueprints physically. Oh, god damn it. Hang on. What? Uh, I merely had this go down a little bit further, apparently. I assume that was all blueprints? Uh, for costumes without needing it, apparently. So I think there was a tab that I saw earlier that had skins. Ah! Uh? Maybe it was on the maybe it was on the pause menu. Yeah, go to the pause. Not seeing it. All right, let me try the cheat code again then. Wee. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Well, I accidentally entered the 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 make the complete game for you cheat code. But it's fine. Yeah, we still we still gotta hunt down the 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 people, so it should be fine. Uh, yeah, this is the ace, but I don't want to do the ace yet. I love the history. I love the game. Sadly, I have to go have a great stream, guys. I can't believe you. Why would you leave us after we've done so much? Yeah, Jones also seems like a guy that would have a sexual relation with an underage girl, but we don't talk about it. Why would you say that, chat? Also, we're going to have Indiana Jones with the female uh, animations. Yeah. Straddle that chair, Indy. Sit, straddle it. He's sitting down. Yes, the mercenary. Yeah. Just got back from Gatlinburg, and I do love the hour-long traffic to get into town. Poor guy. Always sucks. Yeah. Uh, So I just I got a notification for a comment who who of a dude like commented on Berserk Saga. It's like 
Right. Man, why'd they have to throw in a fucking rape scene of Guts as a kid? That wasn't in the original. It's like, what? What? It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It wasn't in the original. You fucking stupid. If we're gonna play as Indiana Jones, you have to side with the good guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that... What do you mean? <laughs> And the best part is, I think we, I think we broke the the fucking deck. What? What? <laughs> All right. Uh, eliminate specified NK presence. I'll let us know when the Queen of Clubs is. Side. Okay. Yeah. I want to do this in order. The mark is the original. Sure. Uh, look at the shop. I like. I mean, the shop is. is okay. All okay. There. I was gonna say, well, like, it, it took the shit away from us, so I kind of assumed like. Yeah, cluster bomb. Gun oh, ship but yeah, support. you can you yeah. can get new shit now. Yeah, air superiority, tank buster, cruise missile, stealth fighter, gunship. Uh, bunker buster, <laughs> very, very big. Excuse me. Very, very big. Yeah. Uh, carpet bomb, fuel air bomb. What's the what's at the very bottom? The oh, fuel air bomb. yeah. Because the fuel air bomb is like the biggest explosive in the game. Nero. Yeah. Wait, what's the original of him? Is it the movies? I don't fucking know. I don't know what he's talking... I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. It's like, does he mean the original anime? Because no shit they didn't talk about that. Yeah. In which case, what do you think the fucking anime was based on? <laughs> Berserk, anime Berserk fan animations can be cool, but it don't matter. Ain't none of this matter. I am very tired of people hyping up the fan animes and going like, No, guys, it, it, it's just as good as, as a professional one. And it never is. Oh. Did you get the cheat weapon crate? Chat, what the fuck does that mean? What is entailed in the cheat weapon crate? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, so they have... They have two cheat codes on here. Uh, I guess to play is the, the Ace of Hearts, it says. But the second one says this is the real Ace of Hearts skin. The other one is a typo... From the makers of the game. <laughs> so the makers of the game just fucked with people. That's pretty good. Beautiful. Alright, there, there's the... There's the queen. Go after him. Go after him. Some people are too desperate for berserk content. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it, but... Uh, yeah. It's I don't the mean, pinging. Yeah, I, mean, I don't mean to be a dick about it. It's just the fact that I get I get pinged every now, like every fucking time when these gets announced, and I already know the story. They're gonna make one cool, they're gonna make one cool video, uh, then they're gonna go on hiatus and and talk for years about how cool that video was, and they they swear to God, you know, you know, coming next week, next week, you know, they're they're gonna they're gonna have something to show off, and then it just never comes. We're gonna, we're gonna hunker down. We're gonna do some more. Yeah. But they never will. Uh, cheap weapon crate is unlocked if you get all the cards. It has the potential, the portal, airstrike, rocket launcher, and a mortar submachine gun. I don't recall what the third weapon is. Uh, I, hang on, maybe? Costumes, without crates, reset factions, all shop items. Uh, I'm not seeing something like that. You know what? I hyped it up. I mean, of course. I hope you niggas appreciate this. Yeah. Okay, so you can get the cheat crate crate with codes, but it doesn't have a cheat crate code listed. The fuck is that? Maybe. Oh, uh, Lolly, go to the shop. Maybe it's in the shop. You guys, good. I don't think they're very good. Uh, supplies. Maybe? Yeah, go to the bottom, I would assume. Uh, special weapon drop? Maybe? Oh, uh, no, I think that's just, like, rifles. Uh, Anti-tank advanced weapons? Cheat weapons. Yeah, yeah, cheat weapons. weapons, but it's almost a million. Uh, it's a million. Don't worry, Lolly. You know what we have for that? Well, give me a sec before, before we do anything. We have a cheat code that is $1 million exactly. There we go. Damn, yeah. Those North Koreans aren't here anymore. Roger, yeah. This is Oh wait, those guys are. Jesus fuck! You, how'd you survive a nuke? Oh, to be fair, it was a fuel fuel powered nuke, but still. I see your smoke. I'm at the LZ. I am taking enemy fire. Don't be a pussy. 
Except I have money. Money. What game? This is Mercenaries. World on Fire. Or something like that. Shroud of Turn is real every time they've gone to debunk it. Their debunks have fallen through. See, I, I, don't, I don't know about that one, chat. I don't know about that. You know how religious people get. I am under heavy enemy fire. Kill them, you win. Kill them. Someone, someone earlier had given an actual reason why it fell through, and that was uh, they tested something from the fringe of it because obviously they don't, they don't want to like fucking damage it. Yeah. And it was uh, from something that had been repaired at a later point in time. There we go. Uh, you saw Mama Max go full insano mode, calling every famous YouTuber for some vague allegations against a pedo. For shame, Mama Max. For shame. I mean, he used I, to I, do entertaining shit. Uh, I, I did also see the the thing that came out rather recent. Uh, oh, maybe it's not recently anymore, where people were were shitting on him for his his videos, where it was like, um, it was one of his it was one of his pedo, uh, you know, pedo uncovering videos, yeah. and it was like. Uh, he he refused to give any information whatsoever about like literally anything involved, uh, and people were like, "Okay, but since you're literally not giving anything at all, I'm gonna call you on on BS and say this isn't real." Yeah, and he got like super butt hurt about it. I mean, I get uh, I get if he came out and said, "Hey, I'm not gonna comment on anything because these are like active criminal investigations and shit like that." Well, we all know why. Mm -hmm. We all know why. Oh, I mean, restarting uh, mobile Discord had to repost that Shroud of Turn message. I sent the hell off back. I don't know. Discord does weird shit sometimes. Yeah. I like when Deadwing worked with Manua on the recent streams. Yeah, because, like, the, the thing is, like, what Mama Max is doing is actually a good thing. Like, hey, uncover grooming circles and, and uh, yeah. shit like that. The problem is, for some reason, he's gotten so fucking sanctimonious about it. And, and like, no, you either agree with me and, and prop me up or you are a pedo. And it's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, listen, man, uh, you should be you should be fucking bringing down pedos because it's the morally right thing to do. Yeah. Uh, or go to the factions menu. Uh, before that, uh, north of the DMZ. All right, so that guy's north. All right. Uh, it's right down, left, up, up, left, down, right. So right down. Left, up, up, left, down, right. And next to the menu, and we'll maybe have a... Oh, yeah, we got a million dollars. Yeah, All right, uh, yeah, supplies, very bottom. There we go. All right, and then you got to... Yeah, get out of the tank. Yeah. Uh. You have to throw it like a smoke grenade, baby. Eh. My money! I'm on my way. My Max is the guy who called, uh, who call you pedo when you show no pedo tendencies, and that's what I mean. Like, God bless cheat codes, indeed. I don't know if maybe he's been like hunting after pedos too long that now he just cannot stop thinking about it, or or what the fuck's up with him. But it's a thing of like, dude, you are actively making it harder for people to take this shit seriously. Probably airstrike, pocket artillery. So what does street sweeper do? Uh, let's find out. Alright, he's just a submachine going near infinite ammo. Okay. Got 3,000 rounds, and in terms of this game, that's a lot. Alright, there All right, you go. So, that's... pistol that shoots that. Uh, the missile launcher teleports, is what someone said, so just test it out. It's that's a portable airstrike. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Fuck yeah! That's on spot four. Very good game. Yeah. Alright, so north of the DMZ. So, it should be up here. Maybe those little thingies right there. Yeah, maybe. So, to the DMZ. Hear about uh, Jim Fallon being on the Epstein list? I I'm sure fucking literally everyone is on the I assume list. literally every late night host is on the Epstein list. That's why they were so desperate to, to go after Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, be aware that when fighting monsters, you yourself do not become a monster for when you gaze long into the abyss. Yeah, 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 the Nietzsche thing, yeah. And I don't doubt that a lot of Listen, people... Listen, you don't, you don't fucking become a pedophile, chat. Yeah. And, and I don't doubt in my mind that uh, when it comes out, the, the list, they'll, they'll try to find some names and go like, well, I never fucked any kids. I was just there for the food. I didn't know what was going on. Try I was just a joke. there for the food. Yeah, try to make it into a joke. And everyone just forget the fact of, like, you were literally on an island full of underage prostitutes who were, like, sexually trafficked. Is the extended list out now? Not yet. It's releasing sometime soon, TM. 
Uh, and the reason it got delayed is because some some people successfully sued to have their names removed. Yeah, they, so, they removed three names off the list. Uh, that's yeah. all we know so far. And, and that, we don't know who they removed, obviously. And personally, I think that's kind of a sign of the list itself is compromised because yeah. that's only three they're willing to tell us about. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think about it? If Trump ever went to the Epstein Island, his name would be the first one leaked. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it already was. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, he was on the flight logs, but he never flew to the mm-hmm. island. He got he got a flight from Epstein from like Florida to New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's on it? I don't know yet, Chet. Yeah, we do not know for sure, but if you look up 2003 list, it says a lot. Uh, Bill Clinton got his name explained. Yeah, yeah. This isn't going to be a, a people that are going to get, get convicted list. This is a list of people that just flew. Yeah. Uh, I think they're going to include victims on that as well. But I don't know. Possibly. If, I was gonna say I don't remember if they said they were retracting victims' names or not. When some brave soul with a death wish would leak out the unedited list. Yeah, guys. I'm just the dumb comedian. I didn't know anything about underage prostitutes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, oh! Look at vehicles. I want to see what cool vehicles. We oh get. yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, you got the the fucking Hummers. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, hot off the assembly line. Yeah, you got helicopters, APCs, uh, tanks. There's got to be some super cool cheap vehicle. They always have one. Oh look at that! Look at this fucking. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, I got a fucking uh, VIP car. Yeah. Yeah. Mafia VIP car. Uh, if I remember right, Trump only uses hangar but refused to fly on his planes. Yeah. Cody Love was on the list, and I'm convinced that she was there. Uh, they're both as a victim and eventually a buyer. Oh, yeah, probably. Courtney was involved with a whole bunch of shady shit. Yeah? Is that a Viper? Yeah. Maybe. Looks like it. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Those, uh, those uh, helicopters are sure uh, angry. They are indeed. Holy fuck. Angie! Angie! Lolly! Oh, what? God. Just keep firing! Just keep firing! Really? Oh. There we go. Oh, thank God. Thank God they're stupid. <laughs> Lateral damage, hell yeah. That explosion was fucking huge. Murder. Wee. Uh, tell them if you know a PS2 game like this, because uh, it's uh, rent-free in my head, and I don't know the name. Afghanistan, Iraq, Desert War, third person, can arrest terrorists, uh, more tactical. Um, there's Operation Desert Storm, but that's really the only one that I can think of. Yeah, and I don't even think that was it. I don't really remember arresting people? Yeah, I think you just shot them. As most soldiers do. Yeah. <laughs> Viper is a code form, people who get children for pedos. No, Viper is a car. No. There can be things called... Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> I got fucking smacked with the wreckage. You cheated not only the game, but yourself. <laughs> oh, I still got the weapons, though. Fuck yeah. No consequences. I don't know where we need to go, though. Uh, I'm trying to get to the demilitarized zone, because that's how we get the nine of clubs. Yo, chat, how much Viper is going for nowadays? Because my dad hated them back in the day and thinks they're overpriced. Alright. So we are actually not that far away from it. There we go. Well, I see you don't get, uh, get to sue to get yourself removed from anything that directly implicates you in deliberately participating in a crime. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, game, the game that guy was thinking about is 50 Cent Blood on the Sand, baby. No, the fuck it wasn't. Yeah, there's no way it was that. I'm a Chevy fanboy. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> you disgust me. Viper is snake. No. Does Viper have puss puss? No. I'm sorry, South Korea. I'm sorry. You ever played Black? Uh, once. But it was fun when I played it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vipers have been ruined since, like, 2010 when the government forced them to be- had to have safety features like boring traction control. 
Bro, imagine not having traction control. Fucking loser ass car. Right. We're getting there. Ah! Despite it's... our best efforts, we're getting there. Yeah. Oh shit! So uh, those those like um, Japanese post car uh, trucks, like the ones with like the flat bed and, yeah. st and stuff like that. So uh, after like a really really long run, they have finally been decommissioned. Oh wow! Do you know why? Why? They have been lying about the safety of the cars for like 50 fucking years. Holy shit. And they have not met safety standards for over 50 years. Oh my god. <laughs> and they've just, I guess they've just been paying them off to, to pass them for, for fucking 50 some odd years. That means that like the reason Truck Coon is such a meme is because those trucks <laughs> are just hilariously unsafe. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it sucks because I really like those, like, yeah, no no shit, the tiny, like, subcompact pickup truck. Yeah. Like, is super unsafe, but, like, that sucks because they look cool. All right. Holy shit, shit you're you. serious? Yeah, I am. Look it up. Look it up. Okay, so not here, <laughs> but I do know where. I, forget, I, I respect Chevy for being like, yeah, turn it off. What do we give a fuck? The, the thing I hate most in the world is modern, uh, well, obviously exaggeration, but uh, one of the things I, I really dislike about modern cars is, like, super super sports cars, like the ones that can go up to multiple hundred miles an hour. Yeah. Um, they ha they, they've gotten to the point where uh, they're always being tracked on a GPS, and it tracks your location, and it sees when you are on civilian roads, and it limits your speed. And it sees when you enter a racetrack, which obviously is the only place you'd be able to reasonably yeah, yeah. get that that high. And that's when it unlocks the speed of the car. If I'm paying several million dollars for my fucking supercar, I want to die in a blaze of motherfucking glory yeah. at my hands. Yeah. I don't care if I take the, the fucking president's cavalcade with him, okay? Ugh. Well, you know, it's like that scene in Dark Knight where Bruce Wayne's speeding and, and missing the, uh, the red light... Uh, save that one guy's life, and Joker couldn't save God. Uh, couldn't destroy Gotham. Could yeah, Joker couldn't save Gotham. Yeah. <laughs> See, like Bruce Wayne speeding and, <laughs> and drinking and driving is what saved Gotham. Uh, have you seen those those 4chan posts uh, that are the, that it's the guy larping as the Joker? No, no, he he posts like fucking every single day, and and it's it's a fucking Joker larp. He grabs like pictures from from some random guy on Instagram that dresses up as as Joker all the time. <laughs> He takes those pictures and puts it to his post, but it, it, it's all like some fucking insane shit. Like, let me ask you a question, Anons. Have any of you ever suffered in your life? <laughs> the answer is no. People like me, we, we have to kowtow to your kind, <laughs> but not for long. Soon, soon it'll be chaos in the streets, and you, Anons. <laughs> You'll see everything. So You'll in, be here for the dawn of the age of chaos. So he's an unironic Billions Buzz Dylarp? Yeah! And he, like, posts a new post every fucking day. Oh my god. What board? Ah, uh, let me look it up. Let me look it up. I am God's drunkest driver. <laughs> <laughs> Check your radar for the location. Uh. Whee! Batman, I got a Pokemon. Batman, I got a Pokemon, Batman. Ugh. Come on. All right, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. I thought Google would know what I'm talking about. Let me, let me be more precise. It's like a, a Fed having to look, having to look at the search result for who is that guy in 4chan that does the Joker LARP. <laughs> Oh god, they're learning. They're sticking close to each other. They're learning. Well, you know what, Lolly? Oh, well, never mind. I was gonna say, you've got a weapon to deal with that, but you don't anymore. There we go. Have any of you seen the base Riddler memes? Yeah. Uh, no. There we go. Kaboom. Kaboom. 
All right. And this is the last guy before the ace. Term um, aces. Shit. Uh. Yeah, here. Fuck you, mean landing zone not clear. Fuck you. You can move past the wreckage. There we go. This is Expo Two. I am in the air. Come on. I see your smoke. I'm at the LZ. Oh, thank God, it's finally over. I think billions must die. I think uh, the people who make that unacceptable idea should. In fact, Porsche Turbo was nicknamed the Doctor Killer as doctors would buy them and kill themselves driving them to the snap over tier. <laughs> Good job. Go on, bros. Go on, bros. Uh, B. <laughs> Let me ask you something, B. How many times have you been treated like shit? How many times have you ever felt excluded? How many times have you had to put on a happy face going out to the world? A fake happy face. Let me tell you, none. You've lived happy lives while I, well, suffered. You're all the same who bully me <laughs> and stop me from being God. You'll see soon. <laughs> Chaos. Is slash B. <laughs> Gamers rise up. Oh no! Joker LARP is gonna have <laughs> someone shooting someone. <laughs> well, uh, there was a round. Someone, so someone kind of hijacked his, his gimmick. Uh, and, and posted in there for the, uh... Like the threatening to no, not threatening. Yes, threatening. What was the movie theater shooting? What was the Dark Knight? Yeah, the Dark Knight shooting. Yeah, Dark Knight shooting. I blew up my bro. Blew up my bro. I blew up my bro. Uh, someone did a, like a like a hijacked it and photoshopped a, a picture for the Dark Knight shooting. <laughs> that, that's literally it. Stop shooting at me. Check to sell in tweet I posted in the Discord. No. Yeah, the Ace of Clubs. He's the only one left. Uh, Selen's going to actually fucking hero. Uh, last night I got out of bed for the first time in a while and turned on my PC. I even played a little bit of Apex and helped two friends get masters. Uh, one of them said it's nice to hear me laugh again because it's like sunshine. Just taking it one day at a time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she ain't re-upping her contract. Yeah, that's the one who got fucked over. Yeah, that's the that's the one that got uh, lost fifteen thousand uh, dollars doing a, like a fucking music video. Yeah, uh, and then was in the hospital for two days uh, or three days, and none of her none of her coworkers mentioned her at all on the stream that she set up. Yeah, uh, or on the collab stream that she set up in any capacity whatsoever. Kind of acted like she didn't exist, uh, and then she got out of the out of, like fucking out of the hospital. I feel bad for the people who are still in Niji Sanji. It's like, how mm -hmm. fun is that? How many people are getting raped in, in Niji Sanji, both figuratively and literally? I mean, it's a full-on black company. Yeah. Remember playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and meeting uh, Birch from the Circus Freak? Shota, you remind me of him. Hey, Merc. Glad you could make it. Is that the, yeah. that the, that the tall one chat? Try to keep the casualties down. It's actually real. Yeah, the the truck coon. Yeah. Uh, Toyota subsidiary uh, Daihatsu, known for its miniature vehicles, halted factory operations on Tuesday after a report found that it had been forging the results of some safety tests since 1989. The company had already paused shipments of all its vehicles and will now shut down its four Japanese factories until the end of February. Oh my God. Uh, an internal report into the issues released on December 20th found 174 cases in which the company manipulated data or made adjustments to its vehicles to get past safety tests. 174. My God. Uh, vehicles impacted includes those sold under the Toyota brand. Daihatsu found the doors, 
found that doors on some of the vehicles could become difficult to open from the outside in case of a crash, although it said it was not aware of any related accidents. Uh, the report also said that while there was an increase in the number of falsified cases after 2014, the oldest incident dated back to the late 18, uh, sorry, 1980s. Uh, Daihatsu is best known for making Kia cars, K-E-I, uh, cars and trucks, tiny vehicles that are hugely popular in Japan. We passed a shit ton of them. Oh, yeah. Um, and have even taken off among some drivers in the U.S. Sad. Sad, sad. Ooh, tank cluster. And cluster bomb. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Yes, 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 yes. Let's blow shit up. Hey, this trick must have easy cat a lot of people. Yeah. Bing. We. Damn, did the easy cat mankakas know about this? One can only hope, chat. The whole time we thought it was a lazy cliche, but it's social commentary. <laughs> The craziest thing is they they, they were like, yeah, no, nah, we investigated it, you know. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait for me! Holy <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Uh, clear LZ. Uh, destroying K4 sets out on the island. What the fuck is review win? Never chat. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So south side of the island, we go over there, we blow shit up, and we get in uh, air support. Yes. No, I'm gonna swap to the uh Here we go. I took down a fucking building! And a bridge. Metal. Motherfucker! Uh legit fuck the feds. We have to hear about oh all the people want big trucks when that's literally all you can buy. They can't make new small pickups anymore. Yeah, quite literally. The only reason trucks are as big as they are is specifically because of the uh all the emission laws that we have. We could have small, tiny, cool trucks uh, chat, and people wouldn't have to complain about, oh, I, I'd hate that this fucking Ford Raptor is right next to me taking up five fucking parking lots. Yeah, that's on you, asshole. Because you voted for cunts. I'm fine with living in a small covered dystopia. Alright? That's just half the major cities in America. Yeah. I mean, environmental laws anyway, pretty fucking bullshit. What is the meaning of life procreation chat? Next oh, question. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Lolly! I'm out here making fucking 9-11 look like a bad Saturday. Yeah. Young Bruce Wayne is just Kinshiro. <laughs> no chat. Bad chat. I'll ruin America's small car industry. I'm pretty sure it happened before Obama. Or started happening before Obama. Yeah, long before him. I mean, like, the actual real fucking downfall happened before Obama. However, like, actual body cars changing, I think that, you know. Guess that rant came back to you because you voted for cunts and honestly feel frustration at that <laughs> point. Am I right with the 18-wheelers? Chat, chat, if if this all cum culminated in us, us like, getting rid of 18-wheelers so I don't have to fight 35 semis on the way to work, I'm willing to let things happen. <laughs> I love this. You're just shooting nukes, bro. I'm shooting fucking, like, That one right there, bombs. that hospital. Take that hospital down. <laughs> that hospital looks like it's in need of some fuck... Oh, God damn it. It's fine, Lolly, because you have a, you have a, a portable... Oh! <laughs> That's my buddy who knows more about VTuber stuff than me, and he said that someone should probably was in the hospital for a mental breakdown from that shit happening. Chat, chat. Can you imagine you personally in your life right now losing fifteen thousand dollars and being okay with that? Yeah. For no reason. Pe people would be dying, Chad. If I yeah. lost fifteen k, people would be dying. I think if I lost five k, people would be dying. Yeah. Because, because as far as I'm aware, the they took down the music video for shit they still refuse to explain. Yeah. Yeah. Pe people, people emailed them and they're like, oh well, we we just uh. Their response was something along the lines of, "Oh, well, we just need to iron out like uh, the legalities of it, right?" And it's like, "Well, you don't you don't invest fifteen thousand dollars into a fucking music video and get all the permissions for it, uh, just to have you fucking cocksuckers, you know, renege on it." Everything was solved before the video went live. Yeah, no, that you fucked the talent. You owe your talent fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, they they're gunning after this chick. They're doing that classic thing of make her life a living hell at this job. 
so that she quits and they don't have to pay severance pay or something like that. I guarantee that's why. I would legit kill myself if I lost twenty dollars. I, I ironically think it is it is like I, I've come around to the thinking of uh, someone came on to Sullen and wanted to fuck her and she said no, and now oh, yeah. that particular person is making her life a living hell. Oh yeah, has to be, has to be. Uh, Doctor Homicide for two dollars. What is the meaning of death? To prevent that's overpopulation. The that's the meaning of the gaze too. You're welcome. Next question. I blew up a hotel. Chat, jump that motherfucker. That's his, that's his, that's his third super chat. <laughs> Damn, oh, they ruined it. Look at that. The, the happy little shopping mall where all the people go to play. Freedom! Well, the ass kicking was so strong it fucked me up. Who lost 15k? Selling. Oh, uh, Niji Sanji talent. Yeah, Niji, Niji Sanji talent. Uh, VTuber. Uh... <laughs> She lost 15k, and not only did she lose 15k, uh, to my knowledge, she's gone completely radio silent, uh, aside from saying that she got out of the hospital on her main account, and has just completely gone back to her old account that had been fucking absent for over a year. Yeah. Uh, I think the only thing she had posted within that year was on, like, around Christmas, where she was like, hey, uh, I'm doing, like, a, a wish list for my dog, and you can buy it off of Amazon Prime for my dog, so Christmas presents for my dog. Yeah. She paid out of pocket. Yeah, she paid out of pocket. They owe her that fucking money back. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, at that point, that, that is explicitly... All right, someone is fucking with her. Mm -hmm. uh, I get into a Silent Hill mode every few years, and with all the stuff I watch this time, I'm thinking of how about how both Homecoming and Downpour could have been good games. And all the phrases, all cuck yeah. and no bulls. Dr. In. Homicide for two bucks. This is my third super chat. This is... No, no, because no, YouTube told us. Idiot. Uh, imagine a Silent Hill homecoming where Alex was actually in the military and all the stuff you could do with his trauma. Also, Alex needed to be more responsible for Joshua's uh, death. Like, he slaps him and that's why he hits his head. Uh, I'm planning on doing a rewrite of Homecoming when I get a chance. Nah, uh, you there, should watch there's... those, uh, you should watch the, the, uh, Great Debate yeah. channel that I, I, I sent you. I, I am perfectly okay with Alex not being in the military because that's not really the point of Silent Hill. No. And the whole idea of like, oh, but they can use his PTSD, that, that's pretty goddamn cliche at this point. Uh, it's better than literally none of it being real. Yeah. The, the problem that's, is it that, That's to, what Homecoming was, was literally nothing yeah. was real. The, the problem is it needed to weave that into it. Like, some of it was real, some of it wasn't. Her $10,000, her $15,000, her enemies might run into some Chechens, right? There we go. YouTube's saying that's his third one. No, uh Sea Lolly? Yeah. Third super chat? And then it also says third super chat again. Yeah, right? <laughs> so YouTube broken. All right. It's always his third super chat. I, I'll keep I'll keep an eye on it in case he, he donates again sometime in the future. All right. Yeah. We're specifically trying to blow up jammers. Perfectly fine with Homecoming dying and being forgotten. That's the thing. I think Homecoming is a more fun game uh, than Downpour. Like, it's more fun to play Homecoming than Downpour because of all its extras. Are we fighting right now, anyways? Uh, North Korea, vaguely. Yeah, North Korea. Boom. Yeah. Alright, where's the jammer? Yeah. Uh. Meow. I think nothing I... can survive okay, that. Okay, I was gonna say, I, I thought we already got rid of the, the jammer, but apparently not. I'm not gonna stop till this entire fucking city is rubble. Yeah. This is the only game outside of Homefront where North Korea is the bad guys. I'm sure there's a ton. Yeah, there's others. Uh, Crisis. Yeah, Crisis, the main bad guy, is, is North Korea. The first one. Yeah. Until the aliens show up. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dr. Homicide, two bucks. You have no idea why it's stuck on third. Yeah, it, yeah, it does say third. Holy shit. You got a broken fucking account. <laughs> Does it do that for everyone you donate to? Alright. I'm gonna blow up their not Vegas. Uh, is, is the new Silent Hill 2 complete remake still a, a thing? I hopefully, ho and hopefully it's not shit. Yeah, it's it's still it's still happening. They they learned from their mistakes and they're finally taking my advice of shut the fuck up. Yeah, seriously. Just shut up. <laughs> Make the game good. And then oh God. publish the fucking game. Maybe it's just a really good building. It's North Korean. <laughs> and? I only donate to you. Oh, God. It's going to be shit by the, by the Bloober team. Yeah? Uh, Orion, Orion for dollars. Is this my third donation? It doesn't say so. 
I don't know why it, it just him is stuck on third donation. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. PS5 only? Is it going to be PS5 only? Uh, I thought I thought uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta was going to be PlayStation only, but when I was uh, looking up this, when I was looking up Mercenaries for the stream to, to buy it, uh, I saw Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta on the store, and I was like, oh, apparently not. <laughs> there we go. I uh, watched some of the two videos about Tom before uh, on their channel, but I'm interested in, in the interview with the guy, Sihi. Uh, also, uh, when I do a rewrite, I like to work with what I'm, I'm given and twist it, in, uh, twist it to make it work. Uh, I find it to be fun writing uh, exercise to work within the limits. Yeah. Yeah, but still. You gotta, you gotta work within the limits, because you just fucking wholesale anything else. It's like, well, yeah, I could also just make yeah, I mean, shit I just up. Coming up uh, yeah, I was just coming up with a whole new story. But the problem is, from the get-go, Homecoming was just a bad idea. Interesting. Because it just ended up being a rip off of Jacob's ladder. Yeah, it was. It was just. Uh, that, that's the thing, though. That uh, saying it's a rip off of Jacob's ladder is discrediting, discrediting Jacob's ladder. Because a rip off of Jacob, Jacob's ladder would still be fucking good because Jacob's ladder is just that good. It has that much fucking potential there. Jesus fucking God, collapse! Well, I hit it with a nuke. I am in fact gonna hit it with a nuke. Are we in a safe distance from this? Probably. God damn! Hey! There, there we go. Verify the Ace of Clubs. Hey, I smell bitch in here. You smell like shit and piss. Not gonna lie, this if this motherfucker's alive. <laughs> Maybe he's in a helicopter. Bye bye. No, he ain't. Not no more. Jesus. Holy fuck! fuck. That motherfucker had a goddamn nuclear bunker. Ugh. You know what? Points to that guy. Tough motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, I said I need to get the MGS uh, collection for Volume 1 soon. Yeah, I played through MGS 2 and I didn't notice any issues when I played through it, so... Uh, they they are still updating updating them to make it a better experience on things like PC and whatnot. So hopefully that keeps going. The strongest soldier. Mm -hmm. God's funniest man. Come on. Get down here, you assholes. Mm -hmm. so this is this is the day my dad uh, married my mom. I asked him why are you dressed like that at the wedding, and he said your mom invited me to the wedding, but she didn't tell me who she was marrying. <laughs> That's funny. I do like that he is just dressed in a fucking polo, though. Yeah. Is that only North Korea, or can we uh, can we be African warlord? It's about North Korea. There we go. General Song remains at large. The dramatic capture tonight of Ace of Clubs Dong Hwang Bo by A and Yay. Yeah. Must be yeah. considered a huge victory for the Allies. In Thank you, reporter lady, that looks super unsettling. <laughs> MGS Delta Thoughts? Uh, I really hope it's just Metal Gear Solid 3, but with MGS 5 gameplay. I love that they didn't even try to, like, space out the subtitles to match how no, she's talking. No, not at all, bro. It's just fucking text walls. <laughs> just fucking walls, dude. Also, I, I do like that that uh, building that we just blew up uh, does look exactly the same, except for the fact that the the buildings that we destroyed are still standing behind it. <laughs> they, they did the the North Korea thing and set up like fucking face. <laughs> Morley, he looks like an Oblivion Elf. Yeah. Favorite Ratchet and Clank? Uh, it's either going commando or uh, going commando or up your arsenal. All right. Oh no, I, I you know I take it back. It, it's tools of destruction. Tools of destruction. Tools of destruction is very good. Yeah. Uh, WMD. Uh, the one that did the DMC video I sent you, which is probably crap. Uh, I found her Silent Hill video is good. It's interesting to find out what a lot of Japanese fans are really obsessed with Pyramid Head. And they wanted them in other games. And Pyramid Head is a really, like, iconic mm -hmm. monster. Alright. Favorite Dragon Ball Z episode? That's hard. Uh, the, uh, the fight between uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Majin Vegeta. Like, the actual fight itself. Very fun. Alright, let's go, let's go, uh, Very well choreographed. Mafia Bros. 
How many people do I have to kill? <laughs> Thoughts on Signal? It's a fantastic game. Very, fantastic very good. Game. Yeah. Oh god. We played it on stream. It's good. Uh, yeah, Creative Permanent Head regrets making him because of how popular he is. He only regrets it because people hop on Twitter every single fucking day and ask him about Pyramid Head. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I, I get annoyed whenever someone pings me with the same shit, like, more than once. I can only imagine how what it's like to wake up every single day and get 30 fucking messages asking you the same question. Yeah. It's to the point he needs to just make, like, an FAQ or something. He has! Oh, God. He just links people to a thread sometimes whenever they ask him on Twitter. That fight's mostly filler content, too. I mean, it's just a fight. Like, it's literally just them fighting. This is well, really well choreographed. Good. Can't wait for that dumbass Fable game. Oh god. That dude's actually pretty chill. Oh yeah. Yes, he is. What do they ask about Pyramid Head? Uh, probably the basic bitch thing of what does Pyramid Head represent? Yeah. At which point he goes, it's just a cool character that I made. The game developers would be the ones that could tell you what he represents. <laughs> I will say, I understand Masahiro Ito when he says he regrets it. Now ask Lolly if you've seen the newest uh, Berserk fan animation, please and thank you. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Seeing the 80 bajillion things people post about Spider-Man 2. Oof. That's on Android 21. It's alright. Mm -hmm. But bro, Rex is the less of his kind, bro. Forget Angela. She, she forgot she existed, chat. Yeah, seriously. Clank's a, a mystic timekeeper robot, bro. Listen, okay, it's it's fucking anthropomorphic animals talking in space. They can get away with literally whatever they want. I don't know who this Rupert guy is, but he I know Sergei said by what Uh, 2024 Uzumaki will hopefully be good. Uh, I imagine so. It's been in development for a long fucking time. Seriously, like suppose us to needless risk. <laughs> Molyneux is a liar, but damn, is he a good designer. Uh, he won't get any any more work because everyone just calls him a sex pest. I don't I don't actually know what the alle allegations uh, for the sex pest thing are for anymore. I also don't remember. I, I like was he the guy that like looked up tentacle porn and got outed for it? In which case, like no, no, that wasn't no. him. Twenty twenty three marked itself as the worst year for me, and uh, didn't care about the other years. <laughs> but I lost my grandma. Yeah, losing people sucks. Joe, sure, do you like Andrew Garfield Spider Man? He's okay. I don't like his outfit very much. China Bros, I'm here to help. Doesn't he drink piss? I don't fucking know. See, that's the thing. No one can, no one can actually tell me what the fuck he did. Yeah, everyone just kind of makes up stories about it. It's like, nah, he, he's just a sex pest. It's like, he's a liar. I don't know about a sex pest. Like, these words matter. Yeah. Listen, the worst thing he did was, was over-promise, under-deliver. Okay, you're calling him a pedophile. <laughs> Remake of Ronin Kinshin still came out, right? Yep. I just pissed off the allies. Something yeah. awful. It still came out, but uh, guy Ronin Kinshin guy just got caught on, like, a really fucking weird technicality. Yeah. And only because he panicked. And not gonna lie, the, the amount of people who pull that as a card to, like, shit on Oda or something like that, you yeah. kind of tired of it. Yeah. Dong. It's like, yeah, we get it, Roroni Kenshin guy did time. But if you read into it, it's, like, bad, but it's still kind of a case yeah. of, dude. It, it's, it's bad, but it was quite literally legal whenever yeah. he had it, so he's not breaking any laws. If, if he literally just kept the shit, it would have been fine, but he tried to pawn it off on other people and be like, I, my hands are clean. Yeah, it's like, nah. No, no, see, now now you're you're moving material, my guy. Now you're committing a crime. It's still, uh, the Rony Kenshin remake is still going. I thought it uh, took, a, took a break. Yeah, it did. Okay. The Kenshin guy isn't Oda anyways. Nah, uh, Oda, Oda, like, kind of covered for him. Yeah. I would have covered for him and said he should be welcome back to uh, to Monk after he got out of prison. Yeah. Which your opinion on that can vary. 
Yeah. Some people say it's the manga equivalent to Roman Polanski shielding, uh, no, uh, Francis Ford Coppola shielding Roman Polanski. Yeah, but what Roman Polanski did was highly illegal. Yeah, <laughs> what Roman did was just flat out worse. Yeah. I was like, highly, highly, highly illegal. Uh, what, what the Ronin Kitchen guy did... Uh, not while, great. While, moral, while morally de deplorable was very literally not illegal at the time. Until until a very distinct period of time, yeah. Yeah. It's a thing of, like, it's not great, but at the same time, I'm more tired of the people who want to use it as a gotcha. Yeah. Because it's always people who are like, well... It's it, always people using it as a cudgel. Yeah. It's a cudgel to be like, if you like anime, manga, whatsoever, you're a pedo. Yeah. And it's like, well, didn't you hear about the Roni Kenshin guy? It's like, yes, I did hear about that 20 fucking times. Spore was by EA. Y yeah. I mean, hell, I'd have more respect if people uh, brought the Galco guy more. Because yeah. it was oh, a yeah. case where he flat yeah. out was trying to import child I was porn. Like, he was just outright trying to import child porn from fucking Germany, I think. Yeah. I don't like Germany. He is also out, and he's back posting on Twitter. Really? Yeah. And it's a thing where, like, I... How quickly do you get out of that fucking prison for child porn in Japan, bro? I know, right? It's like two years. He, he had to have rolled on somebody or something. But like, They do have that rule. They yeah. do have that rule. But, like, uh, it, it's a thing where he, I saw, like, a picture of Galico, and I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, I wonder who posted. And, like, I click on the account, and it's only one big pin tweet. And it's like, yeah, I know I did something horrible, but I hope, uh, I hope everyone can forgive me. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? And I found out it was literally the, the fucking official Galco uh, author. Season 2 of Galco is going to be fucking wild, bro. Yeah, right. It, it, makes it, it makes it, like, particularly very weird because of the the manga that he made yeah because it was literally just a high school girl uh, exploring her sexuality <laughs> what do you mean he imported child porn dead face for five dollars i uh, just realized it pa it's past midnight so it's officially my birthday happy birthday spit on him he wanted attention uh also i i don't think it was just like oh i'm importing one child porn book i think it was like a fucking crate yeah it was, uh, it was something crazy <laughs> an industrial sized crate of child pornography being brought to the galco chan's author author's doorstep which spider-man la had the best suit oh live action spider-man uh honestly sam raimi yeah he had the it, best one it, it had to be sam raimi or the very final tom holland one uh, the one they show at the end of the movie. Yeah. Because I, I never got a really, really good look at that until Spider-Man 2, and in which case, it, it looks good in Spider-Man 2. It was a two, maybe it was a two-for-one deal. Yeah, see, he, he saw child pornography. Uh, he didn't realize it was it was a book that he was bulk buying. With, the, with, that, with that price, he thought he was buying a, a, a whole last child, chat. Was it a comically large spoonful of child pornography? <laughs> What a, what a topic of conversation to bring up on your birthday. <laughs> Shindol makes some crazy H stuff, but apparently he's a, he's a really chill, cool dude. I don't know. Uh, he was the guy that did Emergence. I, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, there's like several artists that I would like to meet uh, that mainly just do porn, but they just seem like really chill people. Yeah. Uh, one of one of the Japan bros uh, does, does, does porn shit, and uh, he, t he took a picture of his kiosk with one of his people that was helping him. Yeah. And uh, he got a, like, a fucking a deluge of messages being like, Oh my god, is that what you look like? Oh my god, you're super hot. And he's like, this is my friend. <laughs> I am a man. <laughs> uh, uh, he does a lot of like uh, Persona stuff. It's, oh, it's okay. per Persona, Chie, that shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Chiba Toshiro. Oh no. Uh, Kakami Hirotada and ZOL are good artists too. Uh, most fucked up parts of emergence was suggested by I shit you not a pregnant woman who was a staff member. Yeah. Uh, we we've talked about it before, chat. But women, they just fucked up in the head. Oh, they really are. That's the thing. Uh, earlier today on on like the cure stream because people were pinging me about it. So uh, they made her aware of the the Ryan Gosling pedo theory, <laughs> and and I had to explain it where I'm like, yeah, it's the idea of like. Women fantasize about getting with older men, specifically teachers, and guys wanting to, like, solve mysteries and be cool. And she flat out was like, oh, yeah, that is the thing. Yeah. Well, like, it, 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 it's based off of a, uh, I think it was either a Lego or a Mattel uh, research paper that was published. And essentially, what it said was, uh, whenever boys are playing with toys, Batman, like, whenever a kid's playing with a Batman toy, Batman is still Batman. Yeah. You know, he's just doing Batman things. You want to be he, Batman. He, no, no. He's just, he's still Batman. He is okay. Batman. Uh, and he's there. He's cool. Uh, whenever girls are playing with toys and stuff, 
uh, they're projecting onto him. Yeah. So like, oh, Barbie, no, I am Barbie. You know. Yeah. Barbie yeah, isn't yeah. Barbie. Barbie is me. Literally me. Uh, literally me. So whenever you have this content that are, that's made for women, that's like incredibly fucked up, it's because they're projecting themselves into the into the main character's role. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to a guy that like, oh, I watch Drive. I like Drive. It's a cool movie. Ryan Gosling was good in it. Uh, a woman would be like, oh, I like Drive because I empathize with Ryan Gosling. Yeah. So unironically, the literally me thing fits a woman more than it does a guy. <laughs> and yeah, one hundred percent is a fucking true. Like it's it's one hundred percent fucking true. I had I had you that tweet from the Persona fan artist uh, who had his friend cosplaying Kawakami helping out. I don't know what you're talking about. I refuse to not use this gun. I don't it's care. Cool. To... Do the do the do the cheat thing again and get the Tommy gun. I want to see if it has like a different effect when it hits people. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it like, there's like no a... there, like uh, these crazy over the top weapons. There's no way it's just a fucking like yeah, a, yeah. a thing. It's like a million dollars, so you have to use the, the money cheat yeah, again. Which one was the money uh, cheat again? Let me find out. Uh, right down, left, up, up, left, down, right. Okay. Right down, left, up, 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 left, down, right. Ah, fuck that one up. All right. So let me try it again. Uh, Here, let me... There we go. Uh, Right, down, left, up, up, left, down, right. Yeah. Oh, not airstrikes. Yep. Uh, I think the street, street, street Sweeper is just a handheld version of the minigun you get from Choppers. Okay. Oh, okay. I will actually replace the artillery machine gun with that thing, because that sounds hype. Uh, boys wanted to be someone, Batman, That's Superman, etc. Uh, else girls wanted to, or else girls wanted the Lego to be them. Also, the literally meme meme was initially making fun of women, until men realized how much they have in common with Patrick Bateman. <laughs> men projected themselves onto the always meme meme because they're weak, chat. Hey. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I, I was going to say, might as well keep the street sweeper and the, the fucking lock-on rocket launcher because the pistol's just not doing good. It's okay, just the range is a little too low. And I get why, because it's basically a grenade launcher. Why can't you be friends with friendly with the North Koreans? You sort of can. You can disguise as them. Yeah. Uh, during key moments in the story, you can actively help them and fuck everybody else over. Yeah. So if you turn on the most fucked up hentai to a girl, she'd go to the female MC uh, about to get the the worst treatment and go, this is me. Yeah. I mean, we know that's true. Yeah, the, the fucking, the lolly blackmail anime. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Kodama no G-Con, something like that. Yeah, Kodama no, no G-Con or some shit. Holy shit, it actually is the minigun. Yeah. Uh, that 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 is just women projecting themselves onto the role of the little girl that's blackmailing her teacher. Yeah. Sick women. Sick. All right, let's go. Not like me, I just fantasize about beating women, chat. About stuffing them in trash bags and dragging them around in the backyard. I'm a good guy, chat. You sure have a lot of Japanese internet wins. Yeah, let's, let's not bring the Japs into this, okay? <laughs> you know why Bloom was so common in the 6th and 7th gen games? It looked pretty. It, it, it made looks, it look more like movies, and yeah. that's honestly something we've been chasing forever. It made it look more like movies, and it disguised a lot of the limitations. <laughs> I say disguised with massive air quotes, because a lot of it just ended up emphasizing a lot of them. Yeah. Like, if you play Fable 1, oh god, it's like a fucking, like, grenade <laughs> launcher. Listen, Lolly, just because all of my Japanese friends are underage doesn't mean anything, okay? Just means I have ready access to arts. No. Film grain, lol. Yeah, I fucking hate film grain. Yeah, film grain, all, film grain always looks bad. Film grain has only ever looked good on one single facet of video games, and it's fucking fog. Looks like shit everywhere else. If someone could distill a, a fog effect that just looked like video game fog, but with a, a film grain over it, and that was what the fog looked like, yeah. it'd be great. That'd be awesome. One of the most fucked up revenge porn mon was they uh, and they read them at school. Oh, 100 percent. Like I said, if if you want to understand the the sociopathy of women, read their fucking material. Yeah. Like there's a reason a, a like a majority of mangaka and uh, and like porn artists are women. Yeah. They are twisted little puppies. Yeah. The tone and atmosphere of this game is pretty unmatched. It's fun. It's oh, just it's pure fun. Oh yeah, I can hear it. It's the fucking minigun sound. Mm -hmm. uh, they kind of do the film grain thing good, uh, uh, kind of good, in The Wrath of Malachi. Uh, uh, 
I mean, just want every character to be them. Mm -hmm. Re redo of healer, then contrast with your typical Josai manga. Oh, it's God. the same thing. It's, it's the same yeah. fucking thing. <laughs> Women, women look at the at the the female character getting the hot iron rod shoved in a pussy and yeah. scream literally me, while juicing up the bar. Uh, should I get something practical or hobby related with the late, uh, with the last of my Christmas money? Or Ralph, you're finally awake. Bedroom couch, sofa, square pillowcase, home decorative throw pillow covers, eighteen by eighteen inch for only in eighteen ninety nine. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's not forget that killing stalking was a thing that women were in love with. Yeah. Motherfucker, uh, I was talking to, to uh, the one chick that is like our semi-boss at work, and uh, I, I don't know how we got onto it, but the subject moved to serial killers, and she goes, Oh, I, 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 I felt so bad, I empathized with Ted Bundy, and me and Weebro gave her that fucking... Ooh, the, the fucking the guy from the B-movie face, the, the Patrick Warburton, the, yeah. like that. And, and then we started dogging on her. Uh, and then we brought up uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. She's like, oh my god, I felt so bad for Jeffrey Dahmer. He just needed someone to be there for him. And I was like, I, I was like, man, fuck all the victims. They're dead, right? Yeah. I don't care about them. I can't fuck them. And she's like, she's like, I could have changed him. I was like, no, you'd be dead, stupid bitch. That exact mentality is what the fucking Ted Bundy movie with Zac Efron yeah. is about. Yeah. It's literally about that. And it's it makes it very clear the main character is a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. I literally just fucking, I literally straight up said, No, he'd be fucking dead, you stupid fucking idiot. Boss lady, no. <laughs> stupid whore. This is why you end up in stupid situations. In Far Cry New Dawn, Film Brain uh, fucks with your vision at random during gunfights. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, it's never looked good. It's always been something people rush to turn off as fast as possible. Yeah. Ted Bunny raped and killed an 11 year old. Jesus fuck. Yeah, he was an evil motherfucker. He was just bad. Yeah. Like, he is just a bad dude. Yeah. I can fix him. <laughs> I can fix some famous last words. Yeah, the, the worst thing the worst thing was, uh, you know, she was talking about Jeffrey Dahmer. She's like, I, I you know, I, I could help him, you know, he just needed someone to be there for him. Someone that would that would have been there more than his, his dad would have. And me and Weaver looked at each other and I was like, he was gay. He preyed on gay men. He doesn't care. He would have killed you for... He, he doesn't care. Like, quite literally, he would have killed you for fun. Yeah. I turn off motion blow. I turn it all off. I hate any right. post-processing effects. All right, so I am 95% sure this is going to work, and it's going to be super cool. No, sweetie. You can't fix him. Yep. And I just, I just assume all women are like that. A lot of them. Just... Until I'm proven wrong. Yeah. Someone, someone, a someone, someone needs to ask Kirsch uh, or Pippa or whoever if they think that they could have, they could have, if they were there for Jeffrey Dahmer or Ted Bundy, if they yeah. could have prevented that. Ask it exactly like that. A a ask them. You know do you what? think okay. if you were there for Ted Bundy, do you think you could have helped him? And if they say yes, they're fucking stupid and they're fantasizing. All right. I, I know. I know exactly the the way to to describe the issue. So, if anyone has ever watched the Francis Ford Coppola version of Dracula, uh, that specifically was an adaptation of the book, one of the closer adaptations mm -hmm. of the book, and the idea behind it was to merge it with Harlequin romance novels. Yeah. Famously, Harlequin romance novels were romance novels specifically aimed at women. Yeah. And a key plot point of said romance novels, well, not romance novels, of fucking the movie, is Dracula discovers his wife has reincarnated into the wife of Mia. Uh, I think that was her name. I don't remember her fucking name. Keanu Reeves' wife. Mm -hmm. uh, and intends to turn her into a vampire and take her back to Transylvania and they could be together forever. Uh, in the movie, Dracula murders her best friend by turning her into a vampire, so Van Helsing and his buddies have to kill her. Uh, kills a bunch of people, kidnaps her fiancé, and tortures him for months, where he is almost eaten alive by vampire women, and he had to break out. No, and Keanu's just built different. Yeah. Quite literally, he built Diffie. Yeah. Uh, he built for a different movie because he ain't acting in that one. <laughs> oh, he did. He flat out said he didn't want to be in it. Yeah. But uh, then also had the, you know, he did the whole voyage of the Demeter, killed everybody there, did all these things, killed all these people, turned her into a vampire, damning her to hell if they yeah. did not save her. And she is like, no, but I actually do love him though. It's like, no, you don't. No, you do not. <laughs> 
The entire movie is quite literally uh, woman I can woman. fix him, though. I it is literally, him. I can fix him. It's like, no, no, you cannot. You are my woman, and you will come back to my castle, and we will have long, passionless sex before you ever see another vampire. No, I can't even, fix him. She even tries to seduce fucking Anthony yeah, Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. Now, Grant, I think that was just being drunk off vampire transformation. Yeah. Serial killer creepy out the most. Uh, for me, it's Ed Gein in the skin suit of his mom. Uh, none, honestly. It really wasn't that accurate. In terms of other adaptations, it was one of the closer ones. Because a lot of them just did not give a fuck. Yeah. Because, I mean, in all fairness, Dracula's kind of a big... It's kind of a big story. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot going on with that one. I like French for, uh, Francis Ford Dracula. Oh, yeah, the Coppola Dracula film is probably the best one there. Uh, mainly because he... he he did it less as a Dracula mo movie and more as a uh, like an homage to filmmaking techniques. He did yeah, it, he yeah. did everything as uh, as classic as possible, which is great, honestly. Yeah. And it works. It's good. Yeah, you you feel it. You you feel it when you watch it. Which favorite Hunter Hunter arc? Uh, Chimera Ants up until the very end where that really started dragging. Uh, anime especially. Anime really started dragging. Yeah. Um, other than that, not gonna lie, I like the Hunter Selection arc. It's just a classic. It's just fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I really like Chimera Arc. Chimera Ant Arc. Yeah. It introduces a lot of fun characters. Yeah. It's not perfect, but goddamn, the good moments are fucking good. Yeah. You're getting to see what all these, these like, teacher characters do. It's really yeah. nice. Finding out in the, the arc after that that they could have solved that in a weekend, yeah. but all the stronger ones didn't care. Yeah. Like, they did, in fact, go... Like, That's they, not they, my problem. They, they established that, like... The only reason they didn't kill Miriam as fast as possible is because the stronger ones were like, why would I waste my time with him? Yeah. And they built Miriam up as a fucking god. So so hearing, like, uh, Hisoka and Killua's brother go, why the fuck would I care about that douchebag? Yeah. Well, like, uh, I also I also love the the preamble that uh, the old man gives Miriam yeah. right before he, he launches, right before he sets off the fucking nuke. Yeah. Well, what I love is what, what Miriam says, like, oh, I was never going to win. Yeah. Like, yeah, mankind's just going to kill you. Man, mankind, mankind is the perfect killing machine. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's metal. Fucking great. Couldn't get into Hunter Hunter. I mean, it's just shown and stuff. Partially to York New City, but Chimera Ant is my favorite. Yeah, the problem with the quote unquote problem with, with York New is it lacks the proper closure. Yeah, it just kind of. Deliberately, it's to set up like Crollo coming back and yeah. stuff later on, but still. It's a thing where it doesn't really feel like it has an ending for good reason because they come back yeah. over and over again. I, I was gonna say the the thing that sucks is like immediately post what got animated is when the really 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 cool stuff yeah. that starts coming out like Crollo, uh, Crollo and Hisoka fight. Yeah, the the Crollo and Hisoka fight is fucking hardcore. And I, I love the fact that Hisoka went out of his way to murder a, a member yeah. and, like, fucking just in literally the most, crucify the motherfucker in the street and go, you're going to run away now? Yeah. You're going to keep running, bitch? In the most grisly way possible. In all fairness, that guy was a fucking dick. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they're all fucking asses. They're all, they're all yeah. fucking, like, criminals with terrible rap sheets. Yeah, they were murderers. They were mass yeah. murderers. That was a that was, uh, fucking, uh, uh, what's his face, this whole thing? Yeah. Uh, Blonde uh, kid. I don't remember his name. Yeah. The, the one that Irishman fucking despises. Yeah, uh, not Killua, oh, jeez, fuck. Killua's my favorite. Um, Kurapika. Yeah, Kurapika, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Irishman fucking despises Kurapika. Yeah. He despises I forget, Kurapika I forget why he because they like used him. Kurapika to talk about Nen conditions. E, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, was, it was, it was Nen eyes. conditions. Yeah. yeah, it was Nen conditions because he, he specifically built himself to counter uh, just what's-his-face. Yeah, the big guy. Yeah. Because in all fairness, big guy was invincible. Yeah. Watching good horror movies lately? Not lately. I do have, uh, I do have stuff I want to get through. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting on Late Night with the Devil. That's the one I'm waiting on. Yeah. I uh, recently, I it's not a movie, of course, but I, I rewatched uh, the entire uh, post content series. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I was just jonesing for some just really well made like internet horror stuff, and like that's that's like my de facto. That that's my perfect one. Whenever I think of something online, very good. Wasn't Helsing a continuation of the Coppola film? No. Mm. Mm -mm. No, no. If you mean the manga, definitely no. If you mean the Hugh Jackman movie, absolutely no. Yeah. No, no. Uh, but can someone fix Hisoka? Absolutely not. 
Hisoka's I, genuinely interesting. I, I love that fucking arena fight with Hisoka and Krolo. It's yeah, so it's fucking so good. good. So fucking good. I, I love the fake Krolo, out. Krolo using people bombs is yeah. fucking awesome. I, I, love, I love the fake out when they're going to fight originally just because Hisoka's so fucking <laughs> pissed. He's so pissed he wraps all the way around to not even being angry. He's like, we're yeah. getting out of here. We're leaving. We're, we're leaving. What? Hop in the car. We're leaving. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking good. But the fact they are will the fact they were willing to be like, okay, you actually get the fight now. It's like that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Bungie, come. Yeah. Uh, Late night with the devil looks interesting. Yeah, for sure. I want to watch it. No fucking like they said, uh, Shutter's gonna have it, but they're not fucking releasing it. Mm -hmm. Farm girl or Southern Bell? This question's dedicated to a friend of mine. Why not both? Farm girl, because she knows how to milk. I will not elaborate. <laughs> I was about to ask if I can fix some shits exclusively with white women, but nah, a lot of black girls love gangsters. Yeah, it's women in general. It's yeah. just women in general. There we go. Azoka is my favorite character. No, uh, no puede de ternis. Yeah, Azoka's great. Uh, you know, I especially love. Okay, three diamonds. Uh, I especially love the fact that when. When it starts dipping towards the more darker, serious arcs, they let him be, like, more of a character. Mm -hmm. uh, that that was always the part I thought was kind of cool. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they're mad at me. They're really mad at me. Lolly. It's so cool, bro. It's so cool. Uh, so you got the street sweeper, Lolly. It's just business. It's just business, bro. Yeah, I love the fact that they, they let Hisoka be more of a character. and Because he first shows up, he's just kind of the, the main bad guy. Not not the main bad guy, but he, he's the guy that every time he shows up, it's like, oh, no, it's him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that they build on him more and more to the point of, like, he's just genuinely interesting. I love the fact he, he joins the spiders just to fuck them over. Yeah. Like, because the, the spiders' whole thing is loyalty. It's like, oh, we're in this together. We're one big gang. And he's like, I am here to kill you all. I don't fucking care. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on the Greenblood manga? I've never heard of it. Uh, chat, thoughts on Hawkwood? <laughs> Obligatory. Bye-bye. Uh, thoughts on New Season of Goblin Slayer? Uh, I haven't got there yet. No, I, yeah, I was going to say, I didn't even know there was a new season. Yeah. I'll probably watch it on my own. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I did not like the first season of Ahsoka. Uh, I ain't watching that shit yet. See the Steamboat Willie went the uh, public domain? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse and the one that came prior to that. Uh, no, you cannot use Mickey Mouse's white gloves because he did not have yeah. them yet. You need to wait like another month for that. Aqua's fantastic. It is. It is. Uh, yeah. I particularly love... Uh, I, I, I love camp prostitutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Nineteen ninety nine, except for Greed Island. Uh, Lolly and them haven't seen the nineteen ninety nine version. Uh, Not all the way through. We I, watched the uh, the reboot. I was gonna say I I, I watched the I watched the nineteen ninety nine version, and I whenever whenever I was getting Irishmen into it, because really it was just to get Irishmen to watch it. Uh, I was like, all right, if I do the 1999 one, it's going to take us 10 fucking years to get through it. And then we're going to have to, we're going to have to do the 2011 one anyways. Uh, so I was like, fuck it, just do the 2011. Yeah. Let me think about it. Naming your shotgun being, uh, marketed as a police weapon named the street sweeper might have been poor optics. I never got to use it. He just wants to fight. <laughs> That's on Boy and Heron. Have not seen it yet. Yeah, haven't seen it yet. And Ahsoka pulling an infinitely more metal uh, version of what Anel did was definitely a highlight. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I always liked him teaming up with uh, Killua's brother. Just because Killua's brother, I, I can never remember that motherfucker's name. Uh, I don't know if I even yeah. know, but... but he he was fucking mean. I mean, he yeah, was, was a, just a fucking dickhead. Yeah, he was just a son of a bitch. I, I, I love all of all of Killua's family just fucking beefing with Killua. Yeah. And then you get the you get the the uh, Killua's gonna be a good big brother arc. Yeah. And and it literally just equates to nah, I can kill all you motherfuckers here. You're gonna learn. And it's like thank you, Killua. I appreciate that. I appreciate you asserting your dominance. Nanika didn't deserve any of that shit. No. She didn't deserve any of that fucking shit. She was perfect. I loved her. And I, I love, I love that like, she was born into the perfect family for for her her fucking yeah. ghost powers to to make the the worst possible impact they could. Oh yeah. In which case, literally everyone that she's surrounded by is a selfish cunt except for Killua. <laughs> it's fucking great. 
How do you balance her uh, pounds? How do Illumi, you... yeah, that was it. That was that yeah. was his brother. Yeah, yes, yeah, his brother. Uh, how do you balance out her powers? Just don't be a selfish prick. Like, what, what are you talking about? I just play with her and treat her like a human being. Yeah. No, that's impossible. You got some trick to it. Lock her in the lock her in the in the bad parenting chamber for another thirty years. Mom. And in all fairness, she definitely bent the rules specifically because <laughs> Kimmel asked. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I love when they're they're chasing him down and like uh, she's basically intentionally fucking uh, the the maids and stuff over. Yeah. Like grandma, give me your fingernail. Yeah. <laughs> she's great. Is that grandma was a? Tough she bitch. was a fucking trooper, dog. She also turned into a bike. Yeah, that was weird. No, to be fair, that that was her weird ass nin condition. My nin condition is I can turn into a bike for other women to ride, but just women. My my fucking sister in Christ. Uh, just don't be greedy and you're fine. Yeah, yeah, literally. Don't don't wish for anything where you know the value is is fucking high. Mm-hmm. Because I'm trying to remember, uh, the one maid asked for like a million dollars. I'm trying to remember what happened to her. She got crushed by a million dollars. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it was it literally like she died. It's something like that where uh, the the value of the the wish results in a tragedy of equal value. Mm -hmm. And if you don't wish, they <laughs> fucking kill you. <laughs> equal is in very very like <laughs> yeah, very strong quotes there. I wish for a million dollars. Oh, honey, your life is worth much less than a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. I think the insurance girls of Trigun, Meryl and Millie are great. Yeah, I wish the new Trigun anime was good. Yeah. I remember Pat mentioning that this monkey's paw could have solved Chimera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The, the next arc after that is literally talking about how they could have solved the, the Chimera Ant arc a lot earlier. They just did not care to. Yeah, like, you don't even need a monkey's paw. It is yeah. literally just... Hey, literally anyone inserting themselves into the situation before before it got to where it was yeah. and taking the one or two days to solve this problem yeah. could have prevented literally everything from happening. But in the world of Hunter x Hunter, the strong don't give a fuck. Yeah. They, they make a point that the old man could have killed Miriam, but he didn't want to and was trying not to kill him. Yeah. Which is why he got fucked up. Yeah. Will you roll for Lancer's Cathatch on stream? I already did. I did two multis and uh, uh, two singles, and I didn't get her. And I'm out of court, so I can't do no more. It wasn't just her life, it was her family, too. Yeah, I said it was... You, you have very, very big bad prices if you if you want to make wishes like that. Yeah. I stated, don't be a selfish bastard. Just leave the little girl alone. Play with her. Yeah. Just play with her. When she asks for ask, uh, what you want, just say, uh, give me, like, a ladybug. Yeah. Give me a ladybug, give me a hug, something like that, you know? Because even even the entity itself is not evil. It It is just a child. Yeah. Uh, I, I forget what Killua does in the hallway, like, at the, at the end of that arc. Yeah. But that that's, like, the the calm, that's like the best part of that arc is, is that hallway scene. Yeah, where he's, like, crying, talking to her, yeah. yeah. I think he literally just begs her to, to save Gon. Thanks and God bless you guys are fun to listen to. Amen, amen chat. Amen. The Seven Honors basically just fuck you, fight me, sort of. Doesn't sound right, Shampoo? Great. Yeah, very good. What happens if I ask for a bag of chips? You will lose your fingernail. Something like that, yeah. Why? Because fuck you. Gone's gone. Gone is back. And the best part is, uh, if you... It even goes so far as, like, if you wish... If you don't even wish, it will kill you. It's like oh, you yeah, have yeah. to make a wish. Yeah, you have to make a wish or something. No, I I think he opted out of out of wishing for for Gon to come back because it would have killed most likely the little girl. I think it would have uh, killed him, and he said he was okay with that, and uh, that's why I didn't want to. But the uh... yeah, Gon is in the hospital. Uh, Ying is f fucking searching a, a boat right now. Yeah, everything's just down. Everything's just bad right now. Kurapika's uh, acting acting as a bodyguard for a bunch of people that he uh, can't stand. That he can't stand. Uh, the princess lady that we all that we all got to know in the city arc, she's fucking dead. 
Chrono, yeah. Chrono literally killed her off screen because fuck you. Because I guess nobody liked her. I don't fuck. Yeah, like apparently a bunch of the people reading the manga didn't like her, and it's like, what the fuck? I liked her. She was great. Why can't y'all let cute people be cute? You gotta go kill motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Star and Stripe getting nuked in My Hero? I haven't, I haven't kept up in My Hero at all. No. All I know is the Stars and Stripes is the American superhero, and uh, yeah. how could you not see that happening, Chad? Uh, all, all I know about my hero is the guy riding it has grown increasingly hateful of his own fan base, and he's doing shit out of spite. Yeah. And honestly, I cannot Good blame for the guy. Good. I can't blame him. Good for him. Well, like, he's, he's a huge fucking, uh, like, a absolutely insane fan of, of Western comics. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think that's fantastic. Like, that is, he, he comes from a genuine place yeah. of, of passion. And not just passion, but knowledge for the medium to the point where he actively structured certain arcs around, like, uh, the comic industry. Yeah. Good, you found him. Yeah. And it's purely the fact that, like, people are just such fucking inconsiderate douchebags. Yeah. I mean, it's not even anything that's up like for debate. People people know this is a problem. You saw what he did to the muscle bunny lady. Every time everybody, every time someone, uh, one of his fans looks him in the eye, he tears off another limb from Yuriko. <laughs> the point he had to give her limbs to rip off. <laughs> oh, little bunny girl missing an ear, an arm, and a leg. Oh, that's crazy because you still have one of each of those left. Please don't hurt bunny girl. Please. Uh, you see, uh, Ghost Girl manga. You see the Christmas chapter? Which Ghost Girl one? Uh, Chick That Can See Ghosts. Oh, Miracle? Yeah. I, I, like, it was the same, it was like the same name, but I, it's not spelled the same, uh, as the Bunny Girl, but yeah. Uh, Miracle. Did you see it? I have not. Uh, it was, uh, it was the guy with the Nekomata cat. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, he, he, uh, lost his four-leaf clover. Uh, I'm sorry, he lost a four-leaf clover, and uh, and she found it and brought it back to him. And uh, he's like, oh, yeah, my wife gave it to me, said it would keep me lucky, but, you know, she passed away, and I I just, I don't feel the same ever since she passed. And her ghost is literally just fucking, sta like, standing there, keeping him company, trying to keep him happy. And she's like, yeah, I, I think your wife would, would be extremely happy with you. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah, I was like, yeah, this is a nice heartwarming chapter from this, like, horror comedy manga. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it had heartwarming moments even all the way back in the, the anime when we watched it. Because the whole reveal of the, the cat guy is that yeah. uh, people think he's like going around murdering cats and he's actually like a, he's a really, good guy. Yeah, he's a really good guy. That sucks to, it sucks to hear about poor Hirokoshi. Yeah. yeah, but Bunny Nugget can still kick my ass. Oh yeah, Bunny Nugget still has one good arm and leg. Is it gone? No longer the MC of the manga at this point. Also, poor Hirokoshi. He just wants to uh, sit and draw superhero mangas in peace. Yeah. Uh, yeah basically, uh, main character of the manga right now is kind of Kurapika. Yeah. Which it, it's Kurapika versus the Phantom Troop. Yeah. Which is kind of weird, considering how Hunter Hunter started. Like everyone, everyone, everyone fucking tagged like tag teamed out. Like, yeah. Like Killua went back to his family. I think. Gone is fucked off. Ging is going to the fucking, uh, yeah. the, what the fuck, is, what's the name of the island? Uh, uh, Dark Continent? Yeah, Ging is going to the Dark Continent with, uh, the rat guy, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. Wait, everyone is fucked off doing their own thing, and unfortunately, the manga author is literally in crippling pain yeah. to the point where he couldn't even get out of bed for a, a seriously long time, and was teaching his wife, the, the chick who, who uh, made Sailor Moon, uh, was teaching her how to draw on his art style to carry yeah. it on, if just in case he can't, he he ends up dying before it gets to out. The point he he's the if I remember right, he's the guy that made the the hypothetical endings in case he died. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was see vagabond did hypothetical endings, of course. Um, All right, who have I pissed off the most? I don't remember. South Korea. So I'm it might have been him. South Korea. Author of Hunter Hunter. Fuck yeah. Yeah, he, he has been, he's had health problems for a long ass time. He literally, literally, he was at a con, like, on, on top of, on top of, like, the manga just taking forever for him to put out anyways, he was at a con one day, dropped a pen, bent down to pick it up, uh, and he fucked up a nerve in his back. Yeah. Uh, he fucked it up so bad that just, like, existing causes him pain, and he can't, he can't move his back in any way, shape, and or form. So he has to have, like, his drawing pad set up in an incredibly specific fashion. Yeah. So that he can draw without causing any discomfort. 
Poor motherfucking guy. Oh yeah. I, I remember as soon as he got out of the out of the hospital, uh, he tweeted out everybody what was going on. And he's like, he's like, if you're young, please do everything in your power to take care of your back. And I was like, oh god, I'm gonna be crippled when I'm when I'm fucking forty. <laughs> yeah, he came up with four hypothetical endings for Hunter Hunter. Yeah, there, another one did that too. Like uh, basically, once Miura died, a bunch of people kind of panicked and said, yeah. oh fuck. Yeah, well, that, that was kind of the, the realization to them of like, oh, shit, right, yeah, this can happen to us. Yeah. I think One Piece is, is ending soon. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been ending soon for like three years. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think One Piece is, is ending somewhat soon. Uh, we got the, essentially, what will most likely be their One Piece Kai. <laughs> yeah. How optimistic of you, Shota. One of these days, my legs will get blown off in a, a tragic firework accident, and I'll look like Cotton Hill Chat. There you go. It won't be my back. It'll be my legs. Gotta take something so God will leave the rest alone. It's true. God believes in equivalent exchange, but it's not your your equivalence, Chat. It's his. Oda's been saying 2025 for a while now. Yeah. Which makes sense. Hey, One Piece is weekly, right? As far as I'm aware, it's weekly. I think it is. I don't read One Piece, but I assume it is. Uh, that, would, that would make the fact that he writes himself into a coma every other week make sense. No, yeah. Mr. Garrett, I'm sorry, Colonel Garrett. I assure you the CIA has no ambition in this Oh, I also saw the, the Burn the Witch prequel movie came out. Oh, yeah. Uh, which is cool, because I really, really like Burn the Witch. It's fantastic. It's pseudo-weekly, has constant breaks. All right. Okay. Well, you know, even even if it kept up uh, mostly to weekly, that's still like decent amount of chapters for each fucking uh, you know year. Yeah. Ideally, if he goes every single week, uh, you know, for one year, that's what fifty-two chapters. Yeah, something like that. No. You have to kill fifty men for sure. One was all I needed. Is is it One Piece on break now? I don't fucking know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't follow One Piece. Just what I needed. A simple contract. I remember when All My Goddess ended. Uh, I read that shit since I could read, and, and it went for 25 years. Jesus, fuck. So now we gotta fuck over the Chinese. Good. I love the fact that we just constantly work for one side and immediately fuck them over. It's great. Uh, this arc right now is the third to last arc. It hit Island, then should be uh, uh, Elbaf, and then the final arc. Okay. Well... Yeah, I was like, I was like, he, like, Oda has his shit planned out properly. Yeah. So, you, you know the, the, like, rage bait posts of people who, who like, uh, perpetuate the myths and stereotypes of, like, Mongols or just fuck them over, like, yeah. yours a pedo and shit like that? Well, I found out about the, the Kubo one where, like, they accused Kubo of being a Nazi. Uh-huh. And I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? And it's literally because in Thousand Year Blood War, all the Quincy's are meant to be like German. Yeah. And it's like Uberman shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and the fact that uh, Ichigo has a swastika, and it's like, you mean the fucking like Buddhist symbol that's on him? Are you yeah. fucking retarded? Well, they did the same thing to Ace from One Piece. Yeah. He had the Buddhist symbol on his back. And that shit got fucking changed real yeah. quick. And it's something to where... It's literally just Westerners are, are too ignorant and stupid. Yeah. You are literally just too stupid. I mean, that, that's something where you just flat out throw it in their face. Like, are you a fucking racist retard? Yes. It's yes, like, they you, are. You don't understand that there's been more cultures that use that than fucking Nazi Germany, you dipshit? Yeah. Nazi Germany literally stole it, bro. Yeah. I mean, that, that's something where it's like, yeah, don't be afraid. Whip out the fucking race card. Because it's like, at that point, it's like, well, you know, why are you immediately assuming it's Nazi shit? Are you, do you not know where that comes from? Yeah. Same thing happened with Tokyo Avengers had the manji symbol. Yeah, like the the manji thing is something that Japan uses quite often. Even even yeah. in the modern day, they, they use it quite often. Because Buddhism is a major part of Japan. Yeah, it's it's just a fucking symbol. You know, uh, it's it's only dumbass Westerners that have this fucking boogeyman effect uh, for the fucking swastika. Yeah. And you giving it the boogeyman effect just means that you're gonna propagate it because a bunch of fucking dumb teenagers are gonna. Yeah. Sit there and draw it all over the place, and then eventually they're gonna get groomed by some fucking fed neo Nazi. Yeah. Remember the the other uh, hyphenated word with Aryan? Indo Aryan? Yeah. Yeah, right? Ichigo had the manji on his bankai since Soul Society. Yeah. Yeah. Because as stated, it's all about fucking samurai shit and Buddhism. Mm mm mm. Alright, 
So where are the rest of the fuel trucks? Uh, uh vaguely that way. Yeah. Whew. We're gonna change the man park too. It's great so far. I enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, it's really funny. It's really really funny watching like uh, a bunch of fucking people getting into shonen for the first time with like chainsaw yeah. man and stuff. <laughs> Uh, and, and like, they're, they're getting to this part where modern day shonen, like, usually try to do something unique. Uh, so, part two of Chainsaw Man is like, eh, we're gonna have Chainsaw Man without Chainsaw Man for, for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're just gonna have to fucking deal with it. And they're losing their fucking minds, because they can't, yeah. they can't comprehend that something could have subtlety. Like... Hey man, you, you're you're building up this really cool, awesome character. Uh, what if he has to exist without his superpowers? Yeah. Whee! Well, it, it's something to where like uh, once again, like the Berserk Rage Bait shit. They're trying to shit. They're trying to shit on and go like, well, Chainsaw Man handles it so yeah. much better. And and it's something to where I, I point out on Twitter. It's like their definition of mature is yeah. literally just blood and gore. Yeah, well, if it yeah. covers anything else, uh, they will freak the fuck out. Yeah, like uh, chain, like they're they, they're they're mentally children. Yeah, like quite literally, they're 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 mentally fucking children. Yeah, because I mean they they actually gaslight themselves, and I, I I hate the term gaslighting, but that is the that is the actual fucking term. Uh, into thinking Chainsaw Man has never had fan service or like sexualized women. It's like the entire idea with Makimo, she was like, "Hey, Denji, if you do this for me, I'll suck your dick." Yeah, quite like, literally. I was gonna say Denji's whole thing is being manipulated by women like his entire fucking life. Yeah, my man's a my man's heart, chat. Yeah, so it's a thing where it's just fucking ridiculous. It it, it it speaks to the the damage our children have. Yeah, yeah. Listen, okay. Uh, they don't want to be subjected to to sex in their manga. All right. They already yeah, see right. it. They already see it on the TV. They already see it in their books. They already see it in their schools. They already see it on the news. They already see it whenever their uncle comes to their room to rape them. Yeah, right. You know, they don't want to see it in their manga. Uh, it's called uh, Hakin Cruise. They hook cross. All the, also, the tribes folk are getting annoying. Showing fans are man children. Yeah. Yeah. Kaboom. Kaboom. Pedowood calls it a sex scene. Yeah. So we pissed off China enough that they're actively sh they're they're actively hostile. Go ahead, launch your nuke, asshole. I got nine hundred and seventy four of them. Showed it. Their likes are public. Yeah, yeah, and it's always lolly. Or, or actual kids. There's, there's three times. Did there's, you, did you there's three see? times where I checked someone's, someone's likes, and it was just actual children. I was like, oh my god, you're a fucking actual pedophile. Yeah. Did you see the the fucking Twitch streamer dude who went on like the the mm -hmm. massive shit show? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, they jerked off on stream. Yeah. Well, he he did it as a bit. He had his pants on. No, the, the more damning part is the fact that he was following a bunch of lolly artists. Yeah. Some of them exclusively lolly, lolly artists. Yeah. Not even a thing of like, oh, they do other stuff and lolly, sometimes lolly, lolly porn artists, yes. It, it's literally just that. Mm -hmm. uh, and on top of that, uh, <laughs> there was a clip of him talking about why it's okay he can like actually thirst over fucking Venti from Genshin Impact. Yeah. Who, who is like a 15-year-old little femboy. And it's like, well, he drinks beer. It's different. He's a 15-year-old femboy, but his, his, his soul is 2,500 years old. Yeah. And it's like, dude, this is not a fucking cope, because uh, this mm -hmm. basically means if you give children beer, they're now mature. Yeah, which, I mean, uh, that is that is uh, absolutely... Uh, Sounds a hell of a lot worse. That is absolutely the mentality some of these people have. Yeah. Talking about DSP? Nah, but he did jerk off on stream. Uh, talking about, I think it was Tecatone or something. Yeah, it was Tecatone. This guy in actual lolly kind of thought it was ironic. You don't, you don't ironically go around liking a bunch of pictures of naked, <laughs> naked, uh, yeah, drawn it's children, like, yet. It's like, I mean, he, he yeah, was like either, about it. You, you either, you either full sell our lolly con or you're not. You're forgetting about the canonical lesbian harem my character had in Chainsaw Man. Hmm? I decided to start Miracle Chan again and looking through the chapter to where I, I stopped before I saw this bonus panel. It's cute. Yeah. yeah. Miracle Chan's just nice. It's just a good story. Cough. Mm -hmm. Nanners, cough. cough. <laughs> no, I mean this channel. It does not fucking mean anything. Oh, yeah. This debate is so fucking dead, it's impossible to take seriously. <laughs> nah, the, the, the lolly thing's a, a filter. Yeah. It's a filter because, as stated, this whole debate's so fucking fake. Every True. week, someone who bitches about this is out as a pedophile. I, I was going to say, as, as, soon as, as soon as someone goes, um, actually... Lolly, uh, you go through their I'm likes. Sure. Oof. Yeah, it's like it. 
At, at, at what point are we allowed to go? Does any of this mean a fucking thing? Mm-hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, not quite cheat, yeah. but use the resources available to me. Cheat! Is Nanny still streaming? I don't fucking know. As far as I'm aware. He's one of the big dogs over at V Shoujo. Projection's a hell of a drug, yeah. Really is. Hey, I'm on my way. That was a joke then, uh, joining YouTube talking about Lolly. No, it's a Twitch streamer who made a giant Spurg fest about Lolly and about how if you like it, you're a fucking pedophile. Then it came out he was following a bunch of explicitly yeah. Lolly hentai artists. Uh, and then had, like, clips of him thirsting over underage Genshin Impact characters. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck was the point of this? And it wasn't, like, a thing where he was fucking with people and it was all a joke. It's my good boy points. He, he was, like, boy points. yeah, he was, like, blocking people en masse and, like, spurking about it. It's mm -hmm. like, what, 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 what was the point of any of this? Yeah. Uh, he has a long history of being a piece of shit. Uh, knew him from his earlier days playing Arknights and then abandoning the community to prop him up and shout on them to play a Genshin. Yeah. Happens a lot. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like a, that's why I despise the the whole character thing. It's like, no, some of these people are just assholes. Um, main complaint with the anime adaptations, the way they did the ghosts, they really missed out on how creep they are in the manga. It, it's kind of hard to to yeah. do like a low budget uh, horror. Yeah, type you can thing. you can tell it's low budget. Yeah, well, it's it's mainly like you need the budget to be there to put a shit ton of detail into the ghost because that's what makes them yeah. scary. Yeah, uh, if you look at um, uh, fucking what's his face. Uh, Junji Ito work. Yeah. The, the stuff that makes a lot of his his shit spooky is he puts a lot of detail in certain things. Damn, cutting the tree just like the troopers during World War Two. That's on me. I shouldn't have flown that close. <laughs> flew, flew, flew too close to the sun. Tectone's All right, try that shit again. Uh, Tekatone is friendly with Neander. That shit's super hypocritical. Yeah. Yeah. Neander's left v, v Shoujo. Oh no. That's what I mean. Like. I, I, like, how are we supposed to keep taking this shit seriously when this keeps happening? Yeah. Uh, Moment someone complains about lolly stuff, the clock starts running until they get out is having the worst skeletons in their closet. Yes, yeah. quite, quite literally. Like, it, it's unironically a meme where when people start complaining about uh, really sex shit The in fucking gen Xenoblade guy! Yeah, really sex shit in general. It, it is literally the Xenoblade guy thing. Um, like, sex shit, in, sex shit in general, but uh, specifically lolly stuff is what I always pay attention to. Yeah. Because uh, it's it's super projection. Without you, fail. You, without fail, you get out of it as, as having some, like, fucking underage kids. Yeah. You're just a fucking pedophile. There, there are impossible standards that you know no one will ever live mm -hmm. up to, so you can get free like uh, free likes on Twitter. Yeah. And you forget that your own shit is also very much available to the public. Thanks, Rusky. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, Xenoblade, the Xenoblade thing was literally uh, someone shitting on, on Mira... Uh, or sorry, Mithra's yeah. outfit, being like, "Oh, she's a kid. This is this stuff's pedophilic." And if someone literally just pulled up his fucking sex offender registry, and was like, "Oh yeah, pedophilic, huh? You fucked a fifteen-year-old." Yeah, and dude wiped all presents off the internet after that. <laughs> it's to the you don't recover from the pedophilia. It's to the point that Xenoblade fans now just like every single time someone tries to take a swipe at the game, they pull that up. Yeah, for good reason. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It is very good. It's like, oh yeah, keep talking shit, motherfucker. I'll search your history. Yeah. For good reason. It's like, oh yeah, we we have to hear this shit from you people. Mm -hmm. Best name played waifu, Poppy. Puppy. Which version of Poppy? <laughs> that's the that's the important question. As small as humanly possible. Small bean Poppy. So apparently, Bamajer from Jackass died to spike fentanyl. Holy shit! Look that up. Okay, okay. I thought someone I thought someone posted it in the Discord, but it, it was the it was the guy getting out as a pedo. Let me find it. Wee. January 6th, the Entertainment Weekly. Let me pull it up. Jack Star says he was put on a ventilator on December 9th. Uh, uh, Bam Majera revealed that he was hospitalized with a serious case of COVID, completed pneumonia, five seizures, unable to breathe on his own, placed ventilator on December 9th. Uh, I was pronounced dead on December 8th, uh, he told Stevo. Well, that sounds more like that's just, you know, a story of what happened to him during COVID. Let me let me look this up. Yeah, no, it was it was he he uh, got COVID, got pneumonia, had a bunch of seizures, uh, and was pronounced dead on the eighth, and they revived him on the ninth. Yeah, they're talking as if he's still alive. Yeah, he is still alive. Because he he told Stevo, he called up Stevo. Oh, okay. Didn't see anything about uh, didn't see anything about fentanyl though. 
Uh, just finished Robocop yesterday, one of the most fun games I've played in ages. Did you play that one yet? Yeah, Rogue City. It was good. I liked it. Uh, definitely has a thing with the end game where if you did not spec an armor piercing, you are fucked. No, those PMCs are tough. Shoot them in the dick, idiot. Dum dum. You can, but you gotta you gotta crunch through their armor to get to their dick. Oh no, they learned to they learned to guard their cocks. Oh yes, a Xenoblade hater. Typical pedophile behavior. The test never fails. It doesn't fail, chat. That's why I started taking stock of it. It was yeah. it was oh it, if you complain about Lolly. The clock starts, you are a pedophile. Yeah. It's just a matter of when you get outed as a pedophile. Yeah. 100% of the time. This this Twitch streamer guy, S8, he has uh, massive red flags. The, the shit with Venti, I was legit like, okay, he's going to get outed for some shit this yeah. year. Uh, Dark Homicide for $2. Uh, Pat hates Bam Margera, though. I, I don't know why. Well, Bam Margera has a lot of character flaws. He, oh, yeah. He, like, he's, he's a piece of shit. Pat from Supergirl's Friends? Uh, yeah, like... Bam, Bam's a piece of shit. He basically ruins his own life and blames everyone else for it. Like, they have cod pieces of Kevlar? Yeah. They they, they start wearing, uh, like, bulletproof vests and shit like that, and you gotta crunch through their armor. Mm -hmm. Pat is no better. I, okay, like, Pat isn't doing fucking fit and all. Wait, uh, didn't he complain about Lolly too? Nah, it's nah. more the fact of, like, I think there are absolutely people involved with Lolly shit where they're in it for... For a fetish. For a fetish, and for not great reasons... And it's a thing where because the people screaming at them are pedos themselves, it is just possible pedophiles screaming at people who are also possible pedophiles. Mm -hmm. So the entire debate is like, what's the fucking point of this? I've only seen one side get outed. That's all I need. That's all I need. Just saying, yeah. And it's a thing where, where it yeah. really amounts to, why are we even having this debate? It always ends the same way. Yeah. My, my, thing, my, my thing is, uh, since Lolly is just fucking drawn shit, it doesn't really yeah. matter to me. Uh, but I don't, I don't consume lolly shit. Yeah. The, the most I did was, uh, I read through the, the Prisma Ilya manga to get to the cool stuff. Yeah. It's still ongoing, but to, to get to some of the cool stuff, and I was like, oh man, this shit is cool. God, I hate that it's wrapped up with a bunch yeah. of fucking lolly bullshit. I, I like lolly stuff whenever it is head pat shit. Yeah, yeah. Head pat shit is, is what I like, because I, I, I just like cute shit. Yeah. I like that, uh, what was it, the Travis touchdown... Move it. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, my big thing is like, aren't we fucking sick of people telling us what we can and can't watch? I always have been. Aren't, aren't we? Aren't we fucking sick of people like censoring shit and saying no, 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 yeah. you can't like that or you're a bad person? It's like, because the minute you start censoring that, it it always turns into the fucking pure spiral. If you well, you oh, can't yeah. have this, you can't have that. They're going after fucking Berserk now. Yeah. They're going after Berserk saying it's too violent and it's too edgy. It's too, Once again, that fucking word, edgy, it, it edgy, doesn't, edgy. It doesn't, handle, it doesn't handle sexual content with any maturity. It's like my brother in Christ. You don't know what maturity is. No. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it depicts it depicts a child being raped, therefore it's bad. And it's like, uh, it, it does a pretty damn good job yeah. of showing that it fucking affects that child. Yeah. For his entire life. So, so it's like, why the, why the fuck are we still talking about this? Why, why do people still take this shit seriously? Yeah. Head pets with what, Shota? Head pets with what? Nigga, I only got two hands. hands. I only got two hands, chat. Why South Park? Why South Park is still relevant? A video essay. Ah, shit, we lost out of the bonus. Ah. We are really losing out. Who the fuck is killing these guys? I don't know. I don't see anybody. Oh god, was it us? No. <laughs> the lone soldier. The lone soldier rushes in. I had to take that fucking missile. <laughs> you hold your arms out in, in a Christ-like pose. Arms you take the missile. Open. You take the missile. Zach, you see Zack Snyder on the rooftop nearby. He's zooming in. You motherfucker. <laughs> Hit Pat with my fucking fist, chat. Sniper, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. I don't see one. I forgot this is where I had left off on the manga. I caught up and put it on hold. Yeah. That's the, uh, I was gonna say, yeah, that's the, the, the Tory Gate one. Yeah. There we go. I have an uncle, la lol, lamau. Uh, I convinced that the lolly panic is an arm of the octopus that has, uh, that is everything sexy that straight men like is bad that's going on. I don't know. Don't know. I mean, it definitely is part of the, the fuck Japan thing. Oh yeah, there's like just absolutely. flat out the 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 fuck, J fuck Japan faction. That's where you get unseen Japan and all that. Where yeah, he is a literal paid shill by China to shit on Japan. Yeah, there's a lot of them. A yeah, a lot, a lot of them. It's like I, I am absolutely convinced there's a chunk of that. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, did you watch the the not safe for work special from from South Park? 
No. Okay. Uh, I was kind of hesitant going in because I kept hearing like, ah, it's it's okay, but it doesn't go as hard as as, uh, as I want it to. No, it goes pretty fucking hard. It just goes hard in different ways than what people thought. Did they just have a special? Yeah, they're not safe for children. No, I mean, like, didn't they just have a special before that? Yeah, they yeah, did. Universe, yeah, Jesus, fuck. Yeah, they, they're on contract to do a bunch of these specials. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. But basically, uh, it talks about, like, influencer culture and influencers telling kids. And they make a point of, like, the influencers barely fucking know who they work for. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, they, they barely know who they work for. Oh, fuck, that hurts. Uh, and they're just spouting talking points they don't even believe in, but they're paid to say. And they're literally sold on auction to the highest bidder. Yeah. And it's like, holy shit, if that's yeah. not exactly what fucking happens. Oh, yeah. Well, like, there, there's that one guy on, on Twitter who is a, an influencer uh, literally paid by the Biden administration to push shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, and Brooklyn Dad. Uh, not that one. Uh, oh, there's another it, one? There's a fuck, there's a fuck time. Uh, oh, at yeah. the beginning of his presidency, he invited like 30 influencers in, yeah, and, yeah. and essentially those are all the ones that they, that they go with. Uh, they're all employed by the same company that uh, does all of Disney shit, which conveniently is also the same company that started yeah. uh, Moist Critical and Asmund Gold and those types of folks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, he like people constantly call him out on. It. I don't know why it's just this guy and no one else. Maybe it's just because he gives them a reaction. Maybe because it's like you know uh, uh, smoking gun proof. Well, I mean, like like I said, like everyone else is is known for a fact and is are in the same videos of, oh, okay. of shaking the president's hand and everything as he is. I think it's just because he gives them a reaction, maybe. But uh, like they they like they constantly fucking bully this guy for it. And he's like he's like no. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm not paid to push any of this. And he gets like community noted. And it's like, here's a photo of him shaking hands with the president. Yeah. Uh, his, his company that he's employed by is this company. They have a direct contact with the uh, contract with the U S government yeah. to, to shill the shit that the U S government wants them to shill. Yeah. It's like, dude, it, you, it's you, like my you brother are, in Christ, you're losing. <laughs> yeah. You, you are caught fucking smoking gun with this shit. Yeah. Brooklyn Dad was caught mostly publicly. Uh, then there was that strange one doing his nails at the White House. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the lolly debate, one side are pedos and the other side are possible pedos. Mm. Many such cases, chat. Many such cases. Welcome to the internet. Sup suspiciously wealthy pedophiles. <laughs> I just want to read manga, and I don't want some faggot-ass moral like superiority douchebag who's also a pedophile to tell me what I can <laughs> and can't read. I don't want anyone pulling the superior card over anyone, because I, I promise you you're a piece of shit. Exactly. If I had a bunch of dark shit in it, but the rage baiter who tried to put uh, Chainsaw Man against Berserk said it's okay when Fujimoto does it, because when he did it, it's actually part of the plot. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's those bullshit standards where it's like, motherfucker, you don't even know what that means. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just make up shit. Yeah, you're just making it up. Just make up shit. I will continue to read Maiden Abyss despite the goofy nonsense. Maiden Abyss is just good. It's just good, Jack. I know Angel Cop has gore, but the series good uh, story-wise. It's okay. It's basic conspiracy stuff. The the conspiracy involved, I'm not going to spoil, because that's the fun part. Hmm? What's your opinion on Rebel, on Rebel Moon? And don't don't like it, Chet. Don't. I will not watch it, and therefore I don't like it. Uh, that's the state of the world today, being morally lectured by hypocrites. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the frustrating part. You can't even call it out because someone will go, "Oh well, that that says who you are." It's like, yeah, it fucking does. Yeah. Rebel Moon sucks. The end. The funniest thing about Rebel Rebel Moon is uh, it looks like it's gonna be a bomb and it's just shitty in general, and uh, it was immediately followed up by. Excuse me, uh, Mags Visaggio is doing the comic version of, of Rebel <laughs> Moon, and I was like, wow, a failure for a failure. Yeah, Saya, Saya's perfect. I love Saya, she's great. Uh, remember that Ministry of Energy guy who cross-dressed and defended children being prostituted? They don't want you to remember. Yeah, right? Yeah. Abyss. Unfortunately, I already know the twist of Angel Cop. Yeah, Netflix yeah, forced okay. PPG-13. I don't believe for a fucking second it was actually forced PPG-13. You want to know why? No. Why the fuck would they? I was going to say, I don't think they care for it to be P uh, PG-13 or not. Yeah. yeah. Plus, something being PG-13 isn't going to be the, the fucking make or break on something yeah. being good. Yeah. Zack Snyder is going uh, two for two on bombs. Yeah. Honestly, I'd say more than two for two, but... The bonus? Mm -hmm. uh, you guys actually know any uh, troons who make good art? Uh, art? Not particularly. I, I don't know very many artists. Uh, well, I don't know very, anyone, any, very many English artists. Mm. 
Who knows? Netflix has messed with other projects before. Yeah, but like I said, but why I, I don't would it think, be PG thirteen? Uh, I mean, I don't give a shit about PG thirteen. Like, I, I don't think it being PG thirteen would significantly impact the quality of what's represented. Ugh. I found out that uh, Sobi Asabase had finished its manga, and after I finished it, uh, I found out that the manga has started another manga following side characters. Uh, Nearly end of uh, Aso Asabasi, sorry, Asobi Asabasi, uh, it was clear that they were enjoying following the side characters more than the new manga, uh, sorry, more, the new manga has so many Yuri overtones, lol. Asobi Asabasi was fun. It I was. I that one, that was great. Chat, I love my, I love my anime, anime, uh, lesbians, chat, they're fucking great. Don't get yourself killed, you ready yet? You, you fucking retard. <laughs> Shoot me point Blake, asshole. I dare you. I remember the nuclear waste disposal faggot of the Department of Energy who did leather puppy play fetish and came to work every other day wearing, uh, yeah, every day wearing, uh, whatever it was in a suitcase that he stole that morning? Yes. Yeah. Someone who really, really, really should not be employed by the government, but they just think it's funny. Yeah. That's what I think. I think they genuinely just thought it was funny. Yeah. And name your favorite Asobi Asabasi girl, the main girl. I just like how fucking stupid she is. Man, girl's good. Uh, I love the the blonde monkey. The, yeah, the one they thought could speak English and she didn't know a fucking word. Yep. Just because I look white doesn't mean I know English. You fucking racist. Oh, I see. I have three thousand more bullets in this thirty-round mag. <laughs> Olivia, the stinky man of taste. I see. I just like how fucking stupid she is, Chet. I can only imagine showdown lolly in a stereotypical rich person room with pad tears and wine while they play whatever. Mm. <laughs> Curious. Good job. Yes, I quite enjoy it. I quite enjoy it. Chat, you uh, fag. I promise. I had if I had several million dollars, Chad, I would I would make a, a copy of the Winchester ma Mansion, but I would uh, I would make I would have all the walls right, and they just be like the same walls. But on top of the, the, the walls that are there would just be the padding from, yeah. from Insane Asylum walls. Yeah. Every wall would be like that. I'd have padding on the floor, too. Whenever people whenever people would, would uh, come in, I'd have like a little button I can press to open the front door. So the, the door opens, I'm at the top of the stairs, and I'd, I'd just fucking do a... Uh, <laughs> I, I My just, knees! <laughs> My knees are buckling! I, I do like a fucking uh, a flying drop kick off the top of the yeah. off the top of the stairs. If, yeah, if I if I had like fuck you money, uh, the kind of money where you never have to worry about a goddamn thing the rest of your life. Not gonna lie, that'd be hard. But it'd probably be something to where it's like. Uh, hmm. Lolly, I'm still waiting on a Selby also bossy review. Here he, he he did. No, I haven't done that one yet. Ah, I thought you yeah. did. No, it's on the list. Like that. Well, I, I do plan on talking about that one, so it's good. But, uh... Yeah, if, if I had, like, fuck you mind where you never have to worry about uh, work and the rest of your life and all that shit, uh... I would hire a film crew just to do different variations of, like, a, a, a Kanye West power music video. Yeah. And they'd have to make a new one every single day. Like, every day. Every single day they have to film a new one. To my exact standards, and if they don't succeed, one of them will vanish. Oh, oh, oh! No, you know what? If I had, if I had fuck off money, I know exactly what I would do. All right, I, I would hire people to to kidnap randos. Okay, <laughs> this is not going to end very well. It's going to end very terribly. Uh, I would hire people to kidnap randos. All right, and I would psychologically torture them with games games of Russian roulette until they are conditioned. They are conditioned to to with no fear pull the trigger. All right. Uh, and then I would have people that would that would uh, hijack TV stations, all right. And I would put I would put these randos on these TV stations, and I would have them reenact the the one news guy that blew his brains out. Oh yeah. And it would just happen. It would happen regularly one week, every week. It, but it'd be a different it'd be a different channel every single week at random. I'd, I'd spin a board. I see your smoke. I'm at the LZ. <laughs> she was watch too one much every solo. twelve hours for Kanye. <laughs> If I had fuck off money, I'd invest. If I had fuck off money, I'd pull all my money out of the out of the out of the stock market. <laughs> Crash that shit, chat. Sir, this is a fucking Wendy's. God's children are not for sale, Shoda. Well, it's good because they're meeting God <laughs> in approximately one week, and then the week after, <laughs> and then the, the week, week after. after. That. All right, there we go. We got four diamonds. Good job. 
Funny, I'm using Kanye's power from the intro to my Amagi Million Brilliant Park review. <laughs> I just buy a castle. Man. All one man should have all this power. With no survivors? Chat, they're not supposed to survive it. They shot themselves in the head. If I had not fuck off money, I'd make a country for men like Kuroino. No, you wouldn't. Cowards! I'd make a zoo maze. The cells would open and close it at random. Ooh, that, 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 that does... That is pretty cool. I, I would make a I would make a replica of of the island from Jurassic Park. Yeah. Uh, but it, but instead of instead of like going out of my way to, to make dinosaurs or anything, I would just get a bunch of big game animals, uh, and I just drop I just like parachute people on top uh, like uh, in into the island. <laughs> that'd be that'd be pretty good. And then then at that point, uh, you just fish tank it. You just you you just have the you just have the a bunch of cameras set up all over the island with text to speech on them, right? So like you, you have a camera in the kitchen Not and they're yet. trying to hide from the tiger, and you like you let someone donate like a hundred dollars uh, to to do the text to speech, and it's like, hey bitch, there's a fucking tiger on the other side of the door, <laughs> and like they they just constantly spam the text to speech to piss off the animals, and and they. <laughs> La, now, la, now la, they're la, 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 la. now they're they're hunting people with anger in their hearts and not just <laughs> not just for food. Uh, see, I, I would do I, I would do the the Jurassic Park uh, island idea, mm -hmm. and I would like hype it up as like, no, I actually made dinosaurs. It'd be so fucking cool. I actually made dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, get people to go there, and they they walk around the park and and they buy their drinks and they buy their overpriced sodas, and it's just people wearing like dinosaur masks, but we, but we still treat it super seriously. It's like, no, it's a fucking dinosaur. It's a fucking dinosaur. Are you gonna tell anybody? You don't fucking tell anybody? And we just beat the shit out of them. Total drama. Jurassic Park. Freddy1217 for five dollars. Oh yeah, Sun Freedom is on Prime right now. Hashtag God's Children are not for sale. It is a pretty okay movie. Mm. It is something your grandma would probably love. Yeah. Uh, if I had infinite money, I'd just buy the Lego Death Star. It's a childhood dream of mine. And recode my sister uh, and I build it. And record myself, myself and my sister building it. No. Uh... Nah, fucking. Well, uh, what is it? Um, there was a there was a fan game for Jurassic uh, Park being made. It was like called Jurassic Park Operations or something like that. Yeah, it was something like that. Um, and it was essentially just a first person Jurassic Park game that was going to completely remake the entire island, uh, including including stuff that uh, didn't make it into the movie, like the the riverboat section that was in the book and yeah. is in at like Universal Florida or some shit. Uh, it was gonna do. It was gonna do all that, all that shit, and it was very, very, very close to have, have like the first section of the game finished. Um, and then, what's it called? Uh, Universal got a hold of it and shut it down. Oh yeah. Uh, and and they're like, well, Universal's reasoning for shutting shutting it down was this. It, it's it looks too professional. People are going to think it's a it's a real thing. And they're like, well, we have it properly marked everywhere. Uh, and you know I can mark it even even more like it, in all the footage and in the demo that I want to put out I can have a little thing up in the corner of the screen that says not an official product or anything like yeah, that. And like yeah. no shut it down so uh, this incredibly well-made fan project got completely shut down by Universal yeah. uh, and they essentially said yeah fuck Universal we don't care we're just gonna str we're, like right now we're gonna keep making it with uh, uh, because we, we just can't release it we can still make it yeah uh, so we're just gonna keep making it, and then we're gonna release a build of the game that just has all the the Jurassic Park stuff stripped out of it. Yeah. So, so even then, it'll, it'll still be a cool ass dinosaur game. Yeah. You could have just hired them for fuck's sake. Yeah. Well, it's like the, these these companies never want to actually hire people. Yeah. They, they never want to actually do anything with their products. Yeah. They they literally just take other people's I, like ideas for stuff that they're creating. Uh, fund their own projects. They don't hire the people that were doing the previous ones. They just fund their own pro uh, products, and then let people get. God damn! What the fuck even? I'm stuck. Oh no! Uh, they just let them get like. I'm literally floating in the air. I'm stuck. Yeah. They let them get like weirdly far into the process of making shit, and yeah. then just fucking like DMCA them. I, I honestly think it's like a demoralization thing. Like Maybe. You, you'll be too tired to even try to fight it. Yeah. As Wooly said, shut the fuck up. Well, like it, shutting the fuck up doesn't doesn't help. Uh, what you need to do is you need to completely finish your game, uh, guerrilla release it with everything people yeah. need to reverse engineer it, uh, and then obviously you know, you'll get DMCA. They'll take it down, but everyone has what they need to to propagate your thing, and they will. They'll they'll go to websites that don't give a shit. Yeah, and they'll they'll post it there. 
Call it Dino Crisis 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just change the logo and call it Dino Park and sell it as an original IP. Yeah. Well, like, that was the cool thing about it was it was all made in Dreams. Yeah. So if you have a copy of Dreams, it's a PS4, PS5 game that is essentially just, hey, we're, we're a game game dev kit. Uh, and you upload your games to our, our network, and then people can download your games and play them. Uh, that's what made it interesting. Was it was it was an entire Jurassic Park game made entirely in dreams. Is that why Jurassic Park Survivor exists? Man, that, that's what my thought was. Was yeah. the reason it got shut down was because um, they showed off Jurassic Park Survivor earlier this year, and I imagine Jurassic Park Survivor because it was just a teaser. It was no gameplay yeah. or anything. It was just a teaser. The only reason they even had someone make that was probably because they caught wind of this thing, uh, had someone make the the CG to hype up the game. DMCA them, yeah. and then now, now it, you have a bunch of people that are pissy that their their thing was canceled, but they're more than ready to buy the product that's going to come out, yeah. no matter the quality. Even even if it's actually even if pretty, it's dog shit, yeah, even if it's pretty fucked up or because because their second best hope was literally just canceled. Yeah. Dream, dreams is uh, dreams is shut down. Not shut down yet, but it, it's shutting down sometime soonish, I think. Uh, they should do what Freedom Planet did. It was a Sonic fan game for Sega Barged In. Uh, they made their own IP and it succeeded. Now had a sequel in 2022. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, ideally, that is what they'll eventually do. And they might even be in the process of doing it. Mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, I mean, they don't own the idea of a Jurassic Park like a, a thing, you know. No. Amusement Park. Yeah, you can't dinosaurs. copyright dinosaurs, yeah. Yeah, it's like you can't copyright that. Yeah. Uh, as long as you have your own spin on it. Yeah. Uh, remember, anyone remember PlayStation Home? I do. Uh, I thought PlayStation Home was like super cool. Uh, the problem is it wasn't like it. It just it just suffers from the same thing that all those like video game worlds do. Vagina boob. Uh, interesting, chat. Interesting. There we go. Fuck you. Holy shit. Ah. If I had infinite money, I'd have a personalized zoo like Mr. Frog from Smiling Friends. Same. Now to rain down hate and discontent like a motherfucker. I'm making this your problem. Uh, it's just moving servers and not shutting down. They they gave like an end of lifetime for for their servers, if I remember correctly, um, which is just soon ish TM for now until I actually remember what the fuck it was. Dinosaurs are open domain element fail. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, because they're they're just animals. If only Media Molecule is making a cinematic walking simulator. If only, chat. I saw the fucking the thing for the new Life is Strange game that's coming. Yeah. And I was like, man, this looks bad. I got uh, going through my movies to get list and recoloring all the anime stuff so it stands out and I remember to get it. So it's like, what happened to Project Spark? Well, Project Spark was like an official thing though. If I had, if I had fuck you money, I'd want a castle like this. Is that just missed? No, but I'm going to call it missed. Jurassic Park Trespassers is the one true Jurassic Park game. I don't care if it's broken. It's neat. If I fuck you money, I would set up a special zoo. It's advertised with the cute small animals you can pay to have private time with uh, with to extract zoo files into the private room. And hello, it's a lion. You think they can't You think they can't breed a lion, chat? The danger turns them on. Yeah, like a fucking booty warrior situation where he was there yeah. for the lions. Uh, is the Sackboy platformer any game any good? I don't know, but maybe? Okay, what is... There's a new Life is Strange, yeah. Okay, yeah, destroy it. Who buys these games? People that don't normally play games. Uh, this one is about, like, a... It, okay, this one is Color Out of Space. It's, okay. It, it, it's, like, Color Out of Space because there's a meteor that crashes, uh, crashes down on Earth, lets out a, a mysterious hue, and infects, like, four teenage girls. And then it flash forwards 20 years, and then that's kind of where the trailer ends. Hmm. And I was like, I'm not excited for this at like in any way, shape, and or form. But it kind of, like, the only reason it's going to stick in my brain is because it pissed me off when I was like, that's color out of space, man. Fuck you. Yeah. I was like, that's a scene from, from that's a scene, like, outright from the color out of space movie. Like, fuck you. Also from, uh, what's that fucking movie about the kids who get psychic powers from a, a media? Uh, Chronicle. Yeah, Chronicle. Yeah. It's also literally just Chronicle. I don't like Chronicle very much. I don't like Chronicle because the main kid's a cunt. 
I mean, I don't care if he has a reason to. Uh, okay, no, let me let me. It's, let me, it's let not me. even that it's a reason. It's that that's the point of the movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and the point of the movie is is built on a shaky premise that uh, makes me dislike your movie. Uh, yeah, the kids are just a fucking a cunt the entire time. Get in the uh, fucking chopper! Get in the fucking chopper! Uh, the kid's a cunt. Yeah, and, get the fuck out of here! Uh, you can't just excuse it by, well, his dad was mean to him. Well, yeah, no, they, they made it clear. He's got a lot of other issues. Mm -hmm. That's just tr that's just Chronicle. I can totally see the fat girl in the in the trailer for it turning evil. Like they okay, so uh, they had like their their uh, you know government mandated ethnically diverse crew. It's a black yeah. chick, a Hispanic chick, a white girl, and a fat white girl. Uh, and like it, it caught me off guard because I I don't particularly care if anyone uh, is fat in any any particular piece of media, even if like it's very clearly for a token thing. Yeah. The problem with it was she was so comically fat that she was like literally two of the other characters put shoulder to shoulder and she would still be wider than them and i was like all right guys it's a little, it's a little much it's to the point you this can, kid's like this kid's like 18 it's to the point you can obviously tell this <laughs> not, is not even be, 18. She, she, this kid's like 15 yeah you can obviously tell this is going to be like her only thing as a character the she fact was she's fat. yeah she was fat fat and i was like eh. Eddie was mean to me so i'm justified in being an awful person and killing like entire fucking droves of people in Chronicle, the main kid kills the black dude for legit no reason. There's no coming back from that. Yeah, the... <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he's crazy. Yeah, he killed the black kid. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking the kid from Chronicle. I think he's racist, chat. I think he's racist. Thoughts on Paul Buffano? I've never heard Paul Buffano. Yeah. I remember how Fox hired Josh Trank to uh, make a fantastic... Game isn't actually Life is Strange. It's called Lost Records, Bloom, and Rage. Yeah, no, it... When I say Life is Strange, it's just game made by that same studio because mm. it's it is Don't Nod. Uh, remember how Josh uh, Fox hired Josh Trank to make Fantastic Four movie just to keep the license away from Marvel, and he used the opportunity to just make another Chronicle movie in a bad Fantastic Four skin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it went so badly, and the production was so destructive that Trank and half the cast are not allowed to ever rent houses in Louisiana ever again. God oh, damn. Uh, excuse, uh, at one point, they, uh, the abusive parent just becomes just that, an excuse. Yeah. Like, li like literally. Well, yeah, I said, the, the whole point is he's a, he's a fucking lunatic. Yeah. Well, he, he's a piece of shit, but people don't understand that uh, uh, using, like, the, the piece of shit parent thing does not justify your character's actions. Like, in any way, shape, and or form. And they, they kind of use it to project. And it's like, oh, well, mommy and daddy told me no one time and I held that... I took that personally. I took that personally. All right. Is that the brap gun? God, I hope it's been making dumbass fucking uh, sound effects this entire time. It makes jet noises. Ooh. Trank and the cast were very bad renters and caused a fuck ton of property damage because making the, that movie did bad things to their heads. Oh my god. Best lesbian game is Signalis. Okay, it's it's a pretty good one, chat. It's pretty good. Wait, the main kid killed the black kid. I thought it was just freak accident during a lightning storm. No, it's implied that he used his power to use to make the lightning go at him because he wanted him to go away. Yeah, because he he was the one that was challenging him. Yeah, it's unclear if he meant to kill him, but it yeah he did it. It's lightning, of course, it's gonna kill him. You at least heard of Marcus the the Worm Hicks. He's a household jazz name. No, no. Have y'all seen my name, my friend Jeff? I could be Jordan was a black guy, uh, by the way. You can guess why he also played the Human Torch in Fantastic Four. I see. Uh, you know who played Reed Richards in Trank's Fantastic Four? Miles Teller. Yep. It looks like Shota can't rent property in Louisiana. That's fine. I don't ever want to go back to Louisiana. It's a rough place. Mm hmm. Did the signals really need the lesbians, though, with all the Ultra Tour? Why does it need anything? It, uh, it is existing, Chet. Yeah. It's good game. Every aspect of it is good. If you're hooked up on the lesbian thing, then you probably wouldn't like the game without the lesbian stuff. Yeah. Okay. Miles is really good in Whiplash. Well, to be fair, Miles Teller is just a really good actor. Yeah, he's a good actor. Uh, we shall do a South Korean mission. I think we'll call it. Yeah. Uh, he just kind of doesn't always get the best roles. Nah. Like, Reed Richards of Fantastic Four would be a really good role. Would if be. it was a good movie. 
Like, if they if they adapted any Hickman run, yeah, I'm sure it'd be fucking fantastic. Uh, my friend Jeff was the Jeffrey Dahmer movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Uh, have you seen the... Have you seen that there's TCG premiere Flame Swordsman support coming in two weeks? Uh, when they import a fuckton of Earthbound Immortal support? My brother in Christ, Flame Swordsman? Oh, my, I just find it weird to include it. The thing is, the entire story is actually about the, the lesbian thing. Not not to be yeah. like a, a bread tuber, I mean, that quite literally was the entire point of it. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have you have what the story's about, then you have the subtextual stuff of what the story's about. Mm -hmm. And a big part of it was talking about how lesbians were treated under communist regimes. Yeah. And shocker, it's not very well. Yeah. Hear about this... Yeah, someone fucking said the the the, uh, the the fucking goddamn the Dragon Ball Z cereal. I didn't know it was in the it was in a well that has Japanese. No, that's the Mechian, I think. The entire point is lesbianism. Now I'm good. See, right there, it's like motherfucker. Like actually take okay, a step back so, and listen. Okay, so so you're just one of those people. Yeah, it's like dude. In which case, just fuck off then. I don't want to. I don't. You you don't have any space to speak on it then. Yeah, it's like dude. No, that's. You, you are taking it to be the wrong thing because you're yeah. too used to the culture war shit. No. Yeah. When I say it's about I, the lesbianism, I mean it's actually a major theme of the fucking story. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't do that fucking culture war shit, chat. Yeah. It's like, dude, no, that that's you not go, what that means. Yeah, you just go fuck off. Anyone else just getting ad? YouTube just runs ads sometimes, chat. It's actual good story, though. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, for two dollars. Uh, you can't tell me where I got this money from. Yeah. Suspiciously, suspiciously poor pedophile chat. It's an amazing game, yeah. Yes. God, I fucking hate Trump supporters. <laughs> there you go, chat. That's the that's the culture war shit I want. Bring 2016 back. Why do you never want to go back to the greatest state ever? Uh, Louisiana is like, like bodily like he's like 49 on the on the state list chat. All right, no USSR is evil. Don't need somebody to tell me. Well, at that point, why watch any historical movie? Yeah. Like, obviously, Signalis is not historical, but the idea is is interesting concepts explored with abstract means. Yeah. You're not the, you're not fucking playing a video game for a history report, chat. And if yeah. you are, well, I think your parents should have just beaten you in the womb. Just sucked that baby yeah. batter right out. This is what I mean. It's like... Yeah. yeah you're not, you're not, uh, you're not, uh, you're not special or anything. You're not smart. There we go. But the, the best lesbian is man paying attention. Yeah. It's about Signalis. Yeah. Because that's a, a major, a major theme in the story is it's about how lesbians are treated on, well, I guess just homosexual relations in general, on our commie regimes, and not very well. Mm -hmm. I say you're kind of putting the the you're kind of looking a gift horse in the mouth because it's a direct condemnation of a lot of commie shit. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! Got hit. Mm -hmm. Ow. Maybe I'll pirate it. Do whatever you want, man. Yeah, do what you are, but don't don't just write it off. That's how you do shit where it's like, dude, you you are you are fucking yourself out of a legitimately great experience. I don't know. If someone someone's dumb enough to write something off on a lesbian Ow. shit. You think it's probably best to just let them be dumb. Just makes you wanna play it. Yes. You mean fascist because he not go? No, it's directly common it's directly commie shit. Your primary objective. All of the above. That reason I went to Miami, Florida during spring breaks because I just want to live the life of Tony Montana from Scarface while listening to every day I'm, listen I'm hustling by Rick Ross. <laughs> just, just, just fucking overlay songs on top of each other, chat. Just do it. So it's a survival horror roguelike? No. No, 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 it's just survival horror. It's a Silent Hill slash Resident Evil style survival horror. Mm -hmm. I'm not here anyway, it's Louisiana slander. <laughs> Why do they always cuck read Richards? I don't know, man. Just want some context to clear from Misty Thought. Well, that's what I mean. It's like the the whole point of the game, if you if you explore everything, is about the lesbianism. Yeah. It's the, 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 it's mean, not even about lesbianism. It's just about your relationships with other characters. Yeah. Uh, obviously, obviously, uh, the main character's main drive point would be yeah. someone that they had a, a loving relationship with. The problem is the the well is so thoroughly poisoned that yeah, people are just mm. tired of it, and it's frustrating because Signalis is a great bait. It's a great game. I don't know. There's not like. I can't think of very many, very many games that are like explicitly exploring a fucking gay relationship in any way, shape, and or form. Much less through the fucking visage of Eldritch Horror. Yeah. You've destroyed the first battery. I'm tracking the current casualties in the city. 
It's a Resident Evil game down to the inventory and enemies getting back up unless you use matches. Yep. Yeah. It also has some, like, uh, actually good fucking puzzles in it, which is something you never get. Yeah, seriously. Like, survival horror games, even, like, the good ones, just outright fucking don't. If it's about an actual story, then cool. If it's about the lesbian and it's a lecture game, if it's good, game, it's fine. I'm talking about subtextual-wise. Yeah. Listen, chat, no good game is going to be a lecture game. Yeah. Like, a major theme of it, as stated, is about how people were treated under regimes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You're kind of looking a gift horse in the mouth because it's a pretty direct condemnation of a lot of shit. Uh, the culture war literally hinges on whether or not I play the lesbian game or not. I'll, I'll give it a chance. Uh, I'm sorry. If the culture war literally hinges on whether or not I play the lesbian game or not, uh, I give it a chance the other side wins. I don't know what you're exactly talking about, Chad. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. We, we've reached the point where people are making up boogeymen. Yeah. It's more the general frustration of, oh, here's this really cool thing. Well, isn't that thing XYZ? And it's like, oh my god, no. Isn't, isn't don't thing fuck XYZ yourself. Though? Yeah, don't fuck yourself out of out of fantastic experiences because, mm -hmm. you know, you got a post from V saying it's about XYZ or you hear about a theme and he gets freaked out by it. It's like, not everything is out to get you. Yeah, I, I just remember the names of people that, that say shit like that and then I just kind of disregard them. But lesbians are gay. I, all right, chat. Okay, all right, look. All right. But we accept them. That's why we gave them a different title. Uh, okay, it's a Resident Evil-like mm -hmm. game with Eldritch Horror themes. Next uh, next time, mention that first. No, no, chat. No. Yeah, no, honestly, no. no I, I, like, about that. If you're stupid enough to, to fucking have problems with anything else mentioned, fuck off. Like, honestly. Uh, Find things to enjoy. Don't blindly follow people. Yeah. Yeah. They spent a metric fuck ton of time working on that game, and it shows. Yeah. Good puzzles, good story, good gameplay. We're slowly everything. becoming the people we're against. Not even slowly. It's happened. Yeah. I mean, it, it just flat out happened. I was going to say, it's already, it's been been that way for a long fucking time, Chad. Yeah, it's been a thing. All the wells in the area have been deliberately poisoned. Someone digs a new well just like them. Why wouldn't people immediately think this one's poisoned, too? I mean, you're jumping to conclusions, man. Because you can't live like that. You got to give shit chances. You got to take those risks. Or you can fuck off. I'd really prefer it if you just fucked off. It'd be for the best. A lot of survival horror games have puzzles that uh, kind of have to hold people's hands uh, for they can make some puzzles for people who explore and actually read the text spread around the map. But other than that, uh, I can't really think of how survival horror games can really give hard puzzles that are uh, solvable. Uh, I mean, uh, Signalis just has some, like, fucking genuinely good puzzles. Yeah. Uh, the one for the secret ending? Fucking peak, chat. Peak! Peak! Would you pat the col uh, colibri units yes. from Signals? Yes. I'd pat every I'd pat every single one of them. <laughs> I reached the point where I'm Reed Rich I'm on Reed Richards' side. It's actually that easy for his wife to consider cucking him because he's uh, busy literally stopping cosmic beings from coming over. Just to voice her ass, bitch! I am one step removed from a high five and God by technicality. You can handle some alone time. Yeah. It doesn't help that like he doesn't get cucked by cool characters. He gets cucked yeah. by like Namor. Uh, you just tell these people that Signalis talking about how bad life under communism is. Well, that's day, it's like... Eh. You're gonna find no. out eventually. So what's the point of hiding it? It's like, yeah. It's an aspect of the game. Yeah. Is this a lesbian game or Russian studio? No, nah, it's two German people. Two German guys. Yeah. Love how you guys are talking about lesbians you immediately thought. Are they talking about Signalis? <laughs> Little guy, give the elder prayer... Uh, Valor... Elevator pitch? No, you just don't get it. Reddit shit. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. It quite literally is a you don't get it because it's like you hear that one element and it's like oh yeah, it's talking about like this and it's like all right, I'm not into that. It's like well, you're kind of fucking yourself out of a really good game. No, no, like I said, chat, fuck off. Like just fuck off. Love this game on Steam. Mercenaries Two is on PC. Uh, Playground of Destruction. Playground of Destruction. You're gonna have to emulate. Yeah. There we go. It's probably on the fucking Microsoft storefront at one point in time, but not anymore. It's also on Xbox. Yes, it is. It is actively available on Xbox. Roger, this is Expo 2. It's not against here. the game. Just want to clear up misunderstanding. Nothing against the game. Yeah, I know, but it's a thing of I, I grow very, very weary of, well, does it need to be there? It's like, why the fuck does it need to be anything? Yeah. Sports team mentality. Yeah, it's like, it, it's sports team mentality. Yeah. People have fucked themselves out of so much media because they get into sports team shit, and it's like, it's just frustrating. Mm-hmm. 
shut the hell up the king in yellow book shows up at the very beginning of the game it does yeah it does in fact can't blame people for it since people have been conditioned to expect the worst no I am I am absolutely gonna blame oh, people oh yeah 100% uh, like I'll, I'll fucking I'll call you out on your fucking shit yeah I'm absolutely gonna blame people because like, and I don't I'd like I'm gonna call you out on your shit and then whenever whenever someone's like oh no you should check this out it's like no fuck off yeah it's like I, I'm, I'm gonna blame people for it because like in the very beginning when, when all this shit kicked off with like GG and all that yeah because I mean you can obviously tell who was writing it and it was gonna suck mm -hmm. now it's to the point of it's it's literally just the very tag itself yeah. Este, it's saying, oh yeah, it talks about how lesbians are treated under a commie regime. People went like, well, I don't want a lecture game. It's like, why are you assuming it is? Like, yeah. why are you assuming it is? We, we praise the hell out of it, and we hate that lecture shit. Like, it's a very, very good game. Reed Richards, cucking me's bad enough, but name war, Susan? Yeah. That's disrespecting yourself. Even Dr. Doom lost interest in you after seeing your new taste in lovers. Alright. For shame, chat. For shame. Yeah, go ahead and save it. Ooh. Not enough Rule 34 signal loss art. Damn shame. Yeah. Just you too good, chat. Would you recommend B-Stars? I watched Bonsai Pop's review, listened to a lecture, how he was homeless and uh, white privilege is a thing, and it kind of turned me off. No, no. As stated, that's a thing of, like, just go in. Just go yeah, in. Yeah, just just watch it. It's that good. has nothing to do with B-Stars. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Swapping back over. There we go. Mm-hmm. I love characters who are gay, uh, who who are characters who happen to be gay, like Omar from The Wire and Emil from The Air. They're awesome, and being gay is their only character. Gets annoying. Yeah, Signalis is not their only character. Yeah, I wouldn't be praising it if it was their only character. So the actor are, but Lolly, you got to fight libtards and get ready for the up and coming civil war. Civil war. Yeah, seriously. Put on put on your beanie, chat. Civil war. Ugh. Even come shit. It's crazy that Hank Pym was turning. Uh, turn was turned into a wife beater for one panel of him backhanding Janet when she starts mouthing off to him. That that's the funniest thing. That panel where he where he turns around and hits Janet, that only exists due to a miscommunication with the artist. Uh, apparently he was just supposed to like shrug her off uh, in that comic panel and the artist interpreted uh, uh, was told that he like hit her away. So yeah. he he literally turned it to him like jackhammer fisting her her away, yeah. which permanently turned him into a wife beater in comics when it was just supposed to be him shrugging his wife off. Yeah. I remember seeing Fake Man tried signal, uh, trying to say Signalis is woke is the name Yuri. Thankfully, I saw your stream for that. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, yeah, you're not allowed to enjoy anything. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the dumb people. I'm generally interested in the game. Uh, not the lesbian thing. Uh, not that the lesbian thing would put me off. It just makes me sick of the fans. Uh, how explicit is the lesbianism? Because uh, people uh, could basically stick their fingers in their ears and go la 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 and still experience it if it isn't uh, something that is front and center. Also, yeah, say it's condemning fascism uh, in an absolute commie cope. What I've seen, uh, the flags of the player faction is more East German, uh, not Painter German. Yeah, you know, as stated, it's, it's pretty blatantly obvious communism. Yeah. An aspect of it is the androids lose their individuality and become part of the hive mind. Yeah. Uh, play it and find out. Yeah. And play it. Play it and form your own opinion. Yeah. Now fuck B stars. First half is good, but the rest is catastrophically fumbled. They dropped the whole idea of a B star. Imagine Naruto not wanting to be Hokage. I'm 100% fine with that. Because the, the B-Star thing never never entertained me in any way, shape, or under form. It was it just was being the coolest guy at school. That was it, literally that, it. Yeah, it was literally just, no, I'm the cool guy. Fuck you. It's a literally prom king shit. Yeah. Like, quite literally prom king shit, uh, which I didn't care about. Uh, as soon as you, like, especially whenever they, they get you into the black market shit of what's actually going on behind the scenes, and it's like, why the fuck do I care about anything when there's all this cool shit? Yeah. Uh, one call Signalis woke. It's literally talking about how bad it is on a commie rule in Elder's Horror. Exactly. It's like, th th this is why it's frustrating. Where it's like, guys, you you don't have to pick and choose. Yeah, the themes and sub uh, themes and sub themes are there specifically so you can interpret them. Yeah. Uh, people people misinterpret shit all the time. It's the death of the author. Fucking, yep. uh, go out there and and play the game and interpret it yourself and find out that. Uh, it's actually a, a massive condemnation of capitalism. Yeah, right. <laughs> Under Stalinist rule. How many times I have to fuck my captive on rail before she gives me a hey, special air? Hey, yo! Uh, about, about another 30 times, chat. Stop letting internet personalities dictate what you watch and play, be an individual, and find out what you like and enjoy. Exactly! Yes. It, it's like, the rule set you're going off of are only made to make you miserable and make you think the entire world's out to get you. Yeah. You yeah. will know when someone is being a douche, because uh, they to, will just tell you. We used to say it, but apparently we gotta keep saying it uh, again. Uh, these people are paid to make you fucking miserable so that you keep watching them. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they actively make money off of getting you to keep watching them because... Yeah. 
like, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they say this shit? Yeah. You will know when someone's being a douche because they will just tell you you are... Mm -hmm. They they will just tell you. Mm -hmm. They will literally just tell you. They will make statements. Yeah. You know? Uh, I think a lot of people are tired of being told comedy is bad, not because it isn't true, but because it's becoming a broken record. Eh, just fuck it. Like I said, just play it. Just play it. I mean, Disco Elysium, a pro-socialist game made by social developers, but conservatives and right-wing still enjoy play that game, right? Yeah. Yeah. And also, the pro-socialist thing is debatable because the the main guy who took all the credit was the only socialist on team. It was, him it and was, his girlfriend. Yeah, it was him and his. It was him and his girlfriend, and uh, uh, they actively stole credit for other people's work. And he put yeah. a he put a book out based on the uh, based on the world of Disco Elysium. Yeah, that was all. It was unfiltered what he wanted to do with it, and uh, that that completely ruins every every bit of the game. Yeah, because it it directly had lines like the communism is the way to stop the pale, which yeah. if you play the game is a direct insult to everything that game is yeah. talking about. Literally just a fucking literally just an Eldritch horror. It's literally it's, just fan fiction. It's coming yeah. for you. Director's Cut saved Disco Elysium. Kind of did, yeah. Hmm? Well, D- Director's Cut didn't really change anything in Disco Elysium. The only thing the only thing Director's Cut did uh, was explicitly voice the game. Yeah, and a lot of those voice actors are good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, love the cheated weapons also just because some things have woke ideas for the more mainstream woke just, uh, just because it's OG woke that's always good quality to me it's not woke well that's the thing it's like it comes to the thing of what is the definition of woke because if it's just it talks about gay shit that's too vague of a rule set yeah that is way too vague of a rule set because there's a lot of beloved franchises people like that have talked about that too you know by that criteria Gintama is woke mm-hmm. and if you ever watched all the way through that that is fucking bullshit to say let me play it. Way to say fuck you. Suck my sausage. Yeah. Honestly, it's being labeled woke. That makes me scared to create. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. God damn it. I thought we'd have this conversation with bring up Disco Elysium again. Shut the fuck up and play the game, idiot. Would you make a video on Signalis? I like it a lot. It is very good. There are good definitions that work right. My definition is always it's a cynical exploitation of social issues and not an actual exploration of yeah. them. Cause like, I, I, I very much so enjoy plenty of things that disagree yeah. with my, my personal ideology. Yeah. If I exclusively uh, went out of my way to seek things that I only agreed with, uh, I wouldn't fucking consume 90% of the stuff that I do. You know, yeah. A lot of the stuff that actually actively challenges me, uh, that's the stuff that I come away from liking the most. Well, more than that, there, there's a lot of cases where something that explores a social issue manages to make it a pretty universally agreeable position. Mm. Because that's the idea. They want to bring attention to this and frame it in a way that everyone can agree it's yeah, a problem. It's, it, it's putting their yeah. side in a, in a sympathetic light so that you, yeah. you can understand where they're coming from and then you, they can, essentially they can win you over. But it's, yeah. it's like, yeah, I, I, I actively seek out stuff that challenges you, uh, not to be challenged, but to understand like, oh yeah, when this stuff is done well, it's just good shit. There, yeah. there, there, isn't, there isn't, oh, well, this stuff is, is woke or this stuff isn't woke. Uh, you know, the things, good things aren't classified in ways like that. That is a, a modern interpretation, uh, born in the last like fucking eight years. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a modern interpretation made in the last eight years, specifically by sides that are out to get money. Yeah. Uh, made, yeah. Made explicitly by sides that, uh, want you to fight. It, it, it's, it's a, it's a miniature version of, of politics. It's, it's yeah. you pick your, pick your side. Uh, and you're you're quote unquote doing your part while the people the people that are puppeting you uh, are making money yeah a shit ton of fucking money off of your back yeah just looked up Signalis uh, anime Yuri is better than Western Token bullshit probably won't play it because <laughs> I don't have time but it seems cool that's what I mean it's the the stuff that Signalis talks about is not the Western Token shit that everyone is immediately assuming yeah. you know and and that's kind of the problem of expectation where people are just so ready to write it off as like oh that's like the rest of it it's like no there you you still need to to look out for shit and have open-minded shit, you know? Because as I say, if you go back and watch stuff like Cowboy Bebop, the, the mm. entire planet of, of gay guys, yeah, that would be considered woke by today's standards. So, are you not allowed to watch Cowboy Bebop for right. being degenerate? Well, fucking Star Trek has a shit ton of stuff like that, too. Star Trek all over yeah. the place. Yeah, like, you can you can see you can see the difference between when, like, old Star Trek would would uh, do shit and they would do it well and the the new Star Trek shit. Yeah. And even old Star Trek, uh, I don't know if it was because of budget or, or what, but they yeah. would have they would have their episodes where they, they ham fist stuff and it's just like, it's like, I, I don't give a shit. I don't, yeah. the, the episode's boring because I don't care. Yeah. The drug one. <laughs> yeah. Dru- it, it is a crack epidemic. I'm sorry you don't believe in the space CIA dropping, <laughs> dropping cargo ships full of space crack on these planets. You understand me? 
Uh, thoughts on MAGA shit and it being the new boogeyman? Yeah, it's this, it's same thing as what we're talking about, just from the opposite side of the political aisle. Yeah. Being convinced that, like, anything that even slightly touches MAGA is bad, it's like, that's fucking stupid. Yeah. As long as the gay stuff is subtle, not the main personality characters, I'm game. Yeah, it's, it's an actual work of art that uses it in a way that's not just pandering. Yeah. Woke is taking well, a social issue and exploiting mm -hmm. it out of cynical desire for clout. Yeah. Well, like, uh... Even even then, like that that's that that's uh completely negating the the point of certain movies where like yeah, yeah the entire point is a character sexuality or just content in general, not just yeah. movies. Like take something like like Moonlight, where it yeah. is explicitly a gay uh, movie, a, a, a fucking gay guy. Like it is yeah. explicitly about a gay guy and about the fact that he is gay. And that movie's still really good, whether yeah. or not it's it's your taste in, in movie or not is is subjective. But it's still just a objectively well made movie. Yeah. Uh, and that'd be like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And yeah. like I, I like that movie. Yeah. Moonlight's good. I thought the planet was a mining colony after uh, where all the dudes were abandoned after the economy fell through. Guess need to rewatch it. No, it is literally a gay colony. Like Faye runs in on two dudes having sex. Gay butt sex. Gay butt sex. Gay butt sex. Yeah. Get fuck. Get fuck. Get fuck. Uh, I like Star Trek, but yeah, sometimes it goes out of character to have a message like Quark bitching about slavery. You sold weapons. Yeah. No, he didn't bitch about slavery. He it was, was talking about. <laughs> yeah, he was talking about how the Ferengi were superior to humans and how it's <laughs> bullshit that Cisco hated them. Yeah. Yeah. He was specifically going, like, you hate me because you think I'm a greedy piece of shit. Meanwhile, the Ferengi have never done anything as bad as humans. Yeah. The Ferengi has never done anything as bad as you. Yeah. My brother in Christ, you worship a greedy fucking... You yeah. worship a god of greed. Fuck you. Uh, locust propaganda that is disgusting itself, uh, disguising itself as progress, but nature is actually regressive. For example, being gay is flawless personality. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is it is taking social issue and exploiting it for cynical clout. That mm -hmm. is what woke is. When you operate off that definition, it's a lot easier to call it out because you don't just go, "But my woke." But but does it does it have a gay character in it though? Yeah, that kind of shit, like the sweet baby thing of of having quotas and and all that kind of crap. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, like when Dead Space remake came out, the the whole debate over the the bathrooms and all that shit, and all the characters being race swapped. It's like yeah. that's not the problem. That's a symptom mm -hmm. of the problem, which is EA was cynical. Yeah. And it treated visceral like the, shit. Like the there there was a number of things that you could have pulled from from the Dead Space game. Yeah. And and complained about not even like talking about the, any of the visceral shit, but just uh, I in isolation in in that game alone, there's yeah. tons of stuff that you could have picked and pulled from. And no one chose to do anything like that. It was no, but look at the fact that this poster was changed from a white guy and white girl yeah. to be a, a white girl and a black guy. And it's like yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, I don't give a shit about stuff like that. The actual complaint is, well, in the original game, that was a developer of Visceral, mm -hmm. and now they took that out, which is kind of fucked up, considering what happened with Visceral. Mm -hmm. That's a legitimate argument. Obviously, that dips into, well, what if they didn't have the rights? What if this and that? Because that is a person's face. Re replace it with a with a new developer. Yeah, but the point is, it's a debate. It is something to talk about. Just screaming that, you know, the, the race thing, it's like, you, you are... Missing the forest for the trees. No, you you know exactly how you're you're coming off as, and you're either uh, intentionally poisoning the argue, uh, poisoning the argument, uh, or you were just an idiot. What is the lower reason for a gay colony in Cowboy Bebop? He's just there. He's just there. Yeah. Uh, still remember that two planets aside uh, episode of Star Trek TNG, a Curse Farms was right. They should have expanded on it. Planet of assholes keeping the working class planet on crack as medicine. Jig is up. Rich ones don't have the basic skills, and their planet would collapse. Yes. Yeah. But that like, like that's a, that's just kind of what the nature of having like a really long running serial yeah. TV show is, and it's like yeah you hop in you have this uh, interesting it, concept for for yeah. something that can run for an episode yeah. maybe at most two episodes and you explore it, uh, on what you can but yeah getting into the super nitty gritty on it it defeats and, the purpose and especially with the fact that even in that episode it was an allegory for crack chat yeah. well especially in that episode they they left it off on a we didn't really solve anything we just kind of did what we could yeah even they acknowledged that this was not the best solution that's why picard was just disgusted with the whole thing yeah it's like let's get the fuck out of here yeah uh get colonies made up of criminals voting bounties on their heads yeah it was something like that i say no flimsy reason and it's just there for the sake of being there uh, stream the last good pandemic game uh, next time. This, or, sa or sorry, the Saboteur next time. Uh, Saboteur is interesting. Main thing I remember about Saboteur is that it was a buggy mess. Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it was a prison colony, as we all know. Prison makes you gay. It's true. It's true. I've seen the depths a man will go to, chat. Shoving brooms in places brooms don't belong. Doing terrible things with foo-foos. Uh, 
let's be fair to the Ferengi, though. Their prophet was a marketing genius. This book was so damn good, it ain't just a scam religion. It actually made them productive. <laughs> I hate them so much. Watch the entire burlesque show on stream, I dare you. Yeah. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. Uh, being a cynic is practical one step to being is practically one step to being blackpilled. You can be cynical in the sense that you just know, like it, being cynical means you have good intuition. Well, being which is different say, from being blackpilled. Say, be, being cynical is uh, just synonymous with being able to go with your gut. Yeah. Not one fart is heard in prison. <laughs> oh God. Just remind me, uh, remind, just getting reminded about Slam Circles playthrough of Skies of Arcadia, in which they shove transbs in the main. Uh, Main character's story, like, I got some laughs uh, from Bit, but trans BS, no way. That's what I mean. That's a game that very clearly doesn't talk about that shit, so mm -hmm. it's shoving in there, like, from a localization or translation. That's an cool exploitation of a social issue. Uh, I think it was the, I think it was that slime sickle guy that was shoving it in there. Yeah. That's what I mean. That is, that is cynical. No, he, he wasn't a localizer, he's just a dude doing a video on it. Yeah, but point at large being shoving in something that's not there for the mm -hmm. sake of exploitation. That's what that means. I know, but just localizers didn't have anything to do with that. Yeah. So I'm talks, I'm tossing it out. Get the fuck out of here! Hell, so less an example of trans shit done right. Mm -hmm. can, can we do? Can we do a steamboat? Uh, I, I don't enjoy yeah. the the game story very much, but Celeste, it is a fun platformer. Celeste dips into exploitation one on ones, where it's just Ooh. trans. Am I right? It's like, yeah. Like I said, I don't enjoy the the story too terribly much, but it's a fun game to play. Yeah, just a fucking well made fucking platformer. Yeah. Uh, Slime Sickle loves to do that. Hell, his uh, his role playing is damn annoying. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, cynical Starfield in seventy six. I've been wrong. Yeah, Starfield's another one where like guys, you're missing the force for the trees. The the fucking pronoun yeah, menu is so not stupid. the problem. Like the pronoun menu is not the problem. It's the fact it wants to do that yeah. when everything else with the game is fucking broken. I was gonna say you you have like a, a myriad of issues going on with it. Yeah. Uh, least of which isn't the fact that like Bethesda literally just pumped out an unfinished mess again for the fucking fifth time yeah. in a row. And do fully expect their community to, to just work workshop that shit and fix yeah. it for them. Seth's review is still fucking scathing, and he barely talks about that shit. Yeah. So the story's just depression, am I right, fellas? Yeah. Uh, there, are way, there are ways to talk about, like, shit that's going on. The, the problem is um, people get inundated with so much of a particular thing that they, they stop even questioning whether or not something is done well, and they yeah. just start getting spooked by it yeah like uh, a massive portion of uh, night in the woods is is you know handling a character like max who is yeah. essentially someone who who fucked up immediately out of college and has immediately reverted into being a burnout yeah uh and and the the what follows from that you know the depression the way that you lash out and do things uh and it, it, it's handled in a really well done way not everything is but yeah yeah, uh, you're inundated with so much stuff that's just like, no, but like, what about my my personal struggles though? Wait, wasn't Starfield relatively stable on launch? Fuck no! Nah, it wasn't. I played that shit. That was fucking terrible. Yeah, I just I just don't trust Insomniac with Wolverine. All right, that's fair, but fuck you, asshole. Again, while including the pronoun menus, even then they came and pander full hardly. But that's what I mean. Pronoun menu is barely there. Yeah, like the the pronoun mem menu doesn't really fucking matter at all. And it's even worse when people are like following someone like heel versus babyface uh, when it's like explicitly done uh, to make himself more money. And he's not hedging. Yeah. He's not hedging anything himself. Yeah. It, it, he still continued to stream the game. Like nothing changed anything at all. The fact that it blew up uh, worked in his favor explicitly because he he just explicitly gained more followers for it. Yeah, he made money off of it. Yeah, and and, and that's the problem. I don't like it turning into an industry. Yes, I, I, I don't like it turning into an industry because it's something to legitimately call out and bring attention to. Because I state it's it's cynical exploitation. It's corporations wearing the face of people who care and going, we care, we care. Look at this, and they don't fucking give a shit. No, you know, you know they'll they'll double back and do fucked up things. Look at Blizzard. Every time they got in trouble, new character was gay, new character was this, new character was that, and they're fucking raping women and, cause, and making them kill themselves. It's like, yeah. it, it's this over-the-top, fucking stupid-ass performance everyone wants to do, and it's why, like, the, the woke shit to me is not, oh, it's bad because woke. I mean, a lot of the time, it, it is also pretty fucking obnoxious. Look at, I stated, Fargo Season 5. But I'm not looking at Fargo Season 5 and thinking, it's bad because it's woke. I'm thinking... I'm thinking this fucking character wrong. doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why are you trying to yeah. make me empathize with them? I'm thinking that something went wrong in production 
and they scrambled the social issues for the sake of pandering. Yeah. To make it make it about that instead of what's going on. Twenty House Horse Studios working on Starfield compared to yeah. uh, compare this to Skyrim, Oblivion, Fallout Three and Four, which are all in house. Yeah, like right. all these games and stuff are getting outsourced to to countries like Korea, yeah, and, and shit like that. And I think it is uh, Korea and like the Philippines. I think is another really big one. Yeah, uh, and I think it is is having a major, major, major effect on the quality of these games. And I cannot fathom. I cannot fathom. That like the money that you you save by doing that yeah. is anything close to the the reputation hit that you take. Yeah, I hate Asbe's rant wasn't about the pronouns. The many was like three hours in. It was a major factor because that's it. He was screaming his head off about them. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the thing that got that's shared the part around. That got clipped. Yeah, as much people say, well, there was a larger rant around. It's like yeah, but the part he was screaming about was the fucking pronouns. And and another big point was the uh, the side mission about the chick who was cloned from the DNA of a guy, yeah. and saying like, oh well, that that's like obviously trans shit. It's like no, because at that point that's like saying X twenty three is trans. Yeah, it's like no, this is a common thing in sci fi. You know, that that's what I mean by it turns into an industry. It's about bending it to always be about the issue you're talking about. Gender bending stories have existed longer than the modern the modern version of fucking trans. Yeah. yeah. There's people who there, there's people I know who refused to play Baldur's Gate because they were, they were told it was woke, and it's like. This is something, this is not fucking healthy to think. This is not healthy to, to obsess over and just become the exact Ooh. same loudmouthed, obnoxious assholes that are on the other side telling me I can't do shit. It's like, Chitan, you fuck. It, it, it's a thing where it's like, guys, calm the fuck down and, and understand that, yes, there's people out there that insult you and think you're a piece of shit and only want your money. I guarantee you, they will just tell it to your face. They're not going to try to hide it. Because why would they? Mm-hmm. Problem with Starfield is that's Fallout 4 panned over space shit. Quite literally. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Holy fuck. So apparently, apparently, uh, Ina illustrated the four star, uh, New Year CE yeah. for Fate Go. Uh, it's under a different name, but yeah, uh, Ina's the one that did the illustration. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, she, she does artwork for Fate. Mm. It's so performative. That's what I mean. It's frustrating. By that logic, Rama one half be called woke today. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, holy shit, yeah, that, that, that's fucking amazing. Also, as wasn't the one who shared the original post and went viral. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it does not matter. That was a viral yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's better if he's not the one that does it. Yeah. Ina's a very talented squid. She is? She is. Ina does fate art. She does art in general. Oh, yeah, Bear Call Saul is Gus Fring being confirmed gay in two scenes. Yeah. And it's something to where it doesn't ruin his character at all. If anything, it makes him more interesting. Because it makes that speech he gives Walt, where he invites oh, yeah. him for dinner, and it's like, oh, my wife and my wife and daughter are out. You know, that kind of oh, thing. Yeah. It, it recontextualizes the scene, yeah. It recontextualizes it where, like, he's just lying. Like, yeah. He's just full of shit. It makes him more interesting. It makes it far more sinister. A hundred times more sinister. Ballers Gate 3 earned its meme status as the gay bear, uh, gay bear sex scene uh, for a reason. That's mainly yeah. the journos. Like, yeah, well, Ballers Gate I mean, 3 was, just did it because uh, it was funny. It was it was de it was the devs and the journals like the the devs absolutely put it in there because it's funny and then whenever pe people blew up and were making memes about it, uh, yeah. that, that's only like that's an objectively good thing. If your yeah. game blows up uh, for anything like that and it's just like a fucking meme, yeah, uh, it's best to ride the wave even if it just gets fucking annoying. Uh, I refuse to play Baldur's Gate three because it's so fucking large compressor games. People, that's legitimate. That's fair. It's like a hundred and what ninety three gigs now, something like that. Yeah, it's fucking insanely huge, dude. My poor SSD. Yeah. And Bulls Gate 3 lays on thick elsewhere, too. Dude, I don't even give a shit. Yeah. I, I've put, like, a bunch of hours into the game. I'm not going to give a fuck just because, like, mm -hmm. just because V said to get angry at it or something like yeah. that. It, th this is what I mean of, do you really want to deprive yourself of a game you could legitimately love because you're too obsessed with, with jumping at shadows? Yeah. It, it, it's it's just one of those things. But the, uh, what they could have made Spider-Man 2 uh, really awesome with... Uh, us switching between the super, two Spider-Man and Venom, but no, we had to have five MJ sections. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Spider-Man 2 is an egregious one. The, that was the them developers making statements about it. I was going to say, yeah, the developers outright came out and was like, yeah, we're just going to keep adding more yeah. MJ sections because people keep complaining about it. And it's like, it's like, no, fucking remove them from the game or do something fucking interesting with them. Yeah. And also, like, uh, that's why I was... I, I, I honestly think that they're just a prototype for, for missions in, like, maybe the Wolverine game. Oh, yeah. Or another game that they're working yeah. on. Well, well, that's why uh, when, when Spider-Man 2 was going around, I was I was a big proponent of, like, you can shit on the game for legitimate reasons. Like, um, like uh, the Spanish dub being actually, like, fucked up and, and broken. And Spanish people going, what the fuck are these people even saying? Mm -hmm. uh, and on top of that, Miles getting all the woke shit... 
Yeah. Because, of course, the black kid has to have all the woke say, shit. Yeah. But then, then people spun it into the conspiracy theory of, of, like, Mary Jane being based off a fucking intern that was barely there. And it's like, guys, you're, you're, you're jumping out at too much. Like, Mary Jane's face model is not the fucking issue here. It's not her being no. modeled after a fucking intern, because that's not what happened. Yeah. It's the fact everyone in the game looks fucked up. Yeah, everyone everyone looks fucked up. It's carrying over issues from, from the first game, too. Yeah. I beat Ballers Gate 3. I don't legitimately love it. I keep assuming I'm deprived myself and not coming to my own conclusion. It's kind of condescending. I have to be condescending. Because yep. I see this shit all over the fucking place. Yeah. You know, it's like, too many people go like, oh, well, it's super fucking woke as this, and I play it, and it's like, no, it's not. Uh, North American 3rd Anniversary uh, Celebration CE. Oh, nice. Ballers Gate 3 won't let you fuck goblins, let you fuck scuba, or can't fuck those yeah. short stack pancakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being ugly doesn't make it any better. Yeah. That's what I mean. Everyone looks fucked. Mm-hmm. Everyone looks fucked. Give MJ a black cat suit. No, chat, don't give me any ideas. You don't have to shill it. It's not even a shill thing. It's the fact of like, I'm tired of I, I'm tired of the the. Well, it's actually because woke. It, it's actually woke because X scene, and I play it, and it it's not it's not even there. V shilled the shit out of Baldur's Gate three. No, no, it didn't. Uh, but uh, they V turned against it the moment they saw the bear. Yeah. The the moment the bear thing happened, they they fucking went against it. Uh, before that, whenever it was still in beta, I didn't see, like, really any. My brother in Christ would let yourself enjoy things. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. If I was K3, you can't fuck goblins, but you can fuck other characters <laughs> in gnome size. Uh, except Black Cat looked decent, uh, and so did Miles' mom. Listen, Jay. Yeah. Listen, Jay. <laughs> uh, Black Cat looked fine. Uh, Miles' mom just kind of looks uncanny. Yeah. But at the same time, I've seen a picture of the chick that, that uh, models Rio, and, I mean, she also kind of looks like a non-person. And think of it like that. There's two characters that look okay in a game where there's a lot more than two characters. Uh, Harry looks fine. Peter looks too yeah. young. Uh, I, 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 I thought like Harry the, looked off. I uh, thought Harry looked weird. Harry looks fine. Um, yeah, Peter Peter is still the major one. Peter and MJ are the two ones that yeah. look super odd. And uh, Miles is still just Miles. Like, his face is the same. Yeah. And Simon Nack hit the wall. Dog shit haircut. Though. Yeah, and Simon Nack hit the wall. Everyone's ugly. The story is wishy washy moments. It's racist, and we'll never forget mm -hmm. Peter's face change. Yeah, yeah. Peter just coomers who call each other faggots all day. Who cares what they think? Yeah. We want to play Baldur's Gate three, but I'm not sure I want to pay seventy bucks and not a fan of turn based combat. Yeah, if you're not a fan of turn based con combat, you won't like it. Yeah, it's all it's all turn based. I was gonna combat. say it's it's dozens of hours of just turn based combat chat. Yeah. They actually made a lot of your choices to change the path that you take a lot. Yeah. Genuinely impressive. Mm hmm Like there 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 is so much that that you can enjoy with that, and it's great. Yeah. Woke this, woke that, wake me up with dragon tug with two drops. There's even people complaining there's about too many dice rolls in a DD game in chat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See hey. the lady that played Miles Mom reposted porn of her character. Yeah. yeah, she's she's cool. She's great. What happened to your Twitter? It's still there. As far as I'm aware. Did you not play Rogue Trader? No. Uh, I didn't really plan to. No. Yeah, no, my Twitter's still there. 90 days till Dragon's Dogma 2. Several months, chat. Three months. Uh, I miss stylized realism. So many games look too homogenous by reaching for realism. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. That's where you get on Candy Valley Syndrome shit. Yeah. I don't agree with the decision to nerf character creation, but I have to give it uh, to them since they actually uh, justify the majority of the size of it. Talking about Baldur's Gate? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I still don't understand why they, they did that. It's yeah. stupid. I mean, complaining anything is that multiverse is every is then everything. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Yeah. Uh, isn't J a JRPG turn based? Is tactical turn based? Big difference. Yeah. It's still turn based. Turn based is turn based. Like there there's no uh, putting as much flowery language as you you possibly want around it isn't going to change the fact that it, it's turn based. Yeah. That's a Mercedes and Dragon's Dogma. She's literally she's great. She's great. She's great. Uh, I love the fact that you have a moment where you sit there and you you sit back and watch her fight someone. Uh, and then 99% of the time she loses that fucking yeah. fight and you got to save scum to get her to win. It's great. <laughs> Rogue Trader is good if you give it a shot. If you like Baldur's Gate 3, it's worth their time. Uh, it's a thing where I'm I'm very wishy-washy on 40k stuff. I'll either be like, hey, am I in the mood to play that or I won't oh, touch it's, it for months. If it's 40k, no, nah, I, I yeah. don't have any interest in getting into 40k stuff. Yeah. I'm willing to give it a shot. I know it's made by the, the Pathfinder people and the Pathfinder game has been pretty good. Yeah, they are. So, so uh, I, I might eventually get into it, but it's going to be one of those where... I'm gonna be super fucking like, yeah. yeah I, I won't was touch it for a while. Then I just decide to one day. If it's, if it's something draped in the in the aesthetic of uh, another franchise, if I don't like that franchise, I, it, it take the game being better than just good. It take yeah. it being like 
like 9.5 out of 10 in my own books for me to, to yeah. really be won over by it. So wait for a year to be, uh, wait a year for it to be bug free. Fair enough. <laughs> damn. Oh, uh, damn. That's fair. Uh, 40k games are mostly good and lore is fun, but the tabletop is more expensive than crack addiction. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Vermintide plays like ass. Dark Tide fits all of his issues. And I have, I have serious problems with Dark Tide. I much prefer Vermintide. Why would you say something so controversial? Uh, why is your Twitter? There's one channel description at Joseph. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem there. Uh, yeah, that one, that one got nuked. No, no, the the Twitter link is is updated. Mm -hmm. It should be Kenshirotism. Yeah, Fat Shark is awful. Uh, that was the one that did the. They did Vermintide, yeah. Vermintide, okay. You ever finished Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous? What do you think about it? I didn't finish it, but I got a bit further into it. Mm -hmm. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. So it doesn't like the 40k setting? Why? Out of curiosity. <laughs> I just don't like it. I've never gotten into it. And then the, the complete and total oversaturation of 40k content here in the last, like, yeah, it's a little... five years has, has it's had the whiplash effect of just shut the fuck up about it. And in, in, like, three years, I might check it out. But right now, I don't like it. Uh, yeah, Dark Tide is such a bummer. High hopes, but I didn't live up to him. Mm. Eventually, it'll reach a state where it'll be really good, but we're still in the eventually part. It still runs like ass for me. It Oof. runs awful. It's like your fifth account. Yeah, that's what yeah. happens when you keep getting in fights. Yeah. You're 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 in uh, you're arguing with the draft dodger on there right now. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, it is now three ten, mm -hmm. so I think it's good time to call it. Good time to call it. Yeah. Yes. So as you can see, Mercenaries is a very fun game. Very fun. Very yeah. fun. It's like if you have like a, if you have an Xbox, it's ten dollars on there. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't think there's a very easy way to get it that doesn't involve emulating. Yeah. Uh, Junebug for a dollar. Hate that my shift ends when your stream ends. Question about Baldur's Gate three. Saw a post from Raging Golden Eagle saying that gnomes and hobbits look more like children than lollies. I uh, think they're too ugly to be children. What are your thoughts on that? That's a very, 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 very sus argument to even start. Yeah, because like every gnome and goblin I've seen in Baldur's Gate. They look like 40-year-old men. Yeah. So it's like, wait, what? <laughs> why Why you got to bring bring uh, children into the race of, of things that you fuck, chat? Why? I mean, I, I, I just throw them off cliffs because I think it's funny. <laughs> I just pocket them. Why? Because God gave me that power. Because <laughs> they're tiny little guys. I put them up on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. Look at the price of a single guardsman kit. You need a large amount of kits to have a proper army. A single kit has five minis and is forty three dollars. I, I highly encourage people to, to get a three D printer if you want to get yeah. into something like forty K. Oh yeah, that's what my brother ended up doing. Uh it's called absurdity. If he was yeah. joking, hopefully there's like context that we're just not seeing and he's just fucking with people. Yeah. Then that's fine, but it is a weird thing of like, wait, what? I don't know. Whenever it gets to, to people like that that like bait constantly in order to, to yeah. help keep up interactions. I don't know. I think the Baldur's Gate 3 devs very purposely made sure that with Short Race said that real life dwarfism. I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Halflings are just midgets. I mean, like, like actual, yeah. Yeah, like actual just midgets. All right. But yeah, I'm willing to call it here. So, thank to everybody showed up. It was pretty, pretty damn good time. Love Mercenaries. Love this fucking game. Yeah. Uh, uh, make sure to play this. Make sure to check out Signalis and uh -huh. Baldur's Gate. All those games. Very good games. Yes. Very good games. A long look for two hours. Yeet the goblins. Yeah. Sorry, God, I made it. Eh, it's just what it is. Yeah. Guys uh, argue. It, 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 people... Fuck you. Guys argue. Fuck you, faggot. Guys argue. Fuck you. Fight me. Fight me. People argue. Don't get in your feelings, faggot. Yeah, there you go. It, it's not a big deal. Who gives a shit? Uh, can you stop getting banned from Twitter? It's hard to find your account. I swear to God, this one is probably not going to get banned. Lolly needs a fucking, Lolly needs a goddamn Twitter account dedicated to the YouTube channel and one that he argues with people on. It's called a fucking business practice, you <laughs> stupid fuck. It is funny because uh, I've gotten to the point where I guess, boat. I guess I've reached the arbitrary follower account where I now just get like people who just, you know, hit the like button because they reach like thousands most of the time now. Uh... And I got reported for using bots. Yeah. So I think someone thought I bought bots to like win arguments. Mm -hmm. And Twitter's like, oh yeah, like you got reported, but we didn't really <laughs> find anything. So here you go. So it is proof that everybody that that likes my shit's a real person, and I am just a smart boy that everyone thinks is super cool and charming. Get a blue check so you can piss people off. No, he gets a blue check. He has a, he has a target painted on his back, and he yeah, the man I get a blue check, I'm actually gonna get banned. I was say he will get banned. <laughs> Uh, found a Berserk video really good, but I have a question. What do you what do you stand on trans people? I don't care. Yeah. 
How dare people agree with you, you fucking shit. Yeah. Oh, no, Chatty. Full of himself. No, no. All right. Yeah. Goodbye. My legs are dangling off the edge The bottom of the bottle is my only friend I think I'll slip my wrist again And I'm gone, 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 gone My legs are dangling off the edge My stomach full of pills didn't work again I put a bullet in my head And I'm gone, 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 gone Gone too far, yeah, I'm gone again It's gone on too long, tell you how it ends I'm sitting on the edge with my two best friends One's a bottle of pills and one's a bottle I'm 20 stories up, yeah, up at the top I polished off this bottle, now it's pushing me off Asphalt to me has never looked so soft I bet my mama found my letter, now she's calling the cops I gotta take this opportunity before I miss it Cause now I hear the sirens and they're off in the distance Believe me when I tell you that I've been persistent Cause I'm more scarred, more scarred than my wrist is. I've been trying too long with too dull of a knife But tonight I made sure that I sharpened it twice I never bought a suit before my life But when you go to me, God, you know you wanna look nice So if I survive, then I'll see you tomorrow Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow My legs are dangling off the edge The bottom of the bottle is my only friend I think I'll slip my wrist again and I'm gone, 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 gone My legs are dangling off the edge My stomach full of pills didn't work again I put a bullet Son, it's
Let's go down.